and i'm going to stop the the video for um, the, myself and for others and so that we can maximize the screen so guys do you see the, the full screen on your um, on your systems yes of the full size yes, demo sir. screen yes. okay no okay. so once again so what we are going to do we are going to refresh on the on the scheduling rules okay so you know it's very um, important scheduling rules uh, so you don't have to do anything you you just watch so let me explain this okay so we we were at this point see scheduling rules bas basically you know most of the project managers they practically make a mistake when they are going from point number 1 to 6 and i don't want you guys to do it and i have observed the pattern how we are going to you will not find the scheduling rules in any of uh, the primavera manual because the primavera manual is focused on describing the primavera okay so basically uh, what i am doing in my training i am combining the project management framework along with a very good uh, knowledge of the primavera which will be practically very useful because the primavera is confirming to the project management framework but when a company is selling the product any software product they would like to explain their product they assume that you know understand know and understand the subject of the project management by default so it might not be so now let me tell you the fine point of the project management the most uh, place where i have noticed the most uh, i mean the, you can say mistaken place is the sh 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 scheduling so most of the project managers it, despite the training and despite have been using the software for a long time they are not able to understand the schedule they sometimes they mismatch or miss coordinate or miss synchronize the man machine and material see in any kind of project okay man machine and material combination is very very important they have to be available at all the times they have to be uh, available in right quantity and right uh, quality and they have to be synchronized by their schedule their start and finish date so we don't have to talk about the material but the thing is that for the material you have to do the procurement in such a way so let us assume if the man and machine is there the material should should be there right guys is it clear yes sir okay so all this is, now the scheduling is the first thing which ensures that so the first rule that we are going to learn is the schedule is created by calendar so calendar i have explained to you that why the humanity needed the calendar the in the beginning the humanity needed the calendar to grow food to understand the seasons so maybe the the calendar was crude on those days it might not be having the 12 months or weeks or days it might be having just four seasons okay just four seasons saying that okay these are the four seasons having sort of these many days so this season starts from this because you know if you look at the indian calendar the new year in india it starts according to the season of the baisakhi so what is the baisakhi season it is the time where the crops are matured right guys do you do you know, know know this fact the new year calendar in india is starting with the time around april 13 to 14 and you will find that all over india it is around either april 13 or 14 because this calendar is coordinated with the season season of what season the we consider the new year when we get a new crop earlier the man was dependent on the land having the crop or not not having the crop meant a difference between life and death so i hope you guys uh, ag agrees with this fact yes sir okay so it was not like that earlier it was not like that we could store food right now we have got cold storage we have got uh, grain storage we can store for one year two year we can store fruits and uh, vegetable for six months even in the home we are uh, storing the fruits and vegetable in our home for 15 days we just were it was not so early time if you bought some fruit you would buy in small quantities and consume it at the end of the day life was like that so life was more life was more unpredictable to make the life more predictable they created the calendar and uh, we feel happy in india so you know it's a spring time during the spring time you know new crop is ready and you 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 will see lot of the plants are blossoming they are coming back to life after being dead or half dead during the winters okay so you will see the birds uh, making the nest and having new babies and it's like that so schedule is created by the calendar so the calendar was very much important earlier for the seasons then later the calendar became important for the religious functions and festivals according to the culture of the region 
so in the project, we need the calendar to schedule the activities to create the start and finish date. So when the start and finish date is created, it is just creating a start and finish date. But we need the fine tuning of the dates for various re reasons, for the reasons of critical path, for the reasons of the holidays. That is number two. And then if you look at the engineering process, in the engineering process, the output of one activity goes as an input to the um, input of the se second activity. Output of the second goes to the third. So, you know, these are sort of dependencies. So then the schedule is further adjusted to represent that, to represent the engineering process. Schedule is adjusted by date constraint because sometimes we have certain... Uh, resources they are limited by the date so we say schedule is adjusted by date constant we fine tune the schedule further then schedule is adjusted by activity types what you see in the bracket is written only primavera so you know <clears throat> primavera provides you activity types which i will explain and detail later which further helps in creating a very finely adjusted schedule fine tuning of the schedule is the best possible in the primavera only i am hands-on in both actually i have been using microsoft project since uh, uh, as I can recall, around 96. Okay. So in 96, you know, I was not a uh, pro project manager. So actually I became project manager four years later. So actually I would look at the Gantt charts created by my pro pro project manager and my project manager would ask me that, can you fit in your activities in, inside this? I say, yeah, fine. So I can fit in my activities inside this. Then I will tell him, then he will do it in front of me. But I, but I didn't like that. Actually, I was more comfortable with the, uh, the systems design type of uh, softwares. Okay, so schedule is adjusted by the resource. So if we in, in, increase man and machine, we can reduce. If we have less man and machine, then of course it will take us more time to complete the project. So these are the fine tuning. First, let's see how the calendar is creating the schedule. So guys, ready? Okay, now we will move into Oh, Sandeep, actually, you know, I was uh, delaying for you also. I hope you had a very, very good sleep. Yes, sir. Sorry, just, just woke up. Ah, thik. Ko, ko, ko baat you have some uh, the coffee or something, tea or coffee. Okay. And you join. So, first of all, you start your re recording and please come to this point. Yes. Okay. Okay, fine. Good. Now we are going to the lesson one, so we can mi minimize this. And guys, please open the lesson one. I believe that you have uh, completed to this point. Okay, you you have uh, something like this. Make sure your screen yes. look, looks like this. Yes. Okay. Sir. Now I'm going to adjust and optimize on the screen, and you can also do the same, so that you can see the maximum data on the screen. I mean, uh, the optimally. Right. I'm going to increase this calendar uh, so that you can see the calendar name. So right now, guys, let me tell you, all the activities are being scheduled by a calendar called corporate. Now, what is the structure of the calendar in the Primavera? So in the Primavera, the, there are calendars at various levels. So let me create these boxes, then I will explain to you. Sir, before going into further, so now we are created one portfolio. In this portfolio, we are uh, creating a project, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. This is the learning and development portfolio. Why? Because you have, uh, do you want your projects to be scattered here and there? Yes. Isn't it good that you keep it in a place? Okay. So in this, we are creating a first project. Schedule yes. Calendar. And we will we, we will uh, we will put all our lessons here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that you can find them, you can synchronize them, you can study again, because if you are listening to the recording, you will find your uh, data here, sample data. So we will be creating like lesson one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, right? Okay. So guys, make sure that you are uh, comfortable and at the same time, you are paying your utmost uh, attention here and interacting with me. Okay, so that will be very good. And today's day will be a little bit longer. So I hope you don't mind if you stay around for uh, one hour more. Okay, but we will have breaks. Just, just don't worry. 
see guys see in the micro in the primavera there is something called enterprise a calendar now this enterprise a calendar what happens that it is a list of the calendar which are global calendars global means useful for the entire company they are kept in the global list and one of the calendar is a default calendar so whenever you create a new project that default calendar gets applied on the project and when the when the calendar is applied at the pro project level then it is applied on the activity okay so the project inherits the calendar from the enterprise and enterprise calendar some calendars are provided by the primavera then later on primavera administrator or or the user having the administrative rights himself can create new calendars out of the existing calendar so you can create globally useful calendars for the company so if one person creates the calendar that calendar can be used by 1000 people okay it is kept in the global category so if out of that calendar one will be the default so what is the default default means convenience okay so default means that there is a particular calendar which is mostly used so if you set it as a default then most of the people that are creating new projects they don't have to apply that calendar but if a person does not need the uh, the default calendar he can change the default calendar of his project so once the calendar is applied on the project level and so whenever you are creating a new activity so the new activity will get the calendar from the project so guys let me show you that where is the project calendar see the the project the calendar you will find in the project detail so you please look at the demo screen only so there is a tab here called default in the de default you can see that a calendar name is here do, do you see that name here guys so so this is the project calendar this is applied at the project level now when you have a calendar at the project level then what happens so whenever you are creating a new activity so the project level the calendar it gets applied on the activity so guys do you see that every activity it has a column which is filled in with that same calendar now where is every activity has a the calendar see why why the primavera provided this because if you are doing multinational projects suppose one part of your project is being done in india another part is being done in the middle east and some part of it is done in another country right so what happens you can use if you wish you can use more than one calendar right is it clear so you know the activity which is being done in the middle east will be scheduled according to the local calendar there because in the mid middle east there uh, weekends are like fridays and saturdays so when you schedule an activity with that calendar it will be synchronized with the local um, the um, rules and norms and uh, culture right guys okay now yeah. let us see that how the corporate the calendar works okay so let's get into the calendar yes quickly 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 so don't break the floor Sir, what is the what is the enterprise calendar ha ah, yes what is the enterprise calendar yes i'm coming there only see enterprise means for the entire enterprise right do you see that enterprise project complete list of the project that exist in the organization enterprise project structure the structure of the business of the entire enterprise right and when you go to the enterprise calendar do you see this option yeah. here see yeah. the same option has has been provided here also so guys i am going to mark the arrow do you see the connection here yeah okay so this button can be accessed from the uh, from the top menu or you can say the panel number 1 now guys have a look what is an enterprise by calendar enterprise calendar is a set of the calendar which is useful in the entire company you just imagine that you are working in an organization which is having say 5000 users so guys that is normal okay because i am working with uh, certain um, the software companies they are using the primavera and you know the software companies they have branches almost like every country in the world so i am working with a company okay so they have 
this prima vera online so they have got branches in at least 50 places all over the world where they require the client delivery so they have the enterprise calendar for each of their countries now in the enterprise the first category is the global so guys what is the feeling you get when you hear the word global global means for everybody right is it clear now do you see a set of the calendars here so guys how many calendars are here five 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 calendars are here out of that one of the the calendar has been marked as default why guess this is the global calendar enterprise project calendar see all these calendars are globally useful in the entire company but this calendar is more useful this calendar is more used right that is why it has been marked as the default now what happens when this calendar is marked as the default so if any new project is created it is automatically applied at the project level okay now guys do you see this button here what does it say used by used by used by which projects so kranti please click on this button used by you will see a list of the projects which are using this calendar see guys please read read on the top what does it say hmm? calendar used by yes calendar used by the list of the projects so which projects are using the calendar which which calendar the corporate calendar see guys see these are the projects in existence which are using this guys do you see see that see do you see that see you will find that your project is also using the calendar so what is your project lesson 1 right guys so your project is also using this particular calendar because when you created your project so this calendar was the default so the global category is a category of the calendar which is useful for the entire organization and out of which one has been set as a default for for a matter of convenience right so let's say if some particular calendar has been noted that it is used by more than 60% of the users <laughs> they use this so you know it will be useful to save them from typing so it will so what the prima vera administrator did he put a default mark here so what happens whenever a project manager is creating a new uh, project he will see that the default calendar has been applied if he is okay with that so it's okay if he is not okay he can change it okay so then comes guys the uh, then comes guys the the project calendar so kranti you click here so right now you won't find anything here but let me tell you about the categories suppose if there is a calendar which is useful only in one project or maximum two projects so that will be kept in the project calendar because what happens so suppose if you have a project which where the timing is like uh, say um, um, it is from the 12 am to 6 am so it's a night shift so but that kind of the schedule is not useful in any of the other project it's a very unique project which is being done in this kind of a shift then that calendar will not be put into the global why because if you put that uh, the calendar into the global you know it will clutter there will be huge number of the calendars and people won't be able to locate the more useful calendars that's why you should uh, if the if the calendar is used only by the particular project so you should keep it in the project category now what happens if you keep it in the pro project category guys listen to me carefully it will be visible only to that particular project owner so is this thing clear if there are 10 people creating 10 project ca calendar only they will be able to see their own so you won't be seeing here 10 you will be seeing only one which you created and used in your project right guys is it clear yes sir so every project owner will see his calendar only he won't see the calendars which is created by the others so there is no confusion you, why do you want your calendar to be used by others so they don't find it useful because they are using a different sh schedule for their project so it is visible only to the particular project group only so it is a limited use calendar used only by some of the projects so that's why they are kept here right now we come to the resource calendar so in the resource 
Now you will see there is the name of the people. Like there is a person named here Frank Shu. I'll tell you about the Frank Shu first. Frank Shu is an external consultant. He is not an employee of the company. Employee of the company, he works. Every employee of the company works uh, Monday to Saturday. But Frank Shu works only three days a week. Now, guys, tell me, can Frank Shu's activity be scheduled? It is. Is it possible to be scheduled with the company calendar? No. So Frank Shu needs a customized calendar to schedule his work within the company. So that's why we have created the resource category. Okay. Now, Bakranti, you select the Frank Shu. You Frank Chu. Okay. Now you click on the used by. Do you see the resource, the icon here? Do you see the name, guys? Yes. Sandeep. Sandeep, do you yes, see sir. the name? See, yes. this calendar is used only by Frank Chu or Shu or whatever. Okay. So this calendar, why it is a customized calendar? Because he has an absolutely different timing from the organization. So that is why we create a resource calendar. Okay, now close it. Okay, now let us look at the calendar used by Mathis Lane, Lane Mathis, and click on the use by. You will find only one name. Only one person is using this calendar because Mathis Lane is also... Uh, and um, is, is also a worker in the company, but he might not be a full-time worker in the company. He could be a contracted person. He could be working a different kind of a schedule, which is not the normal Monday to Saturday. So he has a custom calendar, absolutely different from, so that kind of a calendar, which is used only for one or two resources, it is called resource calendar. Then, so guys read this a category. What is written here? Read it, Kranti. Carpenter shared. No, no. You read the one which is in shared the resource calendar. Ah, shared resource calendar. Shared, shared resource, resource calendar. Shared resource calendar means that yeah, this is a calendar. It is used by more than one resource, but up to three or five resources. But why these three resources are having the same schedule? Maybe they are coming from the same contractor, right? So these guys are coming from the same contractor and they have the same timings to come and go. So they might be coming on the Saturday and Sunday only, right? So, you know, the when you take a contract in a running company, in the running premises, so can you work on the weekdays? No, you guys can't work on the weekdays because on the weekdays, people are occurring. Suppose you got a contract to upgrade a call center or a software development company. They are working from Monday to Friday. But can you work in the mid middle of the 50 people the sitting in a hall? No, you can't. So you will create a schedule for the project. When the company is off, when the halls are empty, you want to up up upgrade something. Maybe you are upgrading the electrical panels, you are upgrading the window or the air conditioning system. So guys, just think of it like an engineer. So when it will be practicable to do your job? Weekends? When no one is left, yeah. Yeah. Off days, off days. Of this, so yeah. you will create a calendar which is useful for your resources. Suppose you are the contractor. Just imagine you are the contractor. You are sending three people to the client side. So you will create a schedule based upon the Saturday and Sunday only. So that is why it is called a shared resource calendar. So all your resources would be sharing this particular calendar. So now we come to the global. We will look into the corporate. But let's look at the scheduling done. Now, guys, uh, do this thing. So go to the last activity and change the duration to 4 hour, 4 H. Type here 4 H. So guys, I want you to notice something. See, when the activity is set to the 4 hours, it is starting at 9 a.m. and it is finishing at 1. Right? And when you enter 4 H, it says 0 D and 4 H. It is, it is showing that the part of the day is zero. So it is not a complete day. So it is a fraction of the day. Okay. It is automatically putting Z zero D, right? Okay. Now guys, instead of the four hours, you put here eight hours here and see that what happens. Eight H. So guys, do you note that it is taking the one hour of the extra work to the next day? Do you see that? 
See, the work is starting on the first May, but the work is ending on the second May, 9 a.m. Why is that so? I'll tell you why. Because this calendar is actually, the, the calendar is structured to start at 8 a.m. See, the, the calendar is structured to start at 8 a.m. I'll tell you that what's happening here. In this calendar, the timing is from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. But when you are entering the, uh, when you are entering the time, uh, the, uh, the hours, actually it is scheduling from 9 a.m. So I'll just tell you that why it is doing so. It is scheduling from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. No, it is scheduling from 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. next day. Oh. Right? And why it is doing so? Because if you look carefully into the project de default, see when we had created the project. So, you know, if you go to the dates, guys, do you, do you see that? I had asked you to deliberately enter 9 a.m. Do you see that? So whenever you are entering the duration in the activity column, that is the duration column, the project is actually forcing the activity to start at 9 a.m. So since you are entering the eight hours, the eight hours of the work is not being able to finish on the same day. According to the calendar, the eight hours of the work can be finished from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So what the what the what the uh, calendar is doing? It is scheduling the uh, scheduling the seven hours of the work on the first day. Then the balance, which is the uh, blue hour. blue portion. So I, I'm marking in blue. That is the balance of of the one hour. So it is taking the balance of the one hour to the next day, right? So here it is putting the seven hours of the work. And on the next day, it is putting the balance one hour of the work. Do you see that now? Do you realize? Is it uh, understood? Okay. So the corporate calendar structure is like this. Okay. Now let us ex examine the corporate calendar that how it has been structured and why it is sh scheduling like that. Okay. Okay, guys. Now to understand the structure of the corporate calendar. So let us go into the corporate calendar. So to access the calendar, you I can want to know that where this 9 a.m. has been kept, sir. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. So I just sh showed you, you, sh you should be paying the uh, attention here. When I created the project, I forced the project start time at 9 a.m. Do you see it now? Sir, no, if you change it, I'm not getting changed, sir. That's why I'm just... No, no, don't change it, please, now. Okay. Just wait. Okay. So uh, don't change it. First, try to und uh, understand that what's happening here. See, now we have to understand the structure of the corporate calendar. To understand the structure of the corporate calendar, we have to go into the calendars, list of the calendars in the enterprise. So this is the list of the calendars. So since we are working with the corporate, so we are going to select the corporate and click on the modify button. Actually, we are not going to modify. We are only going to examine. Okay. So now, Click on the total work hours per day. It is going to set the structure of the week. So if you've done that, it's okay. If it is there, it's okay. Now let us look at the time periods. Let's look at the time periods. Click on this button, time periods. Kranti? Yeah. So guys, the first, first of all, it is saying eight man hours per day. So guys, where does the eight man hours, uh, the eight man hours per day come from? <clears throat> what is the, what is the, uh, what is the origin? So guys, eight man hours per day comes from International Labor Organization. It gave the labor laws in 1950, which was adopted by the member of the United Nations. So the member of the United Nations, they mostly follow the directives of the United Nations. The United Nations was created for what? Do you know that? Why the United Nations was created? Yes, United sir. Nations was created to prevent a third world war. It was then humanity after having two world wars, it came to its senses. Okay, first it knocked the half of the world, dropped two atom bombs here and there, destroyed half of the population, destroyed their resources. 
After that, humanity came to his senses. They came to the senses that it is better to be sensible and prevent the third world war and let us go back to our homes and industries and start new business. Have you seen that after the second world war, Japan came up with big companies and corporations and US businesses, they flourished because earlier, you know, all the war efforts. So people thought that uh, what is better to loot from the other countries. If you want to get rich, invade the other country and loot it. But later people realized that if I try to loot another country, so we'll have to fight a long war and uh, there won't be any uh, winner there because all the countries, they were getting science and technology and they were also getting militarily stronger, right? So what is the sensible thing to do? Sensible thing to do is that go back to your home, start your own business and exchange values, produce goods and services, right? Is that clear, guys? So when you're running the industry, you have to give some fair laws to the people that work there. So International Labor Organization came up with this eight man hours per day. So that's why it is here. Now, a company can decide whether they want to work five days a week or six days a week. So guys, what is the culture here? Five days or six days a week, man hours per week. Look at that. Five days. Five days a week. So that is why they say that our guys are going to work five, uh, 40 man hours per week. Now, guys, it, what they're saying that every month we expect a person to work 172 man hours. So, guys, quickly open your mobile phone and get the calculator and divide 172 by 8. And tell me how many man days they expect their people to work. 21.5. 21 and a half days. So, it means that you are expected to come 8 hours for 21 days and one of the days you can have a half days. Right? So, that's a work culture. Now, how many man days they expect their person to work? They have put 2,000 man hours. So guys, divide 2,000 by 8 and tell me how many man days they expect a person to work in their organization per year. 250 days. 250 days. So, you know, they don't expect everybody to come 365 because it is not possible also because already they are having five days a week. Five days a week plus the uh, plus the holidays. So these guys are left with uh, how, how many days to work? 250. 250. So it means that uh, uh, 365 minus 250. How much is that? 365 minus uh, 250. How many days they are taking off? 115 days they are taking off. So 115 days are going into the weekends like Saturday and Sunday and maybe some of the holidays also. So, you know, that's a work culture, right? So that's just okay. So guys, do you understand this thing? In the Primavera, the day is divided in, uh, in day is described in man hours. The week is described in man hours. The month is de describing in man hours and the year is also described in man hours, right? So it makes it easy for the software to do the scheduling, which you will understand in a while. Now you cancel this thing. We don't want to save. Okay, now we will we will understand. So guys, just have a look. I am going to mark something on the legend. Guys, do you see the legend and the color in the calendar? Non-work. Do you, do you see that? And work days are called standard. Okay, they are not called work, but rather they are called standard. So guys, do you see the green blocks? Hmm. Okay, is this clear? Just remember the color. Non-work will be in the darker shade, right? Okay, now we want to understand how the week has been structured. So you'll have to click on the button work week. So click on the button work week. Okay, guys, it's a very simple thing to understand which days of the week you want to switch on and off. So, so guys, do you see the connect now? Hmm? Yes, sir. Do I need to explain? It's a simple logical thing. If they want any uh, weekday to be off, they simply put zero. You simply put zero. So that becomes a non-work day. If you want to make any day as the work, you might put something greater than one. So here they want a person to work for, from Monday to Friday. They want a person to work eight man hours per day. So that's why into the slots of each weekday, so they have put here 8888 till the Friday. Right, guys? Is this clear? This is how the calendar structure is created. So this is the one which is pre-created. We are trying to understand it. So they, in this company, there is a work culture of eight man hours per day on the weekdays. 
Monday to Friday. Weekend is considered Saturday and Sunday according to this company and the country's work culture, right? So in this company or the country, they have a five days a week. So which five days are working Monday? So if you put eight into the Monday, it will be perpetually for all the Mondays, right guys? Is this thing clear? What I said, if you put eight hour into one Monday slot, it will be perpetually applied. I don't know how long the Primavera calendar can go. Maybe it can go up to 500 years. It, it is a software. It can create a calendar to 500, 1000 years. But do you think you are going to have such long projects? I'm sure not. Okay. So basically you would like the project to be finished in your lifetime. It is good for you and your client also. Okay. To work within the time constraint. Okay, now let us understand that how this eight hours is structured. See, eight, eight, eight hours can't be random. It's not like that one person is coming at 8 a.m., another person is coming at 9 a.m., another person uh, is coming, say, whenever I feel I can come. So, guys, can, can it be like that? Is that the possible? No, sir. No. That is not possible. So every day, the eight hour has to have a starting time. And every day, the starting time will be there, the break time will be there, and the finish time will be there. Let us see how they have structured the eight hours per day. Okay. So, Kranti, you click on the cancel. Okay. Now, you select the detailed work hour per day. So, detailed work hour, the name is very simple. Detailed work hour per day. Every day, you want to see how the eight hours has been broken up. Now to see the detailed work hour per day, click on the work week button. Now, guys, do you see that this is how the structure is made? And so let me tell you this slabs. So, so guys, if you lo look at the uh, top left corner, it says zero, zero. Do you see that? Yes, sir. So guys, have you noticed one thing in your computer or in the digital clock? So when it is 12 a.m., it shows zero, zero. Time starts at zero minutes, right or wrong? Yes, sir. So when 60 minutes is completed, you have completed one hour of the day, right? Yes, sir. So that becomes 1 a.m. After yes. completion of 60 minutes, it becomes 1 a.m. So 12 a.m. is in the digital clock or practically speaking, it is the zero minute. It is the start of the time for the day. So when 60 minutes are completed in the early morning, then 1 a.m. is happened on the clock okay after the 1 am there is 2 3 4 5 6 8 but in this clock there is no am pm but rather it is going to 13 14 15 16 23 and end of the 23 is actually 24 so so guys so this is completing the 24 hours okay and this is start this is called the zero hour of the day right guys so is this thing clear Yes, sir. Okay. And this time format is used by which play, which industries or institution? This time format is used by the Army, Navy, Air Force. And this time format is also used by the travel industry. So, guys, have you noticed that your plane tickets, uh, there is no AMPM. Rather, it is written, the flight takeoff is, I mean, the departure is ETD. Expected time of departure, 17 hours. ETA, local time, 20 hours. Right, guys? Is it clear? Yes, sir. So they are mentioning the time in the 24-hour format. Why? Because so that people are not mistaken. So suppose if it is written 5 a.m. and someone reaches the airport at 5 p.m. Do you think that would be nice? No, that won't be nice. People can get confused. So, and people can take the airlines to the court that you have misprinted. So, there is no misprinting or misunderstanding. The All the travel industry, they are using the 24 um, the hours of the time format. But we, since we work uh, near home, so we work on the project. So, we will be using the AMPM because we are used to the analog clock. Because we are able to understand the af afternoon, if I say 1 p.m., then you can understand, oh, 1 p.m. So 1 p.m. is a time around which I will be taking some rest. I will be having some lunch. I'll be taking my break. And if I say th 13 hours, it will take you a while to calculate. If I say 17, so it will take you a while to calculate. So what will you do? You will do 17 minus 12. 
So guys, what is 17 minus 12? 5 p.m. p.m. Yes. It is not just 5. It is 5 p.m. Right? And if I say 0, 5, 0, 0, so what does it mean? 5 a.m. Yeah. Right? Is it clear? So that's how the primavera is giving you the structure, how to schedule. So guys, in this, the dark color is the non-work and this is the work. So if you look carefully, I'm going to mark it with a blue uh, boundary. So guys, how many man hours of the, uh, I'm, I'm use, using this uh, smaller, uh, just a moment. Let me turn it into blue. So guys, within the blue boundaries, how many man hours of the work is being done? Just count the slabs here, rows here. Eight. Eight. So do you see any break time? No. There is no break time. So what, what is the work culture in the company? The CEO says you come early and go early. That's a convenience. But guys, tell me, can you work like that? <laughs> no, you, I'm sure not. Okay. Kranti, click on the Tuesday and let us examine what is the structure of Tuesday. Same? Yes, sir. Wednesday? Same. Same. Thursday? Same. Same. Friday? Same. Of course, they, they will be same if they are the work days. But look at these Saturday. Saturday is a non-work day. Right? And what is the Sunday? Sunday is also non-work day. But all the work days in any organizations, whether it is a five day or the six days, they will have the same starting time and the same finish time. Right or wrong, guys? Correct? You can't have different timings on the work days. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. So because you got to synchronize the people, if you need 10 people in a team, can you have them come in at different times and be able to do the work? No, not at all. So you have to tell all the guys, guys, please all come to the company at 8 a.m. and you will work for eight, eight hours and leave at 4 p.m. But here, there is a problem here. So guys, if the if the CEO says you come early and go early, would that sound good to you? Can you work eight hours continuously without any break? No. Hmm? No. No, you can, cannot work. So let us think of a better calendar. So what we will do, we will create a calendar for our own organization. It will be having eight man hours of the work and it will be having one hour of the break in between. Yes, of course, the people will leave one hour later, but they will have four hours of work, one hour of the break time within which they can have their lunch, they can relax and they can start the work again. Four hours and they will be able to work at their peak best. Okay. So if you look at this calendar structure, it is structured from... 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Right, guys? Is this thing clear? See, this, this part is the 8 a.m. So, which is very obvious. So, what is the, the finish time? So, I'm going to write the finish time. So, guys, the finish time is 4 p.m. here. So, is, is this thing clear? Yes, sir. So, 4 p.m. is basically, it is at the end of the 15. At the end of the 15 is the start of 16. So, what is 16? 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Okay. Uh, just at the moment. Okay, guys. Now, guys, so what we are going to do, we are going to exit from here and we will create our own uh, ca ca calendar. So click on the cancel. Click on the cancel again, th this one. So we don't, uh, yes, are you sure you want to cancel changes? Yes, because we were here only to examine. Okay, so click on the yes. Okay, click on the close. 
Okay. So guys, so just like uh, in engineering, so what do we do? First, we create specification of something and then we do it. So first we will write the specification of the calendar. So guys, please read me, the specification here, which I've written. Excuse me, sir. Please read this. Uh, Kranti, please read this. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, six days a week. Uh, yes, so someone said, uh, someone has a question quickly. Uh, sir, uh, yesterday you made a calendar, sir, uh, in that you put a six days week, no. six days. No, uh... no, 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 I didn't make any calendar. Yeah, we... I, I have not created any calendar at all. So somewhere we entered these yes, values, right? Yes, we sir, yes, sir. Same right? values we have entered, so sir. Yesterday, yes. sir. No, no, no. We didn't create any calendar because we stopped after creating the project only. So please uh, re read this. Okay, just go with the flow. Okay. Six days a week. Uh, read it from Monday to Saturday. Yeah. And uh, eight hours. No, eight, eight, man hour. eight man hours per working day. Per the working day. See, there is a day difference in the calendar day. Calendar day has 24 hours. Working day has eight man hours. Okay. Do you understand what is the difference between the, um, the what is the uh, what is the difference, guys? Have you heard uh, BD? You know what is the meaning of the BD? Business day. So different companies have different business day timing. Some companies start at 8 a.m. Some companies start at 9. Some companies start at 9:30. Some companies start at 10 a.m. That is their business day. Have you seen that if you buy a product, it is written the call center timing will be from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. Have you seen that? That is their working day so it is eight man hour per working day now when you talk about the, the working week so what is the man hours 48 yes then working month so 192 okay then working year 2400 yeah so now after this now this is the breakup of the eight man hours so how the person is going to work here? So first shift from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., four man hours, and one hour lunch break from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., and second shift from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., again four man hours. So you know, if you look from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., so guys, what is the total time from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m.? Nine uh, as nine nine hours but the person does not work nine hours so you know the i'll tell you what is the fine day difference between the man hours and the, the hours where is the terminology of the man hour coming we, we we call it just one hour but why do we call it the man hour nine a.m to one pair because the man works during that time the time where when the man work that is called man hour right guys is it clear Yes, sir. Now, why man hour? Why not the why not the woman hour? Because the first engineering of the mankind was the civil engineering. You know, these were very tough things. The, the if you if you look back in time, say but thousands of years and more than that, we'll find that mostly what the females were doing. So they were staying at home. They were producing the, the babies, right? Baby after the baby, like that. It was like that only. Okay. So man was going out to do the hunting, gathering, and do some work. That is why these are called man hours. But these days, some people say, uh, oh, why man hours? The women also work on the project. So sometimes we call them as the person hours. Right, guys? Is it clear? But man hour doesn't mean that only man will work in the company. Man hour means that uh, human hour. <laughs> okay, is it clear? Yes, sir. So it includes the females also. So females said they have been liberated. So these days we have got the contraceptives. It is not necessary that a female will have 10 children, 12 children. She can have just two or three and she will be liberated with the washing machine, microwave. She can go out and work. She can go out and uh, fly a plane. She can be a, the fighter pilot. She can be a Navy captain and all that. So she can work on a project site as an engineer also. Right, guys? Okay. So that is why we can say it is the... It is the human hour or the person hour where the people work. So this is the time. But this time is not called man hour. Why? Because this is the lunch time. No, nobody works during these during these times. Right? That is why it is just called one hour. But these are called man hour. Man hour is the uh, is the timing where people work. So 
now the people are contributing to the company by working four hours from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Then people are working four hours in the second shift also. Okay. And what happens in this calendar? Read this last line. Holidays as declared by the company. So holidays which are declared by the companies, they are, they are inherited from the country's laws. So country's declaration, country declares the holiday, then some of which are mandatory for a country, for a company to have, like in India, it is mandatory to have the holiday on 26th January, that is the Re Republic Day. And on the 15th of the August, which is the Independence Day, and the 2nd of the October, which is the Mahatma Gandhi Jayanti Day. So three days are mandatory, compulsory, and these have to be followed by all the uh, companies across the country. And rest of them, they can be dependent upon your uh, religious calendars, and they can be taken. Okay, so holidays as declared by the companies. Now, we are going to create this uh, calendar. So this is the specification. So engineers, first we create specification or drawing for something. Then we do the creation of that item, right? Okay, guys. Now, after this, we are going into the Primavera and we are going to create this uh, calendar hands-on. So guys, please move into the Primavera with this knowledge. If you forget it, you can come back and look at it. Now to create a new calendar. So guys, everybody is uh, synchronized here. Yes, sir. Okay, we will yes, do it slowly and nice. Okay. So everybody, first of all, click on the calendar button, which is on your panel too. You can see it on the screen. So everybody is here. And make sure that you selected the global. We are going to create a calendar which is globally useful. So guys, have you selected the global? Okay. After that, you click on the add button. So guys, have you clicked on the add? Now read, uh, Kranti, just keep it still. Uh, okay. So guys, please read this text. Display cal cal global calendar. Okay. Select calendar to copy from. Yes. Why is it saying select calendar to copy from? I'll tell you the reason. So suppose if you have to write a letter of 20 pages and you come to know that one of your colleague or friend has it. So what will you do? Will you still create from scratch or will you take a copy and you modify copy that? And from, from that you will modify. Exactly. So, you know, that is the thought process here. So Primavera is saying that you please select a calendar, which is a nearest match and then you can modify it. And I feel that the corporate is the nearest match, okay? I can take a copy of the corporate. I need to modify it slightly and it will become my six days, right? So please select the corporate and click on the green plus button. Okay, guys, now do you see that on the top, a new calendar has been created? So please rename that to IST in the capital letter, IST and press enter, press enter. So after pressing the enter, do you see it gets into its alphabetical position? Do you see that? It is coming into its alphabetical position. Now, since this calendar is going to be used more frequently, so what we do, we change it to the default calendar. Okay, guys. Now, guys, please let, uh, let me tell you one thing. Tell me if you are synchronized up to here. No U-turns, please. Yeah, very good. Yes, very, so. very good. Yeah. So, so everybody should respond because what happens that uh, um, I will come to know if you are disconnected or if I'm disconnected because we are using the medium of the internet. Okay. We are not sitting in the classroom. So, you know, we are living in the high tech times. Okay. I used to see this kind of a communication in the Star Trek. Guys, do you remember the Star Trek serial? I used to watch them in the 80s. Um, in the black and white television. It was quite interesting and people could talk, people could see. It was quite a very hi-fi thing. Okay. So we are doing that only, but we want to make sure that we all are connected at the same time. So Indian Standard Time calendar and we need to modify this. So click on the modify button. Uh, sir, one moment. Uh, Rahul, this side. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, manage screen start kiya hai, means uh, activity mera different hai. So, ek bar aap check kar dijiye. So, no, no, I, will, I, I can't check. You know why? Because you have been in the pre pre previous batch. 
So at this point of time, it will be useful to go with this flow. Okay, yes, I cannot come and check your screen because for the simple fact, there will be a lot of stuff which is already existing there, pre-existing. Okay. Okay, okay, you just create a new calendar. You can name it as the ISTH or ISTX or the whatever, okay? Because okay. your already IST calendar will be there, okay? Please go with the flow because okay. these are the new guys. You are an experienced guy. You are here to re refresh yourself. You are welcome. So let me make sure that what they're seeing on the screen, it is the same for all the new people here. Okay, if, if I come to your screen, they might be confused, okay, which I don't want to do right now. I'll definitely look at your screen after I have gone through the process. So guys, everybody's here, global calendar. IST, yeah. you see the name? See, you have created a global calendar with the name IST. Now we are going to structure the calendar. See, if you look at this calendar carefully, it has got the structure of the corporate because it's a copy of the corporate, right? Now, the first thing that we are to, going to change is the time period. So how are we going to de define the uh, man day? Man day is eight hours, fine. So what is the man week? So man week will be 48 man hours. Okay. No, don't close close it. Keep, keep it here. Okay. Keep it here. Don't press enter. Now go to the man hours per month. So guys, what will be uh, man hours? 48 multiplied by 4? 192. And the man hours of the per, per year will be 2400 because we round off the 2304 to the next level. That is the 2400. Why? Because there are many months which are having 31 days, right? And they have a working Saturday as well. To include those working Saturday into the work hours so as not to miss them, we say the working year is described as 2400 man hours. So we expect that in this organization, a person will contribute 2400 man hours per year. Okay. So that's why we round it off. So click on the okay to Im implement it. Okay, guys. So guys, everybody, please confirm that you have done that. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Very good. So now we are going to tell the um, configure the days, which days are to be worked. So click on the work week. So you will see the slots. So if you look at the slots uh, carefully, we want this, want the person to work six days a week. So the Saturday will be turned into eight man hours. Right? Guys, you have done that? Just hold it. Kranti, hold, hold the screen. You are the demo guy. Yeah, done. Mazarul. Done. Najam. Done, sir. Okay. Sidesh. Okay. Guys, I'm pausing here. I want to ask a question. Are you doing things with understanding? Have you understood what you have done? Yes, sir. Yeah. See, this, this training is not about clicking because I'm asking you to click. Okay. Engineering is based upon three things, maths, science, and logic. I'm not doing any takrir here. You have the right to question me, right? Guys, is, is that clear? Yeah. I'm an engineer like you and rest of the stories I, I don't care about. What I care that you should understand it. And if you don't find anything not matching up to the science, maths, or logic, please question it here, right? And if we question it, the world will be a better place to live in. Okay, guys, is that clear to you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. Now click on the okay. So once we click on the okay, we can see that only the Sunday is non-work day. So rest of the weekdays has been designated as work day, right? And we can see, okay, if you click on any of the Sunday, you will see zero here. Do you see that? Yes, sir. And if you click on any of the weekdays, you will see eight here, right? So we have put a lump sum of eight. Now over, what is the next step? Next step is to detail that how this eight hours will be utilized during the day, 
right guys that is the next step that is the next logical step we have told the calendar 8 hours but how this 8 hours will be utilized so that we are going to do in the next step so for the detailing of the 8 hours so please select this button detailed 8 hours per day right okay guys now after that we will go into the interface to detail out each work week so guys what is the work culture here for the 6 days from monday to saturday so it is like 9 am to 1 pm four man hours then 1 to 2 pm is the lunch time or the break time right and then the next four hours are from 2 pm to 6 pm right guys is it clear okay now just do do this thing first of all you select the six days from monday to saturday here you can press the shift and down arrow and like like on kranti screen you can select so kranti please press the shift yeah saturday so six days we are going to set at once okay in one shot we are going to set the daily breakup of the six days so which six days monday to saturday so guys please confirm that you have selected monday to saturday yes, yes. right now the eight uh, now the 8 am is a non work time so make uh, both the, the 30 minutes as non work so click on the non work no first you click on the non work then go to the next lab kranti <laughs> Uh, look at the demo. I select the first lab, click on the non work. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sir. Yeah. Then, then you click on the next lab, click on the non work. So, entire one hour will become non work. Then, what is the non work? The lunch time of the 1 pm. So, what, what is the 1 pm? 13 hours. So, make both the slabs as non work. Then, after that, after the lunch time, there is four hours of the work. So go, go, go to this and click on the work. Yes. And go to the 17 also and make it as the work. Okay. And hold and hold your screen. So guys, please look at the demo screen and everybody please confirm that you have understood. Understood. First thing is important is understood and done the same. So what is the timing here? For all the six days, we are telling that people will start the work at 9 a.m. Okay? Yeah, yeah. From 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. they will work. And as soon as the clock hits the 1 p.m., okay? What is the 1 p.m.? Lunch time. Yeah, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. is the one hour duration. It is the lunch time. Okay? Right? Okay, after the lunch time is done, so they are going to start the work at the 2 p.m. And they are going to finish the work at exactly when the clock touches 6 p.m. No, clock touches 6 p.m. Okay, guys, is, is this clear? End of the yeah. business day is at the 6 p.m. So what is the start of the business day? 9 a.m. Start of work day. So here, we write here, start of the work day. Okay, guys, is this clear? 9 a.m. is the start of the work day and 6 p.m. is the end of the work day. So, this is how we are telling the Primavera that how to utilize 8 hours. And if you have any set of the work days, so they are mostly the same. It, you don't have the different timings on a different day unless and until uh, one of the, um, let's say, one of the Saturdays is a half day. So, even that's possible. Okay. Okay. So, these have been the setup for the so everybody please confirm that you have done the same and you have understood the same yeah okay good now after that click on the okay click on the okay now after clicking on the okay we will do the cross check okay guys 
Now, guys, place your cursor on any Monday. So, what is the structure that you see here? Does the structure look right? D does it look right? Yes, Starting at 9 a.m., then lunchtime 13 hours yeah. and uh, finishing at the 16. Okay, now, yeah. now click on the Tuesday. Now, select Tuesday. Uh, here, you select the, but no, no. Only one Tuesday, Baba. If one Tuesday is correct, then perpetually all Tuesdays are correct. This is a perpetual setting. Now check the Wednesday. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now check the Thursday. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Friday. Correct. Mm. Saturday. Yes, sir. Correct. Sunday. Correct. Because so Sunday is an off day and all of the blocks should be dark gray, right? Yeah. Okay, guys. So this is the breakup that we have done of the eight hours. So after doing the breakup, so we want to store this setup. So click on the okay, carefully click on the okay, because some people click on the cancel and then they come back and say, oh, my setting is not done. So every time you should use the okay, if you want to retain the setting. So guys, do you see and the Indian standard time calendar has been created? Yes, sir. And we yeah. have marked it as the default. Yeah. Now, guys, please tell me what is the purpose of marking it as the default? So every time whenever we create a project, it will take a EST. This, was, this will be the standard. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. default is not a rule. It is a convenience. It is not necessary that you should be using the default calendar always. Suppose if you are doing 10 projects out of that, eight projects are using the IST, then it is a convenience. So you don't have to go to the project and do the setting. But if two of your projects are not using the IST, they are using any of the other global calendars, you can change it after the project has been created. Now, after that, you close it. Okay, now we will apply the new calendar to the project because right now my calendar, my project is using the corporate. Okay, so guys, please come to the project and select the project and in the project, go to the default tab. So guys, you are here? Yeah. Okay, guys, please check the calendar here and change it to the IST. I'm sure you know how to do it. You have to just click on the button on the side and select IST. Done. Okay, guys, everybody please confirm that you have selected the IST. Yes, sir. Yes. And then the make sure that the duration type is this. This, this has got, uh, right now it has got nothing to do with the calendar directly. It has got to do everything with the resources. So guys, do you have this fixed duration and units per time, units slash time. Have yeah. you selected this option? Yeah, fine. So mainly we are mainly we are focused on the change of the calendar. Now, guys, what do you expect to see? I, I'll tell you what you should expect. So from this point, all the new activities will be scheduled by the IST. Okay, IST calendar. Now, now you in uh, uh, create one uh, activity new and press enter. Press enter. Now, guys, look. Carefully on the Gantt chart, do you see the Gantt chart, the activity is six day. This six day activity is starting on the Monday and it is finishing on the Saturday. Do you, do you see, see that? Yes, sir. So guys, is it the same for you all? See, the starting time is 9 a.m. and the finishing time is 6 p.m. Do you see that? Yes, sir. And all the activities which are being scheduled by the corporate, they are having a different timing, which is in the corporate. So in the corporate, the in the corporate calendar, the six day activity is going from Monday to the next Monday, right? But whereas in this one, the six day activity is being done within the six days from Monday to Saturday, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So now you create one more activity by clicking on the plus button. And instead of the six day, you write here one W. Right here, one W. Guys, after you write one W and press enter, then what happens? So what do you see? What do you see? This. It has converted into the days. Okay, it has converted into the days. Okay, let's see that uh, more of it. Okay, so now, now guys, insert one more activity. 
insert one more of the activity there. Okay, and change the duration to one MO, one month. So one month abbreviation is one MO. Now, as soon as you enter one month, you are getting here 24 days. Right, guys, is it clear? Do I need to explain? One month is a bunch of 24 days, right? Okay. It is a collection of 24 man days. Now, if you look at the 24, but if you look at the finish date, so why the 24 days is finishing on the 27th of May? Why not the 24th? The answer will come yes. from you only. Sundays. Sunday. Yes, guys, I don't have to explain to you. You are engineers. You have got logic. The Sundays are off days. So we can say that 27 days is the calendar days and 24 days is the working days. Now, guys, let me tell you a very fine point. If you're sitting in a meeting and if someone is asking you that Kranti, Sir. tell me what is the duration taken to complete this activity? You know what you should answer from now onwards. You will say 24 Working. Engineering days. No, engineering days. Engineering Because working days are based upon your engineering knowledge, right or wrong? Yes, sir. Can you determine the duration without having any knowledge or experience of the engineering? Tell it very clearly, according to engineering process, it is going to take 24 days. Now, if someone is asking which finish date, you, you say, no, I can't say the finish date here because I'm not Prima Vera. I'm okay. So I'll have to enter this 24 working days into the original duration column. Then the Prima Vera, based upon the calendar which we are using, it will calculate the finish date of this activity or the project. Right, guys? Is this clear? Because, you know, I've got stuck into many such situations. You know, uh, clients have a bad habit of nitpicking. Aapne to 24 din bataye the, 27 kiyo ho rahe, 30 kiyo ho rahe, 35 kiyo ho rahe. Guys, do you get my point or not? Yeah. Najam, is that clear to you? Yeah. So tell everybody in a very clear language that 24 days is the process that it takes to complete this particular kind of an activity. So when I have the opportunity to sit on the Prima Vera, I will tell you the exact finish date according to the calendars. I am not telling you any dates here. See, guys, don't try to calculate dates in your head. You will land up in a soup. Is that clear? Yeah. So you tell them, look, I'm an engineer. I will tell you about the work days in terms of the wo working days of the process. Okay. I'm not ca calculating the calendar inside my head. The calendar algorithm is in the computer and the, the decision, I mean, the final date will be calculated according to the location calendar. If the job is being done in India, it will be calculated according to the IST calendar. If the job is being done in the Middle East, then the finish date will be calculated according to the Middle East of the calendar. So it is the job of the uh, computer or the Prima Vera to calculate the schedule. Now, guys, let, let me tell you that what is happening here, how you are get, getting. See, this is the original duration. This is your input. And the, the green part is the output from the Prima Vera, right? So green part is called the schedule. Okay, guys. Now, how is the schedule being created? So it is the flow, flow chart is like this. The input goes into calendar. Like this. From the project calendar. So. I hope you understand algorithm. Okay. It goes into the calendar uh, al the algorithm. After the calendar algorithm, the schedule is created by Prime Minister. Right, guys? Is this clear? Hmm? Now, original du duration comes from where? Yes, sir. Really?
Okay, is this clear? Yes, sir. I have a doubt, sir. Yes, doubts are good. Okay. Sir, why the abo already entered a new act uh, already entered activities wasn't changed the calendar, sir. Corporate it was showing the corporate standard full time. Why it is not showing the Indian standard? Sir? I yes. Because these are pre-existing. Any okay. pre-existing calendars are not changed. Okay, sir. Only the activities which are entered after changing the project default calendar, mm. those are changed. Did I not show you in the previous diagram? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That but the then, activities mm. are inheriting from the project default. So mm. earlier project default was corporate. So after changing the corp, after changing it to IST, now all the activities will be IST only. Okay, sir. But okay. in the project tab, we entered in, uh, we, we totally changed the project calendar into the IST, but for the above one showing again, uh, corporate. again, I'm telling you the same answer because those are pre-existing activities, pre-existing activities are not changed. But this is the case would not happen in the Microsoft project. Let's yes, say. yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that you noticed it. See, hmm. Microsoft project is user friendly. So Microsoft project will change it. Then you will not like it. You will say, no, no, I want to. In the Microsoft project, you can have a mix of multiple calendars. Okay. But Primavera is engineer friendly. So majority of the Prima, majority of the Primavera users, they are hardcore engineers. What kind of engineers? Civil, electrical, mechanical structure. So it is their viewpoint that the existing activities should not be changed. If I need to change it, I will change it myself by okay. using the global change facility. Just like in the Excel, you have got a macro facility, you have got something global change. Yes. They say, I don't want it too much of the automatic. You know, I'm the, yes, bothered sir. by that. I'm irritated yes, by that. Yes, they don't sir. like in it. In Microsoft, it will be like always, it. always automatic. Sir. Yeah. What else we it is about? always of the automatic mm -hmm. because the Microsoft project has been created so that it can be used by the housewives also. Mm -hmm. Do you yes, get my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Primavera has been created by engineers, for the engineers, by the engineers, and of the engineers. Mm, okay, sir. That is but, the difference. So it is like using a ladies' cycle and a gent cycle. <laughs> 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 like that, you, you can see. <laughs> sir, okay? can, can we know what is the global calendar, sir? Here, uh, can we see the what is the... Wait, wait, wait. Step by step. Okay. Have you have you understood how the schedule is created? First, you tell me the first what is in front of you. Yeah, it's front of you. Two you, project, two calendars are there. One is corporate and another one is IST. No, and, look at the flow chart. See how the schedule is created. I'm asking yes, you. Sir, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. where does the duration come? Yes, sir. Some people think, you know, I have I was shocked to know. Sir, where will the duration come from? They're asking me this question in the class. <laughs> It's a uh, predefined knowledge, sir. These no, knowledge. they think the, no, uh, said, yeah, the is, primavera is artificial said, intelligence. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm but, saying the original original the duration is, will duration will come from your boss. Your yeah. boss will sit with you and uh, do all, yeah, all yeah. the project planning and he will give the give you the salary for nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. See, the duration will come from your expert judgment. Now, what is an ex expert judgment according to PMI? Expert judgment is consisting of experience, your engineering BTEC qualification, your industrial knowledge, your industrial training, your company knowledge, company training, then advice from the seniors and subject matter expert. All these things and factors combined together with the memory in your head gives you a judgment. You say, okay, this kind of engineering process requires six days, 24 days, one days. So the, this comes from the expert judgment. If you don't have this expert judgment, don't come to my class. Mm. So a lot of the students, I say, no, please don't come to my class. You are, you are basically expect me to teach you civil engineering. No, I do not teach civil engineering. I do not even teach software in engineering. If some software engineer comes to my class, expecting me to tell them that where the duration will come, I'm sorry. We are talking about a common topic. What is the common topic between the engineers? Yeah. One is the project management and project management software. Another is the AutoCAD. I can teach you the AutoCAD, but I cannot teach you me mechanical drawing, how it is to be used. You use the drawing in your mechanical engineering or civil engineering. You can use the AutoCAD for all kinds of engineering. I'm using the AutoCAD to create the diagrams of the data centers. Mm. 
So do I expect the some AutoCAD trainer to teach me how to create the diagram of a data center, where the server will be placed, where the firewall will be placed, where the power supply will be placed, where the air conditioning will be placed, where the input and output will go. And I know I will de decide that where the data center should be, it should be above the ground or below the ground. I don't expect the AutoCAD guy to teach me that, right? You get my point. So similarly, I'm not here to teach you any engineering. So rather I'm te teaching you how you can enhance your engineering knowledge by planning better. Okay, guys, just... Okay, guys. So is this point clear? This uh, original duration column, make sure that you have confirmed it with industry, with your uh, uh, solid knowledge of the engineering domain, yes, right? Yes. So that is why, you know, the fresher can't become a project manager. How can he become a manager when he has not seen many activities done? When you do a lot of activities within five, six years, then you are positioned to know all the activities and plan them. Okay, guys, is that clear? Okay, now, but coming to the main point, so we can see that how the primavera is sir, going. All doubt, sir. sir, yesterday we changed the start date, right? So from, uh, I forgot where we have entered the start date. Can you show us? Ah, yes, yes, sure, sure. Uh, please come to the project and go to the dates. In the project, there is a tab called the dates and you can enter the start date here. Make sure that both the dates and the start date and the data date is the one May. Okay. Okay. So I'm sensitizing you to the fact that you should start planning early. See, okay. one May is a date in the, the future. The, the sooner you plan, the sooner you can fix any problem in the plan. Okay. Right. You should start with a perfect or a nearly perfect plan. So if you plan early, you will be able to detect any problem. You will be take advice of many, many people, show it to many people and get agreement from all. And agreed upon plan will have the least variance. Agreed upon plan. So you should involve your key um, person, those who are subject matter experts, those who work on the site. Okay, you should take their opinion. You should not have a difference of the opinion in, in the execution phase. In the planning, the difference of opinion will serve a positive purpose. It will lead to a creative discussion. You will be able to find out many flaws in your engineering knowledge. And then you will come to a balanced duration, which will work for all. Right, guys, is it clear? Because some people, they don't understand it. They do not consult any team member. They, they think they are using the Primavera and they are the king. No, it's not like that. A project manager is a people manager. So bring all the people to the table and show them, look, guys, I'm using the Primavera as a medium to exchange our thought process. So to express uh, our thoughts better as an engineer. So how we should plan. Okay, now, uh, Kranti, you insert one more activity. Okay, after that, you type here one year, one Y. And let's see that what is the days created. So guys, do you see that when Krant is typing one year or you are typing one year, it is creating 300 man days. You see that? Yeah. See yeah. why it is creating the 300 man days. I'll just tell you, it's very simple because in the beginning we told that one year is consisting of 24 man hours, right? And 24 divided by 8? 300. So it is entering the 300 here. Right? Yeah. Okay. So this is how it is doing the scheduling. Okay. Let's, we will learn something more about the scheduling. It will be very interesting. So sir, now, out, sir. Huh, quickly, yes. Sir, uh, suppose when we want to show this to our my client. So my client says that this activity should be completed in one year. So then do it in one year, ask him to pay, pay for one year. That's simple. So what is the problem? 
no 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 sir i want to show it here 365 days and i want first may to then, then, oh, oh, baba then you put here 365 days what is the problem you you don't have to i am just showing that what is the meaning of the three, uh, one year so even if i put 365 days then it is coming to 28th june right so you adjust it you do it a little okay bit of balancing here and there like you go to a shop and you buy some baby sugar or the open stuff you plan no, it will not come automatically you have to think you have to adjust it yeah. you reduce some days just like a person is a, in the shopkeeper the shopkeeper is selling you some open stuff he will take some stuff is you say i want exactly 1.223 grams of the sugar so what is he going to do if you are asking him for one 1223 grams of the sugar i you, you tell him exactly one them so he will put some he will remove some and he will give you exactly 1223 right no sir actually suppose if we are giving one no card, you first go to a shop and buy the stuff like that you tell the shopkeeper give me open sugar but the quantity should be 1223 you will see he will take 5 minutes to adjust okay to exact to the exact quantity this is what you are supposed to do here it's a software it start from the uh, start from the start date and then it calculates the, the finish date okay is it clear so, so you have to adjust it so you reduce you just guess how many days should be reduced we are doing it day and night okay we are doing this day and night in, in certain project they want this activity to be completed by a particular date so you know we have to ad adjust it according to the buffer also so you can say oh three or oh, it is to be finished on the th 31st of the may then you just make a guess will 350 days be right or oh, if it is not right then the, what do you do and then you so sunday as a working day sir you make the 330 and then you, if you see okay 330 days is behind then what do you do you make it as 325 and see that slowly and slowly it is going to land at um, um, 31 May and that's it. That's how we work. Right? Okay. Now, uh, Bakranti, just do this thing. You enter here. 4H. 4H. 4 hour. Now, guys, when you enter 4 hours, so what is the finish time? No, don't stretch it that much, Baba. How, if you stretch it, how you can see the whole range? this is the best okay you can still read the day of the week don't st stretch it like that because that's going to give a lot of wrong ideas to the fox here okay optimize your screen so guys what is the, the finish time before lunch at lunch oh, it time. is it is at okay now you create another task and put five hours and what is the finish time you expect to see one hour after lunch yes exactly you see that it is being scheduled to the to the 3 p.m. Okay, so it is skipping the non-working hour. Okay, guys, now do this thing. Click on the plus button. Click on the plus button. Add an, another one. Now this time you enter 22h, 22 hours. So what it is doing? It is saying two days and six hours. How it is doing? I'll just show you. So I, I would re remind you of the uh, divisions we used to do in the school. So, you know, today we are going to use that. Guys, is this clear? Yeah. The six hours is the remainder, right? And two days, the complete two main days according to eight hour per day. So six hours is the fraction of the day. So the fraction of the day is mentioned in the hours, right? Unlike in Microsoft project, it is written, it would be written as 2.5 day. Now here, Primavera will divide it into days and the hours because the Primavera is very, very explicit in this regard. So now you enter one more act activity here, one more activity, enter, and you write here 1.5 D and see what is the translation. It will uh, translate. Sir, I have one question. Yes, yes, please. Can I add the activity only using my keyboard? Uh, what is the code for that? Yes, yes. You press insert button. In insert button. Okay. Yeah. If you insert on the same spot, you, you will see a new activity come up. 
So actually I am using an external keyboard. I don't, because I'm working mostly from home. So I don't use the laptop buttons. And in fact, I'm not very much comfortable with the laptop buttons because on the laptop, if you want, sometimes the insert button is not there in certain laptop model. It is not as a separate button. It is rather combined with the numeric add zero button. Right? Yeah. So how is that on, on delete also? But delete you can use the okay. use the delete the physical delete. Okay. okay. So even that works if you're comfortable right. using it because I'm mostly working on my keyboard, right? Yes. A key keyboard. I use the combination of both mouse and keyboard, but I'm not comfortable with the laptop trackpad or the uh, keyboard of the laptop. So my laptop keyboard is absolutely brand new. Okay. Oh. You never because, use it. Huh? Because some people think my laptop is new, but my laptop is around 10 years old now. Okay. But it has got 20 G GB RAM and it has got two terabyte uh, so solid state uh, hard disk because I need to keep it open 24 hours. Okay. Two terabyte solid state. That's a lot. Uh, solid, yeah. I spent 24,000 bucks in the year 2020. Uh -huh. During the corona, I was using it for a long hours because a lot of students were trying to do the classes. Then I realized it is crashing because the me mechanical hard disk, it, it draws upon a lot of power from the power supply and power supply has a thermal cutout so that your laptop doesn't burn out. So when your laptop heats to a certain point, the thermal cutout comes into play and it immediately shuts down the laptop, down the laptop yeah. and it, it just cr crashes the hard disk yes. yeah. because the hard disk doesn't get a chance to shut down normally and save the data. And then, then we, <laughs> then there was no service center, but for, fortunately I'm from the days, you know, I'm, I saw a computer in uh, first time in 88 and by one year or six months, I was able to assemble my own computer. Because I didn't have much money, I went to uh, some place in Delhi. It has it's a, one of the largest hardware market for IT in, in the entire of the Bay Asia. This mm -hmm. market is even bigger than in any market in China also. Really? Okay, bigger yeah, Nehru place. Okay, and I bought the components separately, brought them back home, and I put them step by step so I could help myself. So I bought the two terabyte SSD from the Amazon and extra mm -hmm. RAM and I put that now my computer it boots up in just uh, 10, like seconds, a rocket, huh? <laughs> 10 seconds and it doesn't heat up at all there is no heat and the battery life has increased by five times if I use it on the battery I can use it because okay because what happens I'll just tell you there is a fan inside the laptop but the fan inside the laptop will not work all the times because the laptop has been designed intelligently only if a certain amount of temperature is reached, only then the fan will get activated. And the maximum amount of the power is drawn by your mechanical hard disk. Okay. Mechanical hard disk is a di dinosaur inside your laptop. Yeah, HSD. Yeah. Hmm. It is a dinosaur. It is consuming 40% of the power. Exactly, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you should replace it now and use uh, the solid state drive. And uh, guys, please go for the two terabytes because your mechanical drawings, if you're using the AutoCAD software, they are going to take a lot of space. And if you are creating 3D animated walkthroughs for the clients, they are going to take a lot of space. Okay, so go for the two ter terabyte solid state drive and you will be good for the next 10 years. Okay, now coming back to the main point, have you understood that um, uh, how the activities are getting scheduled? Yeah. Okay, now guys, if you want to change any calendar, so it is not a very difficult thing. If you poke into the calendar column like this, I go into this and I'm going to poke here. Okay, I'll click. Now what happens? Do you see a, a pop-up comes up? Yeah. So when I select the IST calendar here and apply it, immediately the scheduling is changed. Do you see that? Do you see the Gantt bar has become smaller yeah. and the timing yeah. is also changed according to the IST? Yeah. Right? Okay. Now I'm going to teach you something which is called the automation. So here we call it the global change. But suppose... If there are 1000 act activities by mistake, one of our colleagues, he has entered the activities 
with the corporate calendar. Now your boss says that, look, we are no longer going to use the corporate calendar. We are changing the working standards in the company. We are going to switch over to the IST calendar for all the activities. Now, guys, it will take you just imagine 1000 activities. Now, 1000 activities will be very tedious and wastage of the productive time. So for that, we have something called the global change. You can create a global change macro and using that, you can change all the activities at the press of a button. Guys, do you see this uh, the icon on the panel one? Yeah. And read the name. Global change. Global change. So guys, have you heard of something called macros? Have you done any Excel training? Have you heard macros? Who knows? macros any intro just i'm not saying that you, you i should. heard sir but we are never so the, so what did you heard uh, macro see no, macro is a small little program it's a small little program which does the repetitive things automatically consistently and correctly it saves you time and it saves you mistakes right so we are going to learn about the global change okay so guys let's take a break and let's move at a brisk pace and uh, okay and uh, uh, let's take a 20 minutes break. And after the break, we will do the global change. We will see that how we can basically change the corporate to the IST at the press of a button. So global change is not only for the calendar. Global change is used for many the purposes. So there are some samples already inbuilt. If you click on the global change, you will see what it is saying. Read the name. Kranti, please read the name. Assign resources to roles. No. In, increase cost by 10% for resource. So, so here it means that you can apply global change for the changing the number values. Increase right? durations. Yeah. Top down decrease units, top down increase units. Yeah. So you can do a lot of things. Okay. It is not only limited to changing the calendar. You can use it on text. You can use it on numbers. Okay. You can use it to uh, increase something or decrease something percentage wise. So global change, we are going to learn after the break, right? It, it is also a be useful knowledge in the Primavera. So I am stopping the share of the screen and I'm going to pause my re record. Yes, I'm back. Yes, sir. I'm back. Abdul, you're back. You're okay. Siddesh, you're back. Will you share your screen, please? And guys, everybody, please start your recordings. That is the first thing that you, you have got to do. Okay. So, yes. So, you share your screen here, Mazarun. Sir, I need permission for recording. Okay. So, here is the permission. Okay. Now, start it. Okay, sir. Uh... Yeah, give me one minute. I'm using different system. That's why it's all good. Okay, okay. So you need to log, log into the system. The recording permission, Rahul. Done. Sir, can I share my screen? Uh, uh, Kranti, you just go ahead and share a screen. So, uh, uh, Mazur, it's okay. So, guys, we were going to learn the global change. Okay. So, the global change, uh, uh, this is the global change toolbox. Okay. So, you are in, in, you are in, inside it here in the global change. Have you clicked? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, you are in the... To create a new one, so we will click on the button new. So, click on the button new to create a new global change. So, Kranti, you can hear my voice? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. I can hear your voice. Okay, fine. Clear. So, we make sure that we are connected. So, guys, you can see the demo screen clearly. So, Najam, can you see the demo screen clearly? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can see it clearly. Okay, fine. We are just making sure that everybody is having the uh, good access. Okay. Now the first thing that we should do that we should give it. Oh, a sir, could you please repeat the process again? I missed it. Okay, fine. So not an issue. First of all, you click here on this. 
Then you are at this box, global change box, right? Okay, yeah. Now here you click the new, okay? You click the new and you will be here. Will be in this box called. There is no global uh, change box here. See, okay. So let me show you the once again. Are, are you here in the global change box? Sir, there is no global change box. <laughs> Our global change box will come. You have to click on the globe. There is a globe here. I told you to click on the globe first. Look at the globe on the panel one. Then global change box will come like this. Quickly, yes, I, I see that, but uh, I have only five menus. There is okay. no global change. Okay, then then you do it once. Do you have the tools? Do you, do you have the tools box? Uh, tools here. And in the tools, you select the global change like this. In the tools, you select the global change. Right? Can you please do it like this quickly? Oh, uh, see, please give me a feedback if you have done or not done. Sir, I am done, but there is actually high portion available. Here, you share your screen, please, quickly. So yeah, you are fine. So you are here. So what is the problem? You have to now click on the. Uh, you have to go to the next tab. In the next tab, you have to click on the new. Click on it. Click oh, the new. That's the problem, sir. Uh, so you are here. So that's not a problem. You are fine. Okay. So let me stay here for a while. So so guys, you can see the demo screen now. Yeah. Okay. See in the demo screen, there is a box here that is the global change name. In the global change name, so you will put a meaningful name. The meaningful name, right now, what we are trying to do, we are trying to apply IST calendar. So guys, right here, apply IST calendar. So that should be the name of the global change because you will be creating a lot of global changes. Uh, these macros, you should know the proper name so that you can use them properly. Now, let me explain to you the structure of this global change toolbox. See, there is a red box and there is a green box so which I have created. Now, in the, in the red box, you are checking the condition. So condition is checked by if. If the condition is true, then, then you do this thing. Do, do you see this? There is one if and there is a then. Do you see that, guys? Yeah. So if So in the red box, the condition will be created by us. And in the green box, we will create the action, so condition and action. If the condition is true, then act the, do this action. Now, the what is the uh, condition we are checking? We are checking, go to each and every activity. Okay, go to each and every activity and find out if the activity is having the IST calendar or not. If the activity does not have the IST calendar, then apply the IST calendar. Okay. Now, first of all, we are going to write the condition. So for that, you now click into the parameter cell here. Just go into the parameter dropdown and you click on the keyboard C key. C, C. Select C for cat. C, C, C. Now you select the calendar, yes. And then in the next, in the, in, in the next one, this, uh, you select not equal to. Yes. Then you select the value Indian standard time. So you click into this, you will see a list of the calendars. Okay. So what we are telling the, um, are telling as the condition, check the activity. If calendar is not equal to Indian standard time, then do this. Okay, now we are going to tell what to do. So guys, please click here in the middle. Okay, guys, do you see a faint boundary line that comes up? That confirms that you have selected, see this. Okay, just watch. Now I'm in the condition box. Do you see the boundary line here? 
this boundary line tells in which box you are right now. Right now I am in the then box. And we have to add a, add a line here. So click on the add, we'll have to add a row where we can mention the action. Okay guys, please confirm that you are here. Yes. In the parameter you select a, a calendar. C for calendar. And you select the value as Indian Standard Time. IST. Okay, now what we are telling, if the if the if the calendar is not equal to IST, then you put the value of the IST inside the calendar parameter for the activity. Right? Okay, guys, is this clear? Th this is the translation, English translation of the uh, act, uh, of this uh, what the global change. So in the global change, we are asking global change, go to each and every activity where, uh, where you don't find the calendar is equal to IST, then you set the calendar to IST. Right, guys? Okay. Now, after this, click on the OK. So after clicking on the OK, and bring this box a little bit here so that you can see that how the effect will take place. So you can make it a little bit uh, less in width. You can re reduce the width and then click on the button apply change. You will see that it will come into action. So what it is doing that it is telling you that for this activity, the, the field value of calendar is corporate. The new value is IST, but it will not change right away. If you look down, you will have to click on the button commit changes to confirm it. Click on this. Then you click no, no. We don't want to save the log file. We don't need to save a record of this activity. Click on the no. And guys, do you see that your calendars have changed? All the fields in the, all the activity field. And you see the all the activities are being scheduled according to the IST calendar only. And here also, do you see a change in the Gantt chart? Yes, sir. Okay. So everybody, please give me a feedback. Yes or no or what? Yes. Yes. Change. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, you can just imagine if you're using it on more than thousand or uh, a large number of the activities. So it's going to save you a lot of time and it will work consistently. And we human beings are not consistent. Even if we are, um, the, um, say, flying a plane for 10 years, we can still crash it. There is a good chance. Okay. So sometimes we do something random. So this global change and, uh, ensures that all the activities, they are consistently switched over to the IST the calendar. So this is, uh, we will do it once more for a better practice. Now this time we will create a global change called uh, apply corporate calendar, which will do exactly the opposite. Right guys, for a good practice, permanent knowledge, okay. Now, we will select the IST calendar. We will click on the copy button. We will first make a copy. We are not going to create it from scratch. So guys, after you clicked on the copy, do you see that the paste has become active? The paste, uh, the button is active. Do you see that? Yeah. So click on the paste button. It will create a, a copy. Now, you, you will see a copy, apply IST calendar 1. And please change the name to apply corporate calendar. Change the name. And press enter. Okay, guys. Guys, you have created a copy here. Please confirm. Have you created this? A copy, apply yes. corporate. Okay. Yes. So after this, you click on the modify button. Okay, so in the in the modify, you change the the calendar value to corporate here and here. In both the places, you change it to the corporate and uh, hold the screen. So, guys, please look. Have you understood what we have done? We just copy pasted the global change and we just only modified the parameter, so it becomes a new one, right? And the purpose of this global change is to apply corporate calendar. Okay, so is that clear, guys? 
Yes. So after you have created, so guys, everybody, please confirm that you have created like this. Yeah. Okay. So yes. after you have created like this, and then you click on the okay. And after clicking on the okay, you are going to run this. To run the global change, you have to click on the apply change. Now, as soon as, soon as you click on the apply change, so you will see it is mentioning the old value as the IST and the new value as the corporate. So you confirm it by clicking on the commit changes button. And we don't want to save the log file because log file will only unnecessarily create trash on the hard disk. We don't want it. Okay. So, so guys, do you see that the calendar field is changed to the corporate for all the activities? Do you see that? Yes. So is, isn't it good? Yes. Okay. Now, guys, if, if I ask you, so, uh, Bazarul, please change it to the IST calendar. All the calendar, change it to the IST. Now, how you are going to do it? Correct. You will select it and you, you will run it and it will um, uh, automatically change. No. Oh, yes. Correct. The guys, do you see that uh, how convenient is that? So isn't it good? Global change. Yeah. So guys, everybody, please confirm that you are able to do it. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I'm, I'm sure you find the global change useful. Close it. You are going to use it in the future. You will use it for many other purposes that it depends upon your creativity. Right, guys? Okay. Now, guys, I'm going to teach you something called the fill down. Now, what is the purpose of the fill down? Suppose I want, and suppose I change the name of this activity as task. Okay. And I want the same name to be copied down into all, all the rows. So, okay. So I'll just tell you what to do. How can you do, how can you take the value from the first row and copy it to all the rows in the, in the interface. Now, the buzzer will press the shift button. Done that? Uh, mother will please confirm yes, by voice. Have you pressed the shift button or not? Shift button, yes, sir. Okay, now click on the last activity with your mouse. So do you see all the rows have been selected, but actually you are in the activity name column. Do you see the uh, orange glow here? Yeah. Okay, fine. N now guys, keeping this as selected, click on this button. Do you see this fill down on the right side? Click this. Now, what changes do you see on the screen? Only activity name changes, sir. But it changes, now, Baba. It has changed or not? That is sir, the yes, sir. yes, sir. Only can oh, you yeah. just can you? No, we have to change only that column. Yes, sir. Only one column at a time. We want to change, right? Yes. Okay. Now let us do the same practice on the duration column. So, so what I do? I want the original duration of the six filled in. All these uh, columns should be six. So you select all this and up to the last one. No, first you press the shift and then the down uh, click on the row. And do you see the orange glow is on the uh, original duration column? Okay. Now click on the fill down button. Guys, do you see that all the activities, they have become equal to six days. Do, do you yeah. see? Hmm? Yeah. So guys, this, this facility works here, activity name, original duration. Don't try to use it on the start, on the finish. It will not work, nor it will work on activity ID because activity IDs are unique. They are generated by the Primavera, right? An activity ID should be sorted with the triangle pointing downwards like this. Okay. Now let me tell you something about the activity ID. Just look at what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to change the number of this activity ID on the last to 1005. Now guys, just see that what happens. What happened? It went up. In it the went between 1000 and 1000. Okay. It has okay. position. Why this has been cre created? Between any two activities, like this, for example, 20 and 30, how many new activities can we insert? Sorry, sir. Come again, sir. Between 20 and 30, how many activities 10, we can insert? 10. No. Again, you are failing in maths. 20. Nine. Count yeah. it. Nine. 20 Sorry. is occupied. 30 is occupied. Yes. So you can insert Nine. from the 11 to the 19. So what is the count of the 11 to the 19? Huh? Yes. See, you will get the dimensions of the building wrong. Okay. <laughs> so instead of a five story you will create a four story building okay get your maths right okay get your measurement and maths right yeah. you got to be very very accurate there engineers should not fail in maths because all the engineering measurement is accuracy is based upon maths only right okay so this is the benefit of the having but why do we do it because you know it is because according to the project management rule Every activity ID should be unique and once created, it cannot be reassigned. So that is why. So we assume that maximum what is going to ha happen, uh, maximum it is going to take only um, means that we will need to insert maximum only nine. So it is based upon that assumption. Okay, but if you need to insert more than nine, then you can uh, resort to using the series as uh, A, B, C, D like that. Okay. So here, this is the numbering system and make sure this numbering system is going to work if the sorting is on the activity ID column and the triangle should be pointing downwards. Okay, so that is the best practice. Right, guys? So is this clear? Yeah. Sir, I have a doubt, sir. Like, how can we change these activity IDs? Like, I want... Like it, for every 10, 10, it is coming, right? So if it is not like that, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3. So you, either you can change it manually. I'm asking automatic, sir. Like every time it manually is difficult, right? So automatically you can set up a different series. If you go into the, go into the project, do you see a default here? Do you see that? Do you see the increment? This is where it starts from. So if you, when you create a project, you can put here the activity ID prefix to your project code and you can activity ID suffix instead of the thousand. If you want to start from one, you can put here one. If you put in increment as uh, one, you will, will be creating one, two, three, four like that. Okay. But then you won't be able to insert any new activity if you require to. Right. So you can do it from here also. Okay. But we can renumber the activities in the middle of the project also. So that we, we can do. So I'm going to hold it for the timing that I will show in the end. So I am right now focusing on the calendar. So guys, is it clear that how the calendar is creating the schedule? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So basically the, the calendar is structured by you. And then the structure of the calendar is creating the schedule. It is being combined with the duration. One more doubt. Duration sir. plus the calendar. See, the, the calendar can also be changed from the details. So, so guys, do you see that in the activity detail? Sir, one small doubt, sir. Uh, quickly, please. Sir, uh, here for every activity, the start date is taking as the from the project start date, right? Every activity will have the project start date. Why? Uh -huh. because, the, because the earliest date... Can there be any date earlier than the start date of the project? Is no, that sir. possible? No, that sir. is the boundary line. Okay. Right? Okay, fine. So it is like that. So, so okay. if, if you, you want, if, you, if suppose if this activity has to, suppose it want to change from, suppose 30th May, can we make it, sir? Yeah, you can make it. We will come to the date constraint. Okay. okay so in, in the date constraint topic, this will be discussed. Your question is valid, but park it. Uh, and remember, when we reach the date constraint, we you'll ask it. And maybe you did not even ask it, you will get the answer. Okay. So guys, in the general tab, 
Do you see that there is a box here, activity calendar here? So you can change the activity using the calendar column or see, we normally we don't display the calendar column. I'm displaying the, the calendar column here for the reasons of training. And also you will display in the practical world if you have multiple calendars in the project. Right guys, is this clear? If you are using multiple calendars for multi-location activities, then it will be useful to display the calendar column because the calendar column itself occupies space. Now, if I want to change the change the, the change the calendar, so what you can do, I can go to this button and click it. And uh, uh, Mazarul, please click this button and change it to the corporate. Guys, do you see that the, the that the, the calendar has changed there? Do, yeah. do you see, see that? And do you also see a change in the schedule according to the corporate? Yeah. So, so we will. So, what we will do? So, for the uh, for the if if I uh, don't need the column, we can remove it, right? Okay. Now, let us do this thing. Let us close this lesson. So, let's have a look at the document. So, what is the next lesson, guys? Okay, so you, you change it back to the IST. Yeah, and close this sub lesson, control W. Okay. Now guys, please uh, the follow me as I'm uh, telling you. Sir, it is uh, now okay for uh, all the calendars uh, uh, course or else uh, the global will be the, uh, uh, that's it. Global and uh, task calendar. See, global calendar is here. It is in the global category only here. I see calendar is global. You want the entire company to use it. Okay, sir. Right? sir but and some companies will work in a different timelines, time schedules. How so can we apply for that, sir? So use the project calendar in that case. Okay, okay. In Microsoft project, uh, in the uh, in the global calendar, firstly we designed, firstly we entered. Based upon the global calendar only, the project calendar will uh, take place. When we change the global calendar, the affect the project calendar will also be affected. In this case, it is not affected. How, how sir? See, actually, this is EPPM. Microsoft project is a standalone. It applies on one single project only. Mm. It is a file based system. The okay. calendar which you create will be stored for a particular project only. Okay, sir. It will not be available in another project because another project will have a separate file. But here, okay. there are multiple projects within the same environment. What is the environment? Enterprise. Okay, sir. In Microsoft Project, if I, if, Enterprise. Okay. It is only a project management tool, single project, one, one project. Now, what okay, do we do? Okay. See, I'll just tell you, your question is good and uh, valid. If I have to use the same calendar in another project, so what I will do, I'll, I will copy the MPP file. I will create the MPP file with the name of the second project, remove the data and use the calendar and all the settings which I have made. Yes, sir. So here I can also do the same thing. Yes. So here I am already inside the environment. Mm -hmm. So here the project is not created like a file, rather the project is created like an entity, yes, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, on the lesson one, you select the le le lesson one and you right click here. Okay. Right click. Mazarul, right click here. Yes, sir. Right click. And then you click on the copy. Copy. Okay. Then you place your cursor on the parent. You place your cursor on the LND portfolio. Then okay. you right click and paste it. Okay. Paste it on the portfolio, parent portfolio, paste. Yes, sir. I'll paste it. Huh. So three times you will say confirm, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Three times a pop-up will come. Okay. Okay. So guys, do you see that you have created a series lesson two? Yeah. See that? Yes, the, yes. Automatically the numbering has been created. Why? I'll tell you. If you if you put numbers like dash one, the starting one, mm. then it will create dash two, dash three automatically. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. So this is a technique in Primavera, and this technique is not mentioned in the Oracle Handbook. 
it okay. is not there it is a technique which has been discovered and tried by us to be good so okay. i'm sharing that with you i'm transferring my knowledge and experience to you okay sir okay uh, sir another one sir uh, just wait hold it hold it just okay. no is we're getting broken mm. please name the lesson to as a critical path and holidays please first of all let's do it okay guys everybody please create the lesson to with name as critical path and holidays this is our next lesson topic critical path and holidays yes done sir and press enter mm done and open the lesson to okay open the lesson to mm in the lesson 2 you are seeing a copy of the lesson 1 only but you know that it is the lesson 2 because the name is di displayed here mm -hmm. and the same name is displayed on the top also do you see that on the top yes but since it is a copy of the lesson 1 so it looks exactly like the lesson 1 because we need some parts of the data now we don't want the calendar column i say i don't want to display the calendar column here so guys then what is the option to not to display the calendar column okay so yeah. you right click here to right click somewhere here and select columns and after selecting the columns so you come to the calendar you select it and then you send it back home guys what is the home of the calendar column general general yes guys so you know the prima vera is such a beautiful software it tells you that uh, which column you took from which group so the group of the calendar of the home of the calendar is the general in future if you can remember this fact you can directly come to the general or if you don't remember this fact you only remember the column name you can use the find option find option right available option on yeah, top find find you can use and guys the best practice is that you should not type the full spelling why because if you type the full spelling first of all it is a waste of time second you are going to make a mistake and you will never be able to find it because some people type calendar as c a l e n d e r and if it is not matching it will not be able to find it is it clear guys yeah. so use partial spellings kalen uh, use kalen because partial spellings i am sure that you are going to match right okay yeah. now you. after that uh, we close the in interface we click on the okay okay guys i don't want you to display the time part only remove the time part switch off the time part so how do you switch off the time no 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 only the time has to be removed. i don't want you to remove the start and finish column if you want to remove the time no user interface and then... user preferences here click here i prefer not to see the time so go into the date and you know it clearly mentions do not show time please remember it mazrul you remember it do not show time okay click on the close so after you have clicked on the close you will find that the only the date is being shown you optimize it like this optimize okay optimize and you bring here to bring this thing here this vertical partition you can bring it a little bit here and you will be able to see more of the gantt chart okay guys okay guys please balance your screen like this as on the demo screen okay please balance your screen now we are going to learn the critical path okay now guys look at the this black line so what what is this black line this black total duration du total duration of project yes but it, it has a name please uh, read the name project timeline yes so this black line displays the the complete duration of the project the the duration of the entire project now 
मजरुल गो टू द लास्ट एक्टिविटी इन द चेंज द ड्यूरेशन टू ट्वेल्व डेज so guys do you see that uh, as you change the activity the duration of the project also increased to 12 days you see that yeah okay now go to this activity uh, yes as on mazarul screen 1120 and change the duration to 3 weeks 3w put here 3w 3 weeks so guys what do, what do you notice now what what happened hmm the see as as soon as you made this one a longer one the project uh, timeline it became equal to the longer one only right yes so it means is that the project duration is always derived from the longest ac activity Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, if you look at the longest activity and the project duration, I'm going to draw a boundary line like this. Now, between the project boundary line and this activity, is there any gap here? Do you see any gap? Hmm? No sir. There is no no gap. So you know what the project managers will do in the earlier times when there were no computer system, they will take a red pen and they will put a red color inside this longest activity, and they will call it the critical path. so so guys why they they will call it the critical path because i am going to ask you a very simple question see there is a person working on this critical path suppose if he takes two days leave if he takes two days leave if this activity is delayed by two days is it going to change the finish date of the project yes or no yes yes, yes the project is going to be delayed now i am going to ask you an another question now if you look at the activity at the bottom activity number 1210 if on this activity a person takes two days leave is it going to delay the project yes or no 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 Be because you know there is some gap so this gap is used to be re represented earlier with a black line do you see this black line here Hmm. This this is called the total float. I'll write that terminology. So, guys, what is the total float on the cri critical path? Do you have any float there? Any gap there? No. There is no gap. When there is no gap, you know this this critical path can push the finish date of the project. So, any path can be a critical path. It is not necessary that only. one activity will be critical path the critical path can be created multiple times in a project so at least one critical path will be always there because that particular critical path which is the longest will always give the finish date of the project plan so finish date of the project plan since right now this is the critical path so this finish date goes here do you see the black arrow where it goes yeah. okay so critical path is always and the float on the critical path is zero so there is a column here total float so right now it is not active because mm -hmm. right now the software is in the manual mode okay but if i want to calculate the critical path and the float see guys let me show you what i am trying to say see there is a column here which says total float do you see that the total float column is blank Hmm? Yes. See, I'll just explain to you. Uh, let's go in a little bit of the history. So, guys, in which year the Prima Vera was uh, released? Nineteen seventies. Nineteen eighty-three. Nineteen eighty-three. In nineteen eighty-three, the computers were not very powerful. 
Okay, the CPUs are. So we used to, no, not me, because I was in 10th. <laughs> I have not used a computer until 88. Okay, so I'll tell you that what happens, that in 83, whenever the project managers would, would need to calculate the critical path, what they will do, they will enter all their activities and the relationship. So let me put up a relationship here, just as a mark of sample. See, I've re related these three ac activity by using the link option. Now, if you look at the link, guys, do you see some of the activities they have been linked by you using the you using the arrow. Do you see that? So the, this is called, again how you link, sir. No, no. Don't look at the technique. Look at the link. Okay. Yes, link. I will come to later because we have to come to the dependency also lesson. There I will show. I'm only using it as a demo to show you. So you know the project manager used to do it, and then they will press the schedule button and they will go out for T. Literally, I'm telling you frankly, it used to take the computer 10 to 15 minutes to calculate the critical path for 100 activities. For 100 activities, it will take around 10 minutes. You might be wondering if the computers were so slow, then why were the people using the computers? Guys, don't you re realize that we have come a long way since the Stone Age? Then you yeah. might be wondering one day, oh, we have the piezoelectric uh, gas lighter. Why the people would use a matchstick? So guys, you have to understand earlier mankind was using the stones to make fire. You also know it. From mm -hmm. stones to they came to the matchstick. Then from the matchstick, they came to the piezoelectric. Right? Is it clear? Mm -hmm. So earlier people were doing the computation on the paper. From paper to those computers, they were far better condition. Right? One fine day, our next generation, oh, you still are entering the original duration. We are using the art, art, artificial intelligence to do all this. We tell the artificial intelligence, I want to want to build a skyscraper. I want, I tell the artificial intelligence, I want the project plan for the Burj Khalifa, it will build it. Maybe in the future that might be possible, right? But for the time being, we have to understand that how mankind has progressed from the technology. So earlier computers were batch process based. Is this clear? Batch process based. First, they will bunch up all the activities. Then they will start the batch process and the batch process would compute and it will calculate the result. It was not a sort of a real time. So, so, so Mazarul, you start the batch process. Click on this button, schedule button. So, so guys, you are you are here. Sir, we are not. You click sir. on the schedule. Guys, do you see the critical path has been calculated? Guys, do you see for the critical path the float is zero? And for the non-critical path, some float is there. Float means the gap. It is having a six-day gap. So I'm going to draw the, the boundary line. This is the project boundary line. Do you see any gap? Hmm? The critical path, does it have any gap between the finish date? No. No, no, no gap. Do you see that there is a gap here? You see that? Six days gap and the 12 days gap. So it's like this. It's only having six days. Six days here and six days here. Sunday will not be counted because Sunday anyways, you can't work. So it will not be counted as a float. Right guys, is it clear? Do you see any gap in the critical path and the, the boundary, boundary line? No. So why the project managers, they call the red color path as the critical because of the simple fact, if any of the activities on the critical path is delayed, it is going to push the finish date of the project. Right or wrong, guys? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Now, 
let us turn this process into uh, the automatic. Okay. Because what happened after some time, as mm -hmm. the computer technology increased and powerful uh, CPUs that came, then Primavera says that those who have the older computers, they can keep it manual, but those who have the, uh, the faster computers, they should use the automatic mode. So each time you make a change, it will immediately calculate the critical path. Okay, guys. So guys, please follow with me step by step. Click, uh, click on the scheduling button. Okay, so you are here. Guys, you are here. Yeah. Yes. But Sandeep, you are here. Yes. Okay, Najam, Sidesh, you are here. Okay, so click on the options. In the options, I'm asking you to read uh, something. Re read it. Schedule automatically when a change affects data. Yes, schedule automatically when a change affects dates. So what kind of change? Two kinds of change has an impact on the dates. One is the duration and another is the relation. Right? Yeah. So if you change the duration, the schedule will be recalculated. If you, if you apply the relation or change the relation, then once again, the schedule will be recalculated. So duration and relation, they have an impact upon the schedule of the activity and the schedule of the activity has to be automatically calculated when the change is affecting the dates. Right, guys? Okay. Now, please select this checkbox. Now the software will run in the automatic real-time mode. Real-time means you make a change in one activity, immediately entire Primavera will be calculated for the schedule. Click on the close. Click on the yes. And now click on the schedule button to implement the new policy. Now we will check this out. Okay, go to this activity and change the duration to 15, one five. So guys, what do you see? It is immediately calculated to be now non-critical. Why? Because the, this has become shorter than the project uh, longest path. Do you see that? Do you see, see that, guys? It is yeah. now non-critical. Now, how many days of the flow, float it has? Three days of the float. So it means that it has become three days. It is three days behind the, uh, the finish boundary line of the project. No, the finish boundary line is here and it has got a three days gap. Sir, a question, sorry. Uh, uh -huh, yes, yes. This yes. link that you have linked to 120, 130 and 140, which button you have linked to? I will not tell you the button. 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 I will tell you the button. कि ये जो क्रिटिकल पाथ की जो लंबाई है ना एक सिंगल टास्क से भी हो सकती है मल्टीपल टास्क से भी हो सकती है बस सही है ठीक है है ना क्रिटिकल पाथ में आप ये मत सो, सोचना कि सिर्फ एक ही टास्क से क्रिटिकल पाथ बन सकता है क्रिटिकल पाथ जो है मल्टीपल टास्क के कॉम्बिनेशन से ही बनता है ठीक है और अब हो के रहा है कि अभी हम लिंक पे हम पहुंचे नहीं है तो डिपेंडेंसी और रिलेशनशिप ये अगला है टॉपिक एंड जस्ट यूजिंग द कन्वीनियंस to okay. show you that the critical path is basically the path with the zero float and it is the longest physical path. Do you see that? Float okay. is zero. Why? Because there is no gap from the finish date. And guys, do you agree that it is physically the longest path? Yeah. So according to the de definition uh, of the critical path in the PM box, Hello. 
he just went somewhere i think he will come back okay guys please read this statement please read this critical path is the longest path and has zero float okay it represents minimum duration required to be a project minimum duration they go the i'll explain to you suppose you are planning it and the and your boss comes behind you so he ask you that mazurun how much time it will take to complete the project you know you should not tell him like this you should tell him like this you should tell him that boss it will take minimum 18 days why see a project can have the variances also and since i'm planning right now so according to the activities known to me it is minimum 18 days because some person can come and correct the activity also right do you understand this fact hmm. minimum why minimum because there can still be some changes until until and unless everybody confirms that we have put all the activities completely and correctly so i cannot say exactly see guys there is no exact duration of a project so guys do you understand the term called tolerance in in, in engineering yeah ek na term hota hai tolerance yeah. what is the meaning of this Kitna maximum oska? limit maximum minimum yeah okay. maximum limit not the can handle see uh, suppose i say this is a component it should have a dimension of 20 cm yeah then i say it can have a tolerance of 0.05 yeah 0.05 you understand what is the meaning of this tolerance how much fault you will tolerate in the dimension to accept it as good if the tolerance is falling below 0.05 ml i'll say it is a defective product and unf- unfit for use right yeah. guys now the, there is a similar terminology in the project management acceptable variance acceptable variance okay now i ask my boss that uh, boss what is the budget of the project boss says that the budget of the project is 100 rupees with a acceptable variance of 2 rupees so guys do you get the point he says that i am giving you a budget of 100 rupees but make sure that you finish the project with a maximum of 102 rupees when when you close the project and you should not go below 100 to 98 also 98 and 102 yeah you have to finish the project within a range of 98 but why 98 why if i say boss if i finish the project in 50 rupees so boss wo pata kya bolenge quality matters so it will yes boss will say if you are doing something with 50 rupees which you have engineering wise we have calculated can be done best in 98 rupees you will come up with scrap right yeah, yeah. understand and scrap has zero value because does client pay for the scrap you guys client no. doesn't pay client only buy something that works if something does not work it has a scrap value scrap has got zero value so you know this is called acceptable variance okay this this range this is called acceptable variance just like in engineering we have the tolerance tolerance hum last mein hum ye so you know to get the acceptable tolerance no the in fact the word tolerance means that it is within this range it is acceptable so all the dimensions they are mentioned and then we say that this part is going to be used in the car okay to so, iski acceptable tolerance iski jo tolerance hai 0.05 maan lo mere ko ek part chahiye mere ko jo hai matlab kisi uh, rocket ke liye to so, meri acceptable jo tolerance kya hogi see guys i am going to write something if i am going to use certain part for the rocket to so, main ye kahunga guys do you see it now yeah do you see then i will reduce my tolerance i'll say no you have to be more uh, accurate similarly i will say what is the acceptable variance for the budget what is the acceptable for the duration now boss says 
that the baseline duration is 300 days. Okay, Th then he says the acceptable variance is plus minus 10 days. So he says that you can finish the project within a range of 290 to 300 yeah, okay. days. Achha, I, I cal calculated that in my project, I need 1000 tons of the cement. So I write here 1000 tons. So then I say, so 1000 tons plus minus five tons. Okay, right. Hmm. That is the acceptable variance. So in the project, we say that what, what so you know actually we are trying to be more and more accurate regarding the variance. It means we are trying to reduce the range of the variance. So you know earlier the acceptable variance for the duration. Just a 300 din ka pro, pro project. Hai. I am telling you in the pre-software days, the acceptable range was like this. I am going to write it here. Okay, you will find it very much funny. Ac acceptable was something like uh, 90 days. Okay. For a for a 300 days of the project, the acceptable variance was plus minus 90 days because uh -huh. people were calculating on the paper. Do you get my yeah. point? Yeah. But as the software is advancing, as our knowledge of the project management is advancing, we say no, this is not acceptable. Create a plan of 300 days with plus minus 10 days variance or maybe even plus minus five days. Right guys, is it clear? Now these yeah. days we are measuring all our components with laser. So guys, have you seen that on the construction site, uh, they are not using the inch tapes. You see that? No, they are not using the inch tapes because inside the building they are using uh, the uh, using the laser measurement which inside a room, it gives you a measurement accuracy within the range of plus minus one millimeter. It is such an accurate thing. Because these days, actually we are using the technology to be more precise in terms of time, in terms of man hours, machine hours, material quantity, dimensions, and money. Because we have got software to do all the calculation and find out. So now we come back to the main point, critical path. So critical path, we say that it represents the minimum duration. So minimum 18 days to chahiye, plus there is some variance. That's how you are going to tell your boss. So guys, is that clear? Yeah. And physically, it is the longest path, right guys? Yeah. So physically, it definitely re represents the longest path and and if you look at it carefully, it represents the minimum time. So project, can the project be any shorter than the critical path? No, it can't be any shorter. Now, there can be multiple critical paths in a project due to mathematical coincidence. Suppose if I have this activity as 18 days, yes, it will be critical. If I put this act activity as the 18 days, yes, this can be critical. There can be multiple uh, paths and activities which by chance may have the same longest duration. So that is possible. In fact, a project does have, any project, real life project does have multiple critical paths. And guys, that is a reality. That is a truth. Okay. Now, what is the thing that we have to take care of? We have to take care of the fact a critical path has absolutely zero gap from the finish date of the project. If any of the activities on the critical path is delayed, it is going to push the finished date of the project. Right, guys? Yeah. And then rest of the activities which are not critical, they have something called the float. And float, you know, the painstakingly, uh, the, the project manager will take a, take a pencil and they will draw these straight lines, these black straight lines. Do you see these black lines here, which I've drawn? They will do it for all the activities which are non-critical. So here, that can be done by the software. So guys, uh, just come with me and click, uh, right click on the graph, I mean on the Gantt chart. And do you see option bars here? You select the option bars. 
So after selecting the option bars, you scroll down to the bottom of the list. Scroll down here. So guys, you will have to click on it two times to get the checkbox on. You select float bar and you select negative float bar. You select both of them and uh, Mazar will hold the screen. So guys, please look on the demo screen. We have selected these two checkboxes. So everybody, please confirm that you have also selected. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> Done guys? Yeah. Okay. Now click on the okay. You will immediately see a change. So guys, what do you see? The non-critical lines are there now. What is this, guys? Read it. Positive load bar. Load bar. Yeah, it is the positive load bar. There is a negative load bar also that we will come to it later. Positive load bar means when you have some gap from the finish date of the project. So that is called a positive load bar. Now, what happens? As the duration of the activity increases, it is consuming the float and reaching the boundary. See this. Now you go to this activity and increase it to 15. The last one, you increase it to 15. 15, 15, 1, 5. No, make it as... 5, 15. 1, 5. 1, 5, 15. Okay. Do you see that? The float is now reduced. Do you see that it is advancing here? Now, make it as 17. So, the float will be reduced to one day only. Do you see that float is reduced to one day? Okay. Now you increase the duration to 18. Now you, you, what do you expect to see? The float will become zero. Once the float becomes zero, it will become the critical path. Critical path. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now the critical path, I will tell you that what is the practical use of the critical path, which, which is not mentioned in the Oracle uh, handbook. Practical use of the critical path okay so so guys the practical use of the critical path is that the, after the project has been uh, has been planned completely and correctly you will call for a critical path meeting so what is the purpose of the critical path meeting the purpose of the critical path meeting is to ensure that resources are available on the critical path activities during the execution phase of the project, no resource should be missing. Okay, guys, let us do this to display only the crit crit critical path. So you click on this filter button. So guys, do you see there is a funnel like button? It looks like a funnel. Okay, so click on this. No, click on the middle. Don't click on the triangle. Yeah, click on this funnel. In this filters, actually it is called filters. So do you see there is a critical filter? Can you select it? Okay, hold hold the screen. So guys, everybody please confirm that you have selected the critical filter. Selected. Yes. Sandeep, you have selected? Sidesh, yes. Sidesh you have done? And Najam? Yeah, done. Okay, fine. Now, what will happen? It will show only the critical activities on the screen. So click on the OK. So guys, you are seeing only the critical activities. So after this, we are going to have a critical path meeting. Critical path meeting. OK, now in this critical path meeting, the activity owners will be called by you, the project manager. You are the manager. You are going to call these guys, those who have been assigned this activity. So guys, please count here. As per the demo screen, how many activities are here? Count. Count the rows. Six. Six. So you, you will call six activity owners to the meeting. All right.
now after they come and they join the meeting so your first the question to these guys will be like this so i am going to write the the question here so you will read it So guys, please read this question that you are going to ask these guys. Read this. Are you planning to take a level a leave during your activity? So what will happen if any of these guys they take a leave during their activity? That if they take a delayed. if they take a leave during their activity, what is going to happen? It's very simple. If any of the activity is extended, it is going to push the finish date of the project, and yes. this finish date of the project has been. promise to the client in the contract so so guys i told you pm is the promise manager to finish the promise on time is the biggest pro promise an organization makes to the client right or wrong thank yeah. you so do you want your organization to look bad no. on their promise no you don't want them to do so you are going to plan them now if the guy says no it's okay if the guy says yes then you will ask him is it negotiable so he says no boss it is not negotiable because i am going to get engaged or i am going to get married or my wife is going to have a baby during my activity so these are the three things maybe even more re reasons are there which are non negotiable right? take the pillow one of the pillow right okay now what you are going to do if he says yes and it is not ne ne negotiable this is your solution so guys please read this what did i write yes arrange for a equally skilled resource in advance so should you not be doing it why because uh, getting a skilled human resource takes time or they are uh, in, the, in in your company they are kept in shelves it takes time it takes time you got to find them from the resource pool first you will uh, your hr manager will trying to find it from the resource pool then they will uh, come back to you sir they are not within the resource pool do you want me to hire uh, temporary it will cost a little bit more in the project budget so then you might say yes you please hire okay so it is like that okay it takes some time now okay now the now the human resource has been ta taken care of now let me ask the next question read this question is there any machine that can break down so what is going to happen if man is there but the machine breaks down can your activity continue no it will get delayed activity again it will be delayed if critical activity is delayed it is going to delay the project date for sure the finish date right so what do you do so you say that fine if you say yes a machine can break down so you say so guys read the answer which is on the screen please read it yes arrange for standby if it uh, if it is small one for others arrange uh, preventive maintenance maintenance so what is preventive maintenance preventive maintenance kind of maintenance proactive maintenance which you undertake to find out if some parts of the machine they are on the border line of breakdown and you you either re refurbish them replace them or you fix them right yeah yeah 
so that the equipment doesn't break down. So guys, have, have you seen that when you get down from the aircraft, there are many people surrounding the aircraft. They are checking it. They are doing lots of checks. Have you seen that happening? Yeah. So yeah. what they are doing? They are doing preventive maintenance for the next flight. They are doing preventive maintenance for the next flight. So guys, is it uh, possible to uh, stop the aircraft in the mid-air and fix something? No. No. Why it is not possible? I'll tell you the reason. Because the aircraft is flying on the critical path. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so is this clear? Yeah. And you are the pilot of the project and your project is also running on the critical path only. Now it is clear. So yeah. that is why you have to make sure that no equipment should break down in the middle of the critical path. If any equipment breaks down in the middle of the critical path, then what happens? The activity will be delayed. Okay. And if activity is delayed, then it will. So you should make sure if it is a smaller equipment, you arrange for a standby. If it is a hand tool or something like that. But if it is a very huge piece of equipment, make sure that you uh, conduct a preventive maintenance or a preliminary check, right? Okay, now the third question that you should ask your uh, this activity owner. So guys, please read the question here. Is there a material that can run in short supply? Short supply. Now, suppose you have the man and machine. So guys, please stop that if the background noise if you have some people talking in the uh, background. Just close the mic. Okay. Yeah. So is there any material that can run in short supply? So suppose man is there, machine is there, and if the material is not there, can the activity continue? No, it cannot continue. So you know, so you will uh, give this uh, kind of a solution to your activity owner. If there is any material which runs in short supply, then this is the solution. So what did I write here, guys? Yes, order it now. Now what happens, uh, your, your team member, so he uh, orders it. Now, what happens after the ordering, he comes to know, the supplier says, uh, sir, this material used to come from Ukraine. Now, due to the war in Ukraine, I cannot get it from Ukraine, but it will take a little bit more time. I can get it from Taiwan. Do you understand now how practically you solve the problem? See, your yes. project is going to start on which date? Read the date, start date. First of May. Rest of May. First of May, he says that it is going to take me two months to get it. But is, is that a problem? No. Yes. That no. is not a problem, Baba. It is going it's to come by the end of the, uh, by the end of, see, what is the date today? It is, you are in the uh, August. It will yeah. come at the end of the October. In two months, yeah. it's going to come. So it will come much before the start of the project. Didn't you solve a problem right now? Yeah. Mm. Do you understand? See, I'm teaching you the practically because some people think Prima Vera install Karliya to main jo hai, Raja Abdav ban gaya pro project management ka. <laughs> Baba, you should have a practical management sense first and only then after that the project, this Prima Vera is, will work. Do you understand? You need to have some management maturity, right? So what is your maturity? Your maturity is to immediately check after the calculation of the critical path if any of the main machine material can be missing. Suppose you have a car and a driver, but there is no petrol in the fuel tank. So can you run the car? Can you drive the car? No. Man is there, machine is there, but the material is not there. Driver is there, car is there, but the petrol is not there in the petrol tank. So can you drive the car? Now, do you understand that we need the man machine material combination to get the activity done, right or wrong? And this must be checked on the critical path before, much before the start of the project. Today is 20th of the August 2022. Why am I doing this act activity for a project which is going to happen on 1st of May 2023, which is still, you can say, practically it is still September, October, November. 
three months, uh, no, September, October, November, December, four. Four plus, uh, say, five. No, four plus uh, four is eight months away. Why I'm doing this? Because my uh, supplier says it is going to take me two, three months to get you the metal supply. I say, yes, get it, place the order, get it from uh, Taiwan. If from the U Ukraine, it used to come in 15 days. But from the Taiwan, it is going to take three months. Is that a problem if you're doing it much in advance? No, it's not a problem. It is not a problem. But you should have project management maturity. Also, some people say, oh, I've learned Primavera. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you get my point? Why will the Primavera work if you don't have the project manager's maturity? Right, guys? Okay. Now, the fourth question you are going to ask this, ask this team member or the activity owners. So, guys, please read the question. Please read. Is there any subcontracted work which requires cash payment approval? Uh, not, not only the cash, actually miss the word. So, let me write the word. It is not your daily cash. Read. Now, read the whole, whole question once again. Is there any subcontracted work which requires large cash payment approval? Now, what is the problem with the large cash payment approval? Because if you start it in the, at the near the beginning of the activity, that itself is going to go through four, uh, four people and it's going to take four or five days. Isn't it a problem? Now, what happens that meanwhile, see, I'm talking in the context of India, what happens the subcontractors here, they don't carry much they don't have much cash reserve if we don't pay them on a daily basis uh, they are not going to come simply so you know he's going to put the laborers or the low level workers onto some other project site do you get my point yeah the subcontractor is dependent upon you on a payment of for a weekly or a daily basis so yeah. that is why if you have a large numbers of the uh, subcontractor staff or the resources working for you make sure that you do do this if he says yes so you will tell him so guys what did i write here yes start approval process now yes what is the advantage if the if you start the approval process now if you have a pre approval does it hurt to have a pre approval in your pocket no so whenever you need the cash while doing the activity, just go to the account and tell him, look, I have this pre-approved, please give me the cash. He says, okay, I will get it from the bank in one hour. Right? Do you get my point? So I, I call it the, on the critical path, I call it the 3M plus 1C check. This is my terminology. Guys, please, please read. What did I write? 3M plus 1C. Plus 1C check. So, you know, this is a shortcut to your memory. So what, what is the 3M? Men, machinery, men, material, machinery. Or men, men machinery. Material. See, first you apply a man to an activity. Man says, boss, I need a machine. The machine says, boss, I need a material. Right? It is like this. Okay. So if I say 3M, you should remember it like this. Men, machine, material. And what is the one C? Cash. Yes. The one C is the cash, right? So, you know, these are the four uh, resources which you need to ensure that no activity should be delayed on the critical path. If some activity is delayed on the critical path, it will unnecessarily push the finish date of the project. And this is called a known risk. It is a preventable risk, right? What is an unknown risk? See, can you predict the earthquake? No. Can you predict the rain? Yeah. No. Yes. We can yeah. predict the rain. Baba, if you study the rainfall <laughs> pattern of a place, you can predict that in Delhi, I can say the rainfall in the Delhi region, it starts during the last week of the June. And from the last week of the June, it is ranging from the 
फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ द जून टिल अप्रोक्सीमेटली टू द मिड ऑफ द सेप्टेम्बर बट आई कैन नॉट प्रेडिक्ट फ्लड राइट यू कॉन्ट प्रेडिक्ट फ्लड फ्लड आर नॉट रेगुलर सो इट इज नॉट ए नोन रिस्क इट इज एन अनोन रिस्क सो अर्थक्वेक इज अनोन रिस्क फ्लड इज एन अनोन रिस्क a next pandemic breakout can you the could you could you uh, predict the corona outbreak in 2020 no, no. it is an unknown risk so, so suppose that there is a monkey pox i am hearing of the monkey pox so you don't know that how soon or later the monkey pox is going to affect your city or your project site right so that is an unpredictable risk right but we know such risk and but what do i know i know that there is a risk of activities getting delayed on the Uh, on the on the critical path, right, guys? Is that clear? Yes. okay so now guys is this clear that what is the importance of the critical path so guys tell me one thing are you going to conduct the critical path meeting after uh, this training sure v very good so that's what, what i want that's that's the real use of my training okay so make sure that after you have completed and corrected the project plan go to this filter and display the critical path and you ask this four question to the activity owners that will be the project management in real sense when you prevent a known risk see unknown risk should be left to the sponsors or your boss or to the company senior management but the known risk should be prevented by the project manager okay so this is how can you uh, prevent the known risk of uh, scheduled delay on the critical path by making sure at least uh, uh, the project should not be delayed at least not due to the lack of resource on the cri critical path so is that clear guys yeah the yeah. project should at least not be delayed due to the lack of resources on the critical path so there can be a known risk that's okay but the known risk should be prevented like what is a known risk fire is a known risk have you seen that in many of the buildings the fire ex extinguishers are placed and you have seen that in many of the big project site where the heavy equipments are being used you must have seen an am ambulance with medical personnel are stationed there yeah, there is yeah, a first aid there is a first aid booth yeah, yeah. and there is a person who is warning the people about the safety the parameters he is checking that every person is going to the site with a helmet with proper HSC, productive yeah. clothing with heavy boots and if in some person is working on the electrical engineering they are wearing uh, the yeah. insulated gloves like yeah. that they have the earthing wire they have the insulated gloves you know why because you know these project managers they are trying to prevent known risk known risk can be prevented right okay yeah. now what can what can be prevented you just don't know when a lightning may strike the site i have seen um many of the site videos which come from my project managers they're saying that boss what happened a lightning <laughs> struck the crane yes because it, because is a crane is a very high metallic object and the and the electricity could find as the shortest path and it can strike it they're yeah. sending me videos i've got very spectacular three four videos because what happens as soon as the there is a rain they will ask these people to please come down get down from there okay because lightning can strike that uh, and it has it has happened so that's a known risk a project manager's uh, mindset should be prevent any known risk now guys uh, your critical path is clear i am going to teach you near critical path so please remove the filter how do you re remove the filter select the filter and select all activities all activities no no this, this is the way to remove filter because if there are multiple filters if you click this it will remove all the filters guys please note you should click all activities for removing the filter 
So is that clear? Yeah. Okay, fine. Now click on the okay. You will see all the filters are removed. That is the best practice. Okay. Now just do this thing. You increase the duration of this um, 1200, this activity as on your screen, Mazarul, increase it to 15, one five. One five. Now also increase the duration of this activity one zero seven zero to one five, 15 days. Okay, guys. Guys, just look at this activity here on the demo screen. Do you see that these two activities, they are very near to the project finish date, but they are not touching the finish date of the project, right? You know, such activities are called near critical paths. Near, because they are very near to the finish date. Why they are called the near critical path and why they are dangerous? See, it's like this. It has been observed by project managers that near critical path activities can expand in the middle of the project and they can delay the project in the execution phase. Right, guys? Think on it. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys, I'm back. See, guys, what is the near critical path? See, near critical path is something which is not even there in the PM box. Okay. So who has done a PMP here? Uh, 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 Abdul, you have done PMP training? Not PMP training. My coursework <laughs> is related to project management, my master's course. Very good. In your master's in the project manager, in the pro masters of project management, have you heard something called near critical path? Mm, yes, sir. So what is the meaning of the near critical path? Can it's you explain a, it to your friends here? Uh, near critical path is uh, prone to be a critical path. Prone to what? Prone to be a critical activity. When if any minor if any minor changes, it will be uh, affect the it will be uh, it will be take over to the critical activity. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, so I'm glad that you are uh, studying your masters very, very carefully. Okay, now I'll show you that how to represent the near critical path in the primavera to become like a critical path. See what what would happen after some time. The project manager would realize that these activity which are currently not having any critical path uh, like character they. But since being very near, they can expand and exceed the existing critical path and they have the potential to delay the project. So what they started to do, they started to take the red pen and they started to mark them also like this. Okay, but we can tell the software to do it. Now, guys, please come into the scheduling tool here. Or if you can't see the button, you press F9. Okay, so guys, you are here in the scheduling toolbox. Yeah. Good. Now, in the scheduling toolbox, click on the options. Click on the options. So guys, you are here. 
in yeah. the schedule, the option box, please re read this box below. Define critical activities as total float less than or equal to zero hours. Good. See, right now they are setting a standard based upon the zero hours of the float. But I'm telling the Primavera that consider three days as the critical. If any activity is near to the finish date with a gap of even three days, so consider that as a critical also. So guys, you write here 3D. D for days, small, small letter. And then click on the close. Click on the close button. So then click on the yes button. So guys, to implement, click on the schedule button. It will implement this rule. So guys, do you see that these two activities are also now marked as being crit critical despite having float? Okay, which you can prove by setting the filter. Now set the filter for critical path and see if they are classified as the critical or not. Select the critical filter and click on the okay. So guys, do you see they are also coming here as the as the critical only now now mazarul tell me how many people you are going to call in, into the meeting count here into eight the person. eight people correct now these eight people will come these two people will ask you boss my activity has got three days float then why you have called me into the meeting so what you will explain to them that despite having the three days float, why they have been called and included into this critical path meeting? Tell me, how will you explain to them? If they misses their plot, then their path will also be critical and it will also hamper our project. Yes. So you, you, you will tell them your activities are just three days short of the finish date. And sometimes such activities can exceed the total duration of the project and become new critical path and and they can delay the project so that is why you are into the critical path meeting right guys is it clear sir ye maine isko iska bolta hai schedule mein jaake i change the days from 0 to 3 but it's not changing for me acha main aata hu main dekhta hu lekin concept clear hai ki nahi aapko concept to clear hai concept clear hai na guys the first thing for hard sir uh, yeah, so you know, the more important part is that uh, that the primavera should be working properly with your knowledge. Your knowledge of the pro, uh, of the primavera should be perfect. Okay, first yeah. let me complete the concept here, then I will come yeah. to you. Yeah. So this is a near critical path. So the primavera is displaying it as a critical path because you told it with a rule that if any any activity is within the range of the three days from the finish date. So you know this is the boundary line. Okay, see. This is the three days rule, right? If any activity is within this three days, if it's touching the three days, it will be also marked as the critical, right? But if the activity is one day less, suppose if you reduce from 15 to 14, then what happens? Just check this out. Make the activity number 1200 as 14 days. Do you see that it has become non-critical? You see that, guys? Because now it is out of the rule boundary. Okay, now again make it 15 and if, when it uh, touches the boundary, so immediately it will become critical. Do you see that? Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to remove this rule. Okay, how to remove the rule? First of all, you go into the schedule button, click on this schedule button and click on the options. After that, once again, you set it to zero. Set the float less than or equal to zero. Okay, yeah. After you set it to zero, click on the close and click on the yes and click on the schedule button to implement it. Now guys, do you see that the rule is gone? These are once again being treated as normal activities. These are not being treated as a critical path. Now guys, you have to remove the filter. What is the rule with the filter? 
when you are done with the filter please remove the filter by clicking all activities that is the simplest way to remove the filter click on the all act activities if you are using multiple filters below even that will be cleared now click on the okay once you click on the okay all activities will be displayed okay now i will come to uh, your screen please show uh, show me your screen i will fix the problem okay now you give me the control i'll just check i will go inside and check so you want this activity should be displayed as critical yeah that's fine so what you have done is the right thing you have created the 15 days activity so mujhe lag raha hai mere date na thoda aage piche ho gaya 16 kar raha hu to ho raha hai 15 pe nahi ho raha nahi nahi baba aapne to kuch dala hi nahi hai yahan pe kuch dalo to sahi yahan pe nahi ye maine change kiya abhi wapas zero kiya karo na ek bari baba fir se karo yahan pe likho 3 days शेड्यूल करो इसको इम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए शेड्यूल करना पड़ता है वो तब रूल इम्प्लीमेंट होगा ये इसको प्रेस करना जरूरी है नहीं वो तो ठीक है इसको इसको अब इम्प्लीमेंट अब अब देखो इसको अभी चेक करो लोग जाओ ये जो पंद्रह दिन है ना इसको कर दो कम कर दो इसे चौदह कर दो इसे अब देखो ये रूल की बाउंड्री से जै, जैसे ही बाहर होगा तो नॉन क्रिटिकल हो जाएगा अब इसे सिक्सटीन करो सिक्सटीन करो इसे जैसे ही रूल की बाउंड्री में जाएगा तो मैं काम कर रहा हूँ ना मैं रूल की बाउंड्री का ना मैं यहाँ पे एक मैं ये निशान लगाता हूँ देखो ये आपकी रूल की बाउंड्री का ये है जो भी इस लाइन ऑफ कंट्रोल को टच करेगी वो क्रिटिकल हो जाएगी ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ना तो है। अगर इसको टच करेगी तो क्रिटिकल होगी इसके अंदर जाएगी वो तो है ही है सही है ठीक है ना तो लेकिन शेड्यूलिंग को इम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए शेड्यूल का बटन प्रेस करना का बटन दबाओ मैंने क्लोज दबा शेड्यूल का बटन अच्छा नाउ नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रिमूव द रूल टू रिमूव द रूल सो यू हैव टू गो इन टू दूल वंस अगेन द शेड्यूल बटन कैन बी एक्सेस बाई एफ नाइन ऑल्सो आफ्टर दैट गो टू दी ऑप्शन and set it back to zero which is the normal and then click on the close and once again you will have to after saying yes you have to click on the schedule button yes that implements the rule right yeah. due to that yeah. all these activities that near um, the critical path they are now uh, being treated yeah. as normal activities right yeah. yeah okay now we are going to learn one more thing that is the holidays so guys if someone else has a problem please uh, uh, tell me is there any problem on someone else screen are you able to understand the critical and the near critical okay fine now kranti please share your screen okay now guys i am going to tell you about the holidays okay so because you uh, you also have the holidays in a company so because that has an effect on the schedule of the project okay so guys i am going to ask you a very simple question please tell me what is the current finish date of the project look at the arrow on the top 20th may 20th 20th okay i am going to ask you another question listen to me carefully okay i am going to first make the ground for the question suppose if the if the wednesday is declared as the holiday by your company then what will be the new finish date what will be the new finish date if one day in the middle of the project is declared hmm? 21st 21st kon bola hai 22nd baba 21st bologe na aisi baddua lagegi zindagi mein kaam mein karte rahoge zindagi bhar fir अगर आप जिंदगी में संडे को रेस्ट करना चाह चाहते हो तो कैलेंडर की तरफ ध्यान से देखो आपके सामने ही है सर हमें कहा रेस्ट करने देते थे पाकिस्तान में संडे को भी काम पे आते थे कोई दिक्कत नहीं है मेरे को एक चीज बताओ इमरान खान ने क्या कहा है वो कहता है आपने घबराना नहीं है 
आप लोग घबराते क्यों यार मेरी बात नहीं समझ में आती देखो हमारे यहाँ पे ना कई कई लोग हैं हमारे इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट में उनकी बात हमें माननी चाहिए देखो सबसे पहली बात जो है इमरान खान कहता है आपने घबराना नहीं है देखो क्या होता है कि कोई भी मुल्क होता है या कोई भी फैमिली होती है चलो मैं मानता हूँ इंडिविजुअल फैमिली आपकी फैमिली में क्या परेशानी नहीं आई है कभी आपकी फैमिली में नहीं आई क्या परेशानी ऐसा ऐसा कौन सा परिवार है या ऐसा कौन सा शख्स है जिसकी जिंदगी में कोई परेशानी नहीं आई है बताओ नहीं ऐसा पॉसिबल ही नहीं है आपके ऑस्ट्रेलिया इतने 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 आराम से पहुंच पहुंच गए हो नहीं आपने स्ट्रगल की है पाकिस्तान से ऑस्ट्रेलिया पहुंचना इतना आसान काम नहीं है ठीक है तो वो कहता है आपने घबराना नहीं है और वो बिल्कुल सही बोलता है अब बात पता क्या है कि पहले के लोग जो थे इतना वो बिगाड़ के गए हैं कि उसको सही करने का जब तक मतलब उसको सही करने का टाइम नहीं दे रहे लोगों को चाहिए इंस्टेंट इंस्टेंट रह कि ऐसा वो चारों हो जाएगा हम फॉरन चारों तरफ बड़ा स्ट्रगल कर रहे हैं इसमें दो बातें एक एक तो करंट ऑपरेशन के लिए फंड चाहिए जो कि अभी पाकिस्तान जनरेट नहीं कर सकता इसलिए वो जगह जगह जाके कोशिश कर रहा है कि थोड़े फंड्स मिल जाए ताकि करंट ऑपरेशन फिर वो चाह रहा है कि पाकिस्तान की जो है वो इकोनॉमी जो है वो रिवाइव हो जाए ताकि पाकिस्तान अपने फंड जो है खुद जनरेट कर सके तो इसलिए वो बार बार कह रहे हैं कि आपने घबराना नहीं है मैं कुछ पॉलिसीज में तैयार कर रहा हूँ आप मेरे साथ रहो ठीक है क्योंकि बिगाड़ना जो आसान है माचिस की तीली लो और 20 मंजिला बिल्ड बिल्डिंग डाल दो कहीं पे और तीन घंटे के अंदर 20 मंजिला बिल्डिंग खत्म लेकिन एज ए सिविल इंजीनियर आप मुझे बताओ एक 20 मंजिला बिल्डिंग बनाने में कितने दिन ल, ल, लगते हैं पाकिस्तान जैसे मुल्क में कम से कम चार साल लग जाएंगे चार साल लगते हैं लेकिन आग लगने के बाद चाहे मुल्क कोई भी हो बिल्डिंग चार घंटे के अंदर जो है वो खत्म हो जाती है नी तबाह हो जाती है तो आपने घबराना नहीं है और हमारे मोदी जी बोलते हैं सबका साथ सबका विकास इसका पता मतलब क्या है नहीं। आप सब जितने बंदे यहाँ पे बैठे हो ना मेरी ट्रेनिंग के अंदर आप सब मेरा साथ दो आपका विकास जो है वो कराने की गारंटी मे, मेरी है समझे कि नहीं जी जी कोई गलत बात है इसमें नहीं नहीं मेरे को एक चीज बताओ आप मेरा साथ दोगे कैसे मेर से सवाल पूछ के मेरी बात को समझ के पूरी नहीं समझ में आई तो सवाल करना है आप मेरी बात का जवाब दोगे हाँ मैं कह रहा हूँ जी इम्प्लीमेंट हुआ आपके स्क्रीन पे आई तो आपने हाँ हाँ बोलना है या तो ना बोलना है चुप नहीं बैठना है ठीक है लॉजिक अगर क्लियर ना हो तो उस पर क्वेश्चन करना है कि इसका क्या लॉजिक है क्योंकि प्रेमा वेरा जो भी है मैथ साइंस और वो लॉजिक है कोई ये मुल्य मौलवी की कोई तकरीर नहीं है मैं तो साफ बोलता हूँ अच्छा चाहे लगे चाहे ना ना लगे हम लोग इंजीनियर है हम लोग इंजीनियर है हम हम लोगों का जो काम है ना वो किसी भी जो है वो मजहब से वो परे है ठीक है ठीक है ना ये इस बात को पहले मानना पड़ेगा अगर यहाँ पे बैठना है तो अच्छा है। अच्छा उसके बाद जो है ना हमारे यहाँ पे एक जो है वो राजीव वो राजीव गांधी के सुपुत्र हैं राहुल गांधी राहुल गांधी ये कहता है कि आप एक बात बताओ आपको इस काम में मजा आया तो लोग कह रहे हैं हाँ मैं यही मजा पूरे देश को देना चाहता हूँ अगर आपको प्राइमा वेरा ट्रेनिंग में मजा आया तो आप अपनी पूरी टीम को मजा दो सिखाओ उन्हें सिखाओ उनको भी सिखाओ ठीक है ये नहीं ये नॉलेज अपने तक रखो शेयर करो तो ये तीनों जो बातें बोलते हैं तीनों सही बोलते हैं अब इसमें से क्या है कि अब लोग में सब रहेंगे हर चीज चाहते हैं कि यार वो पेशेंटली मतलब हर चीज चाहते हैं कि मतलब बटन दबाते ही हो जाए नहीं होगा भैया ऐसे जो बटन दबा के नहीं होगा क्योंकि तो हर चीज को बनाने में वक्त लगता है प्लानिंग करनी पड़ती है डिजाइनिंग करनी पड़ती है प्रोटोटाइप टेस्टिंग करनी पड़ती है फिर जाके चीज बनती है तो चाहे वो इंजीनियरिंग हो चाहे वो पॉलिटिक्स हो अब मतलब हर जगह पे आदमी को पेशेंटली काम करना पड़ेगा ठीक है और उसके आसपास के जो लोग है उसको एक भरोसा रखना पड़ेगा कि ठीक है ये नजम जो बंदा बैठ के हमारे लिए प्लान तैयार कर रहा है तो वो हमारे से इनपुट लेके कर रहा है तो हमने उसमें पार्टिसिपेट करना है और इसके साथ चलना है हमने और हमने घबराना नहीं है और सबका साथ सबका विकास हम टीम मेंबर जो है नजम की प्लानिंग में साथ देंगे तो डेफिनेटली हम सब की प्रोग्रेस होगी इसमें हम सब की ये तरक्की है ठीक है समझे कि नहीं सही है दैट इज द थिंग तो यहाँ पे लॉजिक क्या है कि जब मैं आपसे कहता हूँ कि अगर बुधवार की अगर छुट्टी हो जाती है तो फिनिश डेट कहाँ पे जाएगी ये मैथ्स है आप देख लो आपके सामने ही है देख लो आप इक्कीस तारीख को काम नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि ये संडे है ठीक है ना तो
तो अब अब मैं आपको बताता हूँ इसको इसकी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन कहाँ होती है गाइज प्लीज कम विद मी टू इम्प्लीमेंट द वेडनेसडे एज द हॉलीडे ओके स्टेप बाई स्टेप प्लीज ग्रैब योर माउस एंड क्लिक ऑन द कैलेंडर बटन now click on the modify so guys you are here now you yeah. scroll to the month of the may 2023 okay now since your company has declared third of the may as the holiday click on the third and after that you mark it as non work by clicking on the non work so as soon as you click on the non work the color is changed to the gray and the duration is changed to the zero do you see that see you clicked on the non work and the duration has become zero do you see that yeah so everybody please confirm that you have uh, uh, done the same step no sir can you please repeat it sir yeah. see see first of all you scroll to the month of the may 2023 okay then you select the third so first i have to go for the schedule uh, calendar sir ha so i i'll just show it to you just wait okay so uh, are you on the the calendar uh, are you here uh, yes sir uh, so yeah. select the, yes. the uh, ist okay have you selected the uh, the uh, ist uh, abdul uh, please say yes or no have you selected the ist I forgot the calendar icon, sir. That kind okay, of okay. Calendar icon, yes. <laughs> yes so I'm sure you didn't have any girlfriends in the college. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Ah uh, yes, sir. I'll select the IST, sir. Okay, now, ah uh, okay, now click uh, select the IST. Now click on the modify. Yes. After clicking on the modify, so you will see the calendar itself. then you gently scroll to the month of the may 2023 okay yes. have you reached the month of the may 2023 yes then you select the third here third after selecting the third you click on the non work okay sir and do you notice that the work hours per day is equal to 0 yes do you see that yes no? okay now click on the okay okay now click on the close you just close it and see what what is the result in the plan okay sir in the, uh, okay so i want you to notice the wetness did you see the color of the wetness day as the grayed out yes 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 now what happens that all the activities which are spanning the critical path so you know those activities are pushed ahead so yes, when jump, an jump jump by one sunday, day since it cannot work on the sunday it is jumping the sunday to reach the monday mm. so the new finish date will be the monday yes. after the saturday the next working day is monday so that is why your finish date will go from 20th to the 21st yes yes right guys yes. so you know this is called scheduling with calendar so calendar takes care of the scheduling like this so this is how you can set up the holidays in the in the primavera but in the primavera there is a drawback because the holiday name is not being stored but you can store the holiday names a list of the holidays in the project notebook see guys if you go into the project here if you select this project lesson 2 there is a notebook here do you see that there is a notebook here i want you to notice this tab so in this tab so what you can do click on the add and then you select general notes in the general notes okay. sir one minute sir okay so you go go to the notebook then click here add and select general note then click here modify so after after this notebook comes up so in the notebook so you can write like this very very simply you can write here so you you can write like this so you you can write date
right guys is is this clear you you can write right guys is this clear you can write like this okay you can store the list but in the calendar it is not possible to do it at least not in this of the version of the primavera ha huh, you can do it in the primavera light so they have actually copied this feature from microsoft project okay so guys is this clear okay now guys i am going to teach you how to remove suppose if you want to remove the holiday by mistake you put it so you know what happens i don't want you to make a mistake in the future you should be able to remove it also now how to remove it please come with me step by step click on the calendar toolbox now after selecting the calendar toolbox you have the calendar right this calendar toolbox is here now select the ist calendar and click on the modify button okay now scroll to the month of the may 2023 scroll to the month of the may 2023 now you select just wait 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 mazur will wait now guys i will first tell you the wrong way to do it okay <laughs> now what is the wrong way to do it which people do it by default so you know normally what the people will do to convert this back to the work day they will instinctively click on this button okay now guys what i am going to ask you click on this button work and see what is the structure of the day click on this button mazur you click on this button work now guys look at the structure of the day does does it look right no you know, the structure of the day it is starting at 8 am there is no lunch time it is not your kind of the daily schedule so what is the correct button the correct button is the standard it is a standard day the standard which is set by you you click on the standard so now guys this looks like a standard day yeah yes so guys please re remember to convert the non working day into the working day you should use the standard button right yeah okay so don't use the work it does not work right the standard one is the best right guys now after that you have to click on the okay now click on the close click on the close now you you will see since the primavera is working in the automatic mode you will see automatically it has gone back to the 20th of may right see this if you look at the wednesday wednesday is a work day normal work day and it has shifted from monday back to the saturday right so you know this is now wor working in the dynamic mode because of the automatic setting so uh, ha have you understood that how the critical path is to be used first let me complete this have you understood how the critical path is to be used by calling for critical path meeting now do you understand what is a near critical path yes now have you understood how to apply the uh, apply the holiday and re remove it uh, also yes very good now please ask your questions and we are going to close this topic uh, sir can you repeat again regarding the standard part you were saying uh, for holidays and non holidays and standard part screen i'll do it on on your screen i will uh, so i'll make you do it okay so you will re remember it i want you to remember it forever okay is it visible now yes yes please so the standard i mean no, no, screen is not yet visible i mean um, i can hear you but you, you have to share your screen so you have to uh, share your screen or uh, whatever you are using yeah the bottom green icon okay yeah yes yes yeah, no okay so let the screen come no screen so guys can you see rahul screen yes sir uh, rahul started his screen sharing just a bit of slow no. in his uh, uh, system but has the screen come no 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 okay okay rahul what i'm going to do i'm going okay 
fine. So now I got your screen. Okay. Now I want you to do it step by step. Okay. So since you are the already here, we will continue. So now click on the scroll button till you reach the month of the May 2023. Okay. Now, first you click on the third. Now, how you make it as non-work, you click on the non-work. So when you click on the non-work, do you see that it becomes zero? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you want, uh, now you click on the okay. Click on the o okay here. I, I noticed something, there is something wrong in your calendar. Why did you put nine days? So uh, what if I just, just wait, wait, wait. Okay, so let me look at the time periods. 8, 14, yeah, this is correct. Work week, I'm seeing nine days. So why did you put nine days? No, nine hours. No, we only care about the wor working man hours because one hour is the break. We don't have to actually put some time for the break. This is purely the work hours. Do you see the term work hours? Yes, sir. Click on the OK. Now, I want you to go into the detailed work hours per day. We should be starting at the business day. Now, your business day is to, has to be fixed. Click on the work week. Now, um, let me check. Monday is not correct. Tuesday is not correct. Wednesday is not correct. Thursday is not correct. Friday is not correct. Saturday is not correct. See, your work days are not set right. So let us do this thing. You select Monday to Saturday. Select all the six days and you set the daily schedule to start at nine. So make the eight hour, 8 a.m. as non-work. Non-work, non-work, the entire, yes. Then you make the 1 p.m. that is the 13 hour as non-work. Non-work, it is a break time, Baba. It is a break time, lunch time, break time. Okay, now you make the 16 as the work hour and make the 5 p.m. also as the work. So 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. people will work and work will close at 6. It will not continue beyond 6. Okay, so click on the OK and you will do a due diligence. What is the due diligence? Check. Cross check your own work. Monday is correct? Uh, yes. Check the Tuesday. Correct. Yes. Wednesday? Correct. Good. Thursday? Correct. Friday? Yeah, correct. Saturday? Correct. Sunday? Correct. Okay. According to the Sunday, it is correct. Okay. Now you click on the OK. Okay. Now come to the modify again. I will show you that how to implement the work day and the non work day. Now scroll to the month of the May 2023. Now third of the May right now it is marked as the as the non-work, right? You want to make it the work. See, I want to show you something. Just uh, notice it. I click on the work. Okay, so I have not been told by an anybody how to make it back into the work. I instinctively come and click here. Now, Rahul, do you see? Does the structure of the day look right? It's changed. Hmm? Uh, no, it's not right. No, it is not the right. So what is the right button? It is the standard button. Now it looks right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So standard button is the button. So now what is the, what is to sum up? If you want to make the day uh, re reverse back from the non-work to the work, use the standard button. So when you use the standard button and you click on the OK, and then you close it, so it will become a normal working day, right? Okay. What is this, sir? Yellow, green? Yeah, yellow, green. You know why he has got this yellow bars? Because he is coming to the training for the second time. Okay, so the, if this yellow bars are baseline. Just don't bother about it. Ignore his screen. Okay, sir. Now, now guys, it is time for lunch. So we have completed the lesson two, but... It's not yet complete if you still have any doubt. Okay, guys, any doubt for the uh, this lesson two about what did we cover? Critical path. Critical path is clear. Near critical yeah. path is clear. How yeah. to implement the holiday and how to remove it, it is clear. Yeah. Okay, fine, guys. Yeah. If all these points are clear, then this lesson is closed. So there is one hour lunch time. So guys, uh, so take your lunch in 10, 15 minutes and you take a nap. Okay, so that is good for Primavera. Thank you.
Okay. So, uh, so we have learned about the critical path and the auditors. Now we are going to close this lesson. So to close this, uh, close this one. So press Control W. Okay, just make the lesson three. So guys, what would be the lesson three? Please look into the word file. So the word file says, the what is the third rule? Uh, schedule is adjusted by dependencies. Okay, now you write here, in the third one, you write here, you put a, you do control C and control V here, because that is going to create the lesson three, control C and control V. Okay. And it will create the lesson three. Le lesson three, you write as dependencies and relationships. Dependencies and relationships. So that is your lesson three. Okay. You have created the lesson three. Oh, no, please start. Uh, please open. Okay. Now you fill down and make uh, all the activities as six days. Okay. You fill down in the original duration uh, column and make the duration of all the activities as six days. Okay. Fine. Now come to the WBS tab. Okay, please come to the WBS tab. Okay, now in the WBS, you create a WBS here. You write the name as finish to start. Finish to start. Uh, I my For me, the WBS tab is not showing. No, you have to click it. Now it will not show up. You have to click on the WBS symbol. Here is the WBS symbol. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So this is the tab symbol and then you click it, then it comes. Yeah. So after that, you create another one. First, you place your cursor on the parent and then you create the next one and write the name as start to start. Okay. Then once again, place your cursor on the parent and then click on the add button. So you click on the right side. And then you change the name here in the name, WBS name, you change it to finish to finish. For me, it is not showing 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. Yeah, I'll just come. Let me complete the flow. Then you again place the cursor on, on the parent and then click on the add. Then you create the last one as start to finish. like that okay now you show me your screen i'm uh, yeah please share your screen quickly okay So you have to create it first, Baba. You have not created anything at all. How it can show you 3.1? You just click here. Click on the plus button. So now you write here. What is the first one? Finish to start. 
Yeah, finish to start, you create. You write here, finish to start. Press enter. Now place your cursor on the parent and then click add. So, no, no. No, no. I told you to place a, no, okay. So you will have to outdent it. Now, now you write here, start to start. Okay. So then place your cursor on the parent and then you click on the add. So now you uh, write here, finish to finish. Then place your cursor here. Then once again, you click here and you write here, start to finish. So what you have created, you have created the four logical groups in which we are going to group the bunch of the activities. Okay. So after that, we will understand that what is the dependency and what is the relationship. Now, guys, everybody, please come to the activities tab. Okay. In the activities tab, you select the first four. Select the first four act activities and uh, do control X. Okay, with the shift down arrow, shift and down. Control X and place your cursor on the uh, 3.1 down below and paste it. And paste it. Okay, control V. Yeah, okay. So it, it, see, uh, what are you doing? Uh, see, you got to be careful. Uh, so you have to just wait, wait, wait. See, it is very simple. You have to paste it here. Okay. Now you select the next two, select, uh, select two here and paste it in start to start. Paste it in 3.2. You select 3.2 and do control V. Okay. Now like that you paste uh, two in the finish to finish group. And another two you will paste in the start to the finish group. Start to the finish group. Okay. Now, rest of the activities you will have to delete. Okay. You would delete the activities which are not required. You select them all. No, not the group, but only up to the activity. Yeah. You select up, up to the top and then only the activities here which are uh, extra. You click on the delete button. You can delete it from keyboard also. Keyboard delete or this delete, yes. Okay, guys. So everybody has like this? Yeah. So you have got four activities in the first group and rest of the group, you have got two activities. So first we are creating a sample data. Then we will understand that what are the dependencies and relation and how do they schedule? How do they fine tune the best schedule? Okay. Now open the detail, I mean detail window here and we are going to configure the detail window. So guys, in the detail, do you see that there is a gray strip here? You can right click here. And when you right click, you will see the option customize activity detail. Okay, so we are going to customize the activity detail here. First you right click here, and then you will get activity detail. Uh, because these are the set of the tabs which are going to customize. So I'm going to do it. You guys, please look at the screen and you select the same tab. So guys, so first of all, I'm going to remove the predecessor and successor. So I'm sending them back, predecessor and successor. Now, watch on the screen. I'm selecting expenses. So I'm taking the expenses to the right side. Then I'm selecting notebook. I'm taking it to the right side. Then I'm selecting, this is the most important one. That is the relationships. Okay. So I'm taking the relationship to the right side. And there is one more, which is there. It is the WP and docs. I'm taking it to the right side. And notebook, I'm bringing it 
just on the second last in the sequence. Okay. So guys, please look at the demo screen and you select these tabs. Okay. As the activity details. So uh, Abdul, you can tell them what, what are the tabs here, top to bottom. You can read the names. General status, resources, expenses, relationship, notebook, WPS dogs. Okay, good. So, so guys, please confirm you have the same ones. Yes. Now click on the OK and these tabs will be implemented below. Okay, so the most special tab that we need here is the relationship. So if you click on the relationship tab, I want you to notice in the relationship tab, actually two different tabs have been combined. So earlier predecessor and successor was separate tab. Now they're <laughs> combined in, inside the relationship tab in one place. So in one place, you can see what is the predecessor and successor of an activity. Now guys, if you have some activities which are having the relationship, you have to break them. Like if you look at the demo screen, 1020 has a relationship, we want to break it. Okay, so you select 1020, go to the successor side and click on the remove button. Click yes. Okay. Then you select the next activity 10330 and then click on the remove button to remove the relationship with its uh, successor. Yes. Now, so after you have removed the relationship, so your sample data should be looking like this. Okay. Yeah. So you do have the sample data created like this and your guys, we don't need to see the time. So please switch off the time. So we don't want to see the time. There's no need for time anymore because our calendar has been set properly. And we are only concerned with the start and the finish date of an activity. Okay. So is it like this for everybody? Yes, sir. Okay, now I'll explain to you what is the meaning of the predecessor and successor. So I'm going into my notes. So basically the purpose of the notes is to use them like a whiteboard. So in, in a class, I would normally use a uh, the whiteboard. And instead of the whiteboard, I'm using the Word and the Excel file to explain things to you first. Then I will come here. Okay. Okay, guys, now we, uh, now you have to uh, look at the demo screen. I will come to this tab. Now on, on here, basically what we have, whenever we want to set up a relationship, we need minimum two activities and the relationship is established from engineering process. So in the engineering, there are three uh, to four different ways in which activities can be related. So when two activities are related, the activity, which is the boss, it is called the predecessor. So guys, can you read this uh, red text, which is written? Predecessor task is the one which controls the start and or the finish date of, of the successor. Yes. So, you know, I've written the pre predecessor as the boss. Okay. I'll tell you in a while. See, every task has got two dates. So every task has a start date and a the finish date. Now, guys, if I combine these two dates, 2 multiplied by 2, so guys, what is the total combination I can have? Four. So if I say 2 multiplied by 2, I can have is the four, uh, 4 different kind of the combination. This is the possibility. Guys, I believe that you must you must have remembered the, the permutation and combination. Do you remember your permutation and combination chapter in the maths? Yeah. Statistics okay. two multiplied by two is equal to four. Now, when you have two multiplied by two is equal to four, what is the most common relationship out of the four combination? The most common relationship is the number one. That is the finish to start. Let's say that predecessor and successor, they are, they are like people. 
So predecessor is the boss and the successor is the subordinate. So you know what is the dialogue that boss is saying to the successor in the finish to start relationship? Read this. This is a dialogue between the boss and the subordinate. When I finish, then you can start. Yeah. So, you know, he's saying that when I'm done, so you take my output and you start. So, you know, the finish to start is going to look like this. The arrow will be started from the finish date and it will be going to the start date. You know, all these um, the things were basically created by Henry Gantt only, right? Henry Gantt created the extensive Gantt chart. Okay. In fact, there is a book on the Gantt chart, which is written by Henry Gantt. So there is also a project management book, which was written by Henry Gantt in 1897. In 1897, he wrote a book called Organizing for Work. Okay. So he wrote a book on the project management. He said organizing for work there. I believe the word project came into existence, uh, existence a little bit later. Okay. To make it more specific. Okay, then I believe the work was divided into two different distinct. One is the project, one is the operations. Operations means re repetitive work. Project means there's some work which is undertaken to achieve an ob objective, a goal. Okay, fine. Now let us coming to the main point. So here the predecessor says to the successor, when I finish, then you can start. It is represented like this. Now read the, what is the dialogue when it is the start to start? When I start, then you also start. Yeah. So, you know, the arrow will be represented like this. So, guys, do you see the arrow on the screen? So, arrow is starting from the start date of the pre predecessor and it is going to control the start date of the successor activity. Okay. Now, you read the dialogue in the third relationship. When I finish, then you also finish. So, the relationship is going to look like this. The arrow will start from the finish side and it will go and control the finish date of the successor. Now you read the uh, read the fourth one, start to finish. Before I start, you should be finished. So the relationship would be appearing like this and there is a special condition here. Please read this. Start date is predetermined. Yeah. So, you know, start to finish is uh, not so but difficult to understand. So, you may have heard that it is difficult. So, we'll start with the most common and the easiest, that is the finish to start. Okay. So, now we are going to switch over to the Primavera in which we have these four activities. So, I'll take some example from the civil engineering only. In the civil engineering, I asked my friends that how do you construct uh, some structure or a building they say that first we do is excavation. So you write here excavation. Excavation is the civil engineering terminology for digging. Excavation. Then I ask them, then what do you do next? He, uh, he says that what we do next is PCC, which is the short form of plain cementing and concreting. So you don't have to write the full name. You can write here PCC. So what do you do after the PCC? I asked him. He says that after the PCC, we do reinforcement, reinforcement, R-E-I-N-F-O-R-C-E-M-E-N-T. And after the reinforcement, then we do the shuttering. So S-H-U-T-T-E-R-I-N-G. So this is how they do in their civil engineering. These are the sequence, but in which there is a clearly marked the boundary, you can start the PCC only after completion of the excavation. And after the completion of the PCC, you can start the reinforcement. After the completion of the, uh, the or the finish of the reinforcement, you can start the shattering. So it is like that. Now, let us place our cursor on the excavation. Now, guys, please tell me who is the successor for the excavation? Who is the successor? PCC. PCC. So what we are going to do from the excavation we are going to go to the successor side because we want to set up the successor for the excavation and we will click on the assign button on the successor. Okay. Now guys, what do you read on the top of this box? 
assigned successor. Yes, so that's exactly what we are going to do. But we are going to make this box. We are going to configure this a little bit because this box is opening for the first time. So whenever you are opening some boxes in the Primavera for the first time, they may not have the uh, the right font sizes or the width. So you change the font to the Vardana 9. So Abdul, you change it to the Vardana 9. Okay, so guys, you can read the names clearly now. Make sure that you give the right width to the activity ID and you can see the activity name comfortably, okay? So no uh, data should be cut. Okay, so this is the one-time thing. So once you have done it, it is fine. Now, tell me guys, which is the successor for the excavation, which activity? PCC. So you select here and then click on the plus button and click on the cross button to close the box. So guys, as soon as you uh, assign a successor, so it will set up the relationship which is mentioned here as the finish to start. Okay, guys, do you see that what does the finish to start look like? So from the finish side of the, uh, from the finish side of the pre predecessor task, the arrow is starting and it is touching the start date of the successor. Now guys, let me tell you something. See, the actually the relationship box here, it is actually a drop down. It has got all the four relationships here, but by default, Primavera will choose the finish to start relationship. Why? Because the finish to start being the most common relationship. So this relationship will be applied by default as a matter of convenience. Right guys, is it clear? Yes. Sir. So anything which is more common or frequent to use, that will be applied by default because that is the benefit of using the software, right? So that is why it is applying the finish to start relationship. But if you are going to apply any other kind of relationship, so that will be selectable by you. If you just click here and you will get the drop down, you can select any other kind of the relationship also. Now guys, after selecting the PCC, I want to assign the successor. So who is the successor for the P PCC? Reinforcement. So you click on the button and you select reinforcement and click on the plus button and click on the cross button to close the box. Now you have uh, uh, created this relationship here. So excavation to PCC, PCC to reinforcement. So what, what you have done that you, you have uh, selected the successor, but it is not always necessary that you will select a successor. You can select a predecessor also. Now guys, I'm placing my cursor on the shuttering. Now guys, can you tell me that which activity is the predecessor of shuttering? Reinforcement. Reinforcement. So what you can do, keeping the shuttering as selected, go to the predecessor side and click on the, uh, the assign button. After that, when this box comes up for the first time, see predecessor box is also coming for the first time. You need to configure it in the same way. You need to set the font to Vardana 9 and make sure that uh, the width of the columns is good enough for you to read comfortably. So after that, you select the nine number font and click on the OK. Now, guys, can you see the reinforcement here? Yeah, so reinforcement is the predecessor because we are selecting here the predecessor. It is the assigned predecessor box. Now, click on the green plus button to assign and close it. So as soon as you close it, you will see that the predecessor has been assigned with a finish to start relationship. So guys, it is flexible. You can either select a predecessor or you can select a successor also. So both way, it is the same logic. So for a predecessor, you can select a successor and for a, success, um, uh, for a, for a successor, you can select a predecessor. Now let's say that how the finish to start relationship practically works. Now let's say if the excavation task is extended to 10 days, okay. Now see what is the impact on the successor. So increase Sorry. in 10 days. Uh, just wait, just wait. 
just extend the uh, duration of the excavation to 10 days. Now guys, do you see, when you extend the duration of excavation to 10 days, it pushes the PPCC and the successor of the PCC is reinforcement. So PCC is pushing the reinforcement and reinforcement is pushing the shuttering. So guys, is this clear? Because the predecessors say, look, my finish date is finishing later. So you also start later. PCC says my finish date is also finishing later. So you also start later. Reinforcement says my finishing date is uh, finishing later and you also start later. So if the predecessor finishes later, so the start date also starts later. Right, guys? Is it clear? Now, now go to the excavation duration and change it to four days. Change it to four days. So guys, do you note that if the excavation says I'm finishing earlier, then then PCC has a chance to start earlier. If finishing, if the PCC finishes earlier, then the reinforcement has a chance to start earlier. If the reinforcement is finishing earlier, then the shuttering also has a chance to start the earlier. So is this thing clear? Yes. So who is controlling? Actually, it is the finish date, which is controlling the start date of the success. So that is why this is the finish date. And this is the start date. And when the, when the finish is controlling the start, it is written as FS. Finish to start. So the F belongs to the predecessor and S belongs to the successor. So is this clear? This, this finish date is belonging to the, the excavation and, and the start date is belonging to the PCC. Is that clear, guys? Yes. That's why we write the relationship as finish to start. We say that PCC is dependent upon excavation to finish. Because if the excavation is not finished, then PCC cannot start. Right, guys? Is this clear? Because that's your engineering process, right? Okay, now set the duration of the excavation back to six days. Do you see that all the successes are pushed? Okay, guys. So guys, I will not be asking you for example of the finish to start because, you know, finish to start is something which is very easy and it is understood by us all. Whenever we open the interface, the first relationship we put is finish to start. Now, let me tell you a story about the finish to start. So when I started to use the Microsoft project myself earlier, when I used the Microsoft project, I was not too much planning. I was basically, you know, reading the plans created by my, uh, by my project managers. So when I started to use it in 2000, I would put all the activities in finish to start only. So that is natural for all the people. Though those who use, any kind of the project management software they will put. So what happened one day, my boss called me. He said that, look, if you put the finish to start, so any project which are under six months, so for them it is fine because the finish to start basically is creating the longest network path. So that's okay. But if some, if some of the projects are greater than six months, so that will be extended even longer. Okay. So it will create a huge amount of difference. So we will come to that later. So just keep in mind that when you apply the finish to start, it creates the longest project duration. So guys, what is the to total here in this group? Do you read this group total here, finish to start? 24 days. 24 days. You know, it has added the, all the activities duration. So if you add the duration of all the four activities, you will get 24. That's what, what it does here. So it is creating the maximum duration by these activities. Okay. So now guys, tell me, is the finish to start clear to you? I think you can find some examples in your own do domain also. It, it will be very easy for you to find it. But you know, it is the start to start and rest of the three that needs more explanation. So I'll be going to that. So someone was trying to ask me something. I'm just the pausing. Please ask me. No, I was asking that PCC, uh, it has both the relations. Uh, so is that okay? 
so that's fine but we are simplifying the understanding here we don't want to right. go too much deeply into the civil engineering at this point all right right okay so it is just i'm using that as a means to explain you know every engineer might have his own approach to doing the things apart from the finish to start so there might be certain strategy to put some lead or lag time also so that's okay but first thing i'm starting with a simple relationship finish right. so what right. i'm trying to tell you is that in this the finish date is controlling the start date okay so that's what i'm trying to explain you here the finish date of the predecessor is trying to control the start date of the successor so that is the finish to start now guys i will explain to you the start to start so start to start i will explain to you with my example but that example will be removed okay then i would like you to think and come up with your own example so it is like this uh, so i am doing software testing so i write like this and if you are testing a product so guys so what happens after some time you have to fix the defects so after the testing we will do the defect fixing defects fixing now what i do i create a plan like this in which there is two weeks of testing and two weeks of the defect fixing and they are linked up in a finish to start relationship okay so i set up the relationship as the finish to start which is very simple now guys can you please look at the duration here Yes, twelve days plus twelve days is equal to twenty-four days. Now I will tell you, there is a twist here. Now one of my team member is technically very very sharp. So this guy comes up to me. He says that boss, why don't we, why don't we put up the software on a server and both of the person, see there are two person that are going to work. One is the, one is the tester and one is the programmer. So tester is going to test. and programmer is going to do the fixing he says let's do this thing let us put the software on the server so he creates a diagram like this he says look this is the server right so now from the server we connect it to two laptops so one laptop will be used by the uh, one uh, one will be used by the tester and one will be used by the programmer to fix okay so it will be like this so both of them they can see the same code at the same time right so it means as soon as the tester has started to test he can tell the programmer that what is the defect so programmer will fix the de defect and the tester will move to test the other lines of the code right guys is it clear yes so it means that they uh, that the programmer need not wait for the tester to complete his job because the software is not a physical product it can be accessed by two people at the same time but in case of a physical product the the physical product has to be completely tested to be handed over to the next person to fix it right you nobody can fix it un unless and until it is completely tested and handed over with the list of the defects since the since the software is not a physical product it is just lines of code so this can be seen by two people at the same time one person can test and another person can fix so he says that boss please change the relationship to start to start so now uh, the abdul yes sir go go here in the relationship and change the drop down to start to start and see what is the total duration now now guys what is the total duration of the start to start 12 12 so what was the earlier duration 24 okay guys now 24 minus 12 is equal to 12 days saved right guys 12 days saved yes so we can say that 50% time saved yes 50% time is saved right guys yes okay so this is the benefit of start to start okay now i'll tell you that what is further involved in the start to start 
if by any chance if i postpone the software testing see i'll i'll just uh, tell you just watch i'm manually testing the uh, changing the date of the testing okay i'm just using a facility here now guys do you see that as the date changes for the software testing do you see the defect fixing is also moving along yes okay just watch i change the software testing date further down the timeline now guys do you see that it is further going down the defect of the fixing okay do you see see that guys yes sir okay now i am going to further change it i am taking it to the next week monday again it is changing now suppose if i say that software testing okay can start earlier now i am changing for the software testing only okay so i bring the software testing back to the starting point do you see the defect fixing is also coming back to the starting point yes you see that it has automatically come back okay yes. guys i will ask you a question it is about the dependency check now a simple question suppose if i cancel the software uh, can testing can you kindly repeat the previous answer what is to be repeated it's a demo you should have seen it okay actually i am doing all the sir it's a visible thing no it's a visible thing something which is uh, a something which is a picture a moving picture how do i i don't need to explain it i'm no, showing actually, to you actually i am i am doing along with you sir no no you don't do it you first you watch it you understand the concept first of all it is very important that you understand that what is the dynamics of the start to start so what i was demonstrating that if the predecessor is moving forward the successor is also moving with it when the predecessor comes back the successor comes back now now guys i am going to ask you a question dependency check okay this is basically dependent upon your engineering knowledge okay suppose if i am not testing a product if i am not testing a product can i fix the defect no absolutely right so it means i can say that the defect fixing is dependent upon the testing to happen right or wrong guys yes so it means that the fixing the defect fixing is dependent upon the testing to happen if i cancel the testing then i cannot do the defect fixing because only after doing some test i can know what are the defects and after knowing the defects i can do the fixing job right yes. so that is why we set up the relationship guys let me tell you one thing you must ask this question before setting up the start to start relationship do not set up start to start relationship between two seemingly or or technically independent tasks do not set up the relationship many people are doing it simply because you know start to start that does not mean that you will apply the start to start relationship don't do it sir any example sir no here is the example what is this this is the example only okay okay this is the example i asked you the question i asked you is if i cancel testing mm. is it possible to do the fixing you said no no yes so it means that the dependency is there but if the answer is yes if you can do the de defect fixing independent of the testing then do not set up okay. the relationship sure. that's it yes sir that is the example itself this Understood. is called dependency check okay dependency check question must be applied in the finish to start also guys please read read on the top dependency check te check test must must be done before applying any relationship yes right guys yes sir. if it is there if the dependency is there 
then you do it. See, I'll, I'll show it to you. This is applicable in the finish to start also just here. Okay, let me ask you this. Suppose you are a civil engineer. I ask you, can I do the PCC if I cancel the excavation? No. No. Can I do the reinforcement if I don't complete the PCC or don't do it? No, sir. I can't do it. Can I do the shattering if the reinforcement of the structure has not been done? No. No. It means that there is a dependency. Now, where does this knowledge of the dependency come from? Dependency knowledge comes from your engineering knowledge. And many people mistakenly think that I'm going to teach you engineering in the class. No, I'm going to teach you the project management logic and any kind of engineer, engineer can use it. So you can determine the dependency in your engineering domain. I can de determine the, um, the determine the dependency in my engineering domain, right or wrong guys? In our respective domains, using our own engineering knowledge, we can determine the dependency and then we can apply it in the Primavera. So for you, the Primavera will work the same way. It will work for me also the same way. Okay. I only have to understand my dependency. You will have to understand your dependency. Right, guys? Is, is yes. that clear? Yes, yes. So yes. it really does not matter that who is teaching the Primavera. Actually, um, I also learned the Primavera. One guy gave me a demo. So he was a civil engineer. So civil engineers used to basically struggle with the Primavera. They used to know a little bit of bits and parts. They will use to give the training. But what happened that after some time, I was being more proficient in the Microsoft project. So, you know, <clears throat> so using that, I built upon that knowledge to work upon the Primavera. And, and I just went, uh, went out of the rest. And then... Uh, the software uh, companies, they also started to use the Primavera when they had a longer projects, which is greater than three to four years. So which were like integration project, integration projects, like you are doing two things, you are creating the data center and also you are creating the software. Okay. Suppose we are creating only the software, which is under three years, then we use Microsoft project. So which is fast and quick. But if you are doing any project, which is greater than three years, you are also using Prim Primavera. So Primavera is useful in all kind of engineering, but it depends. But definitely Primavera will not be used if you're planning for a movie, right guys? That would be an, uh, that would be the overkill, right? Yes. No, if and I'm planning the movie, TV serial guys, they approach me. I use the Microsoft project, which is good enough. Okay, for that kind of the plan. Okay, now guys, I'm going to remove my example from here. I think I have stimulated your thought process. Now, after removing the, uh, re removing this, after removing my example. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, please think in your domain and bring a good example from your memory. Sir, before going further, uh, I want to share my screen, sir. I was struck in somewhere. Okay, fine. I will help you. So. Yeah, show it to me. Sir, now I was doing along with you, so I, I cannot get back. So how to... Like, when yeah, yeah. So, you know, I actually, I was using the facility of constraint. Okay. So just oh, wait. Actually, when I am going further, you are... Saying, no, I, don't. Uh, just wait. Uh, just wait, wait, wait. Okay. Actually, you don't have to bother about it because uh, teaching the constraint is my next lesson. Now, uh, Kranti, okay, you sir. think of a good example of start to start from your own engineering, from your engineering domain. Think that if you start a particular activity, then it is good to start the successor as, as well. So guys, please think quickly, quickly. Guys, we have to move quickly. We have a time constraint, Bhavi. We can't just wait here and be paused. We have to do something. 
Everybody, please think. See, in every batch, people can think of some start to start. They know. You just have to put it onto the table. Guys, are you listening to me? Yes. Please, are you thinking? Just think of what you would do as a start to start. You have done it. Please recall, guys. Sir, I have one example of this. Mm -hmm. I have one example of this, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. Tell me. I'll uh, write it here. Yeah. Tell me. If my me mechanical equipment drawing, the mechanical drawing is cleared, then mm -hmm. I can start the foundation work of it. And uh, I can also simultaneously start the procurement of it. See, it will be finished to start because if your drawing is not complete, on the basis of in, in, incomplete drawing, drawing which has not been completed and vetted and cross-checked, I'm not sure that you should start uh, any kind of the foundation work on an on the basis of an in, incomplete drawing. Okay. Okay. So that would be finished to start. It is not a start to start. Because if you if you start to build something on the basis of start to start with the drawing, you made a partial drawing and started to build some structure. Suppose if something is not acceptable to the client or it is not matching the industry standards of safety or the functionality, then you'll have to redo the whole structure once again. So you know that will be a very big problem. Sir, from civil engineering point of view, I can say start to start, sir. Hi, huh, yes, of course, you should say from any engineering. Yeah, please give the example Suppose here. Suppose when architectural drawings has been completed, hmm. structural drawings and uh, plumbing drawings both can be started simultaneously, sir. No, when you said you use the word completed. So no, when sir, I'm you saying use the word com completed, it means that it is finished to start. But I am saying three activities. First activity is completed. No, you 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 get rid of the first one. You talk only about the two. Now, what are the two other act activities? Structural drawings and plumbing drawings can be okay. started. Okay. So I think that can be done. I, can, I, I agree with this. See, see, guys, these these can be uh, these uh, can be start to start because see the the plumbing. Just uh, just a moment. Let me correct the spelling. The spelling should be correct. And. Uh, So actually it is taking because the text is too small. Okay, guys. Now it is a start to start relations, structural and plumbing drawings because the plumbing will be going around inside the structure. If you can see the structural drawing, you, you, can, you can map up the plumbing on top of that. But I'll tell you there is a fine tuning here. So I'll tell you, just do, do this thing. Uh, so uh, you go into the detail, you go into the relationship here. I'll just but tell you. Kranti, please go into the relationship tab. Okay. In the in the relationship tab, uh, Kranti, you are here. Uh, Kranti, can you hear my voice and respond to it? Uh, Kranti, can you please? Yes, sir, unmute? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, okay, fine. See, I'll I'll just tell you that what happens. See, you cannot immediately start the plumbing drawing along with the structural drawing. It will be a start to start relationship, but you say that let there be two days of completion of the structural drawing so that you have got a good enough structural drawing to look at and start your plumbing drawings as well. So, you know, you will fine tune the start to start relationship with a, uh, with a lag time. Lag means delay. So you will put a two days delay. So you put here 2D in, into the lag column. So Kranti put here two days into the lag column. Now this is fine. Why? So what I'm trying to say is that if you look at the look at the Gantt chart carefully, so first we let the two days of the structural drawing be completed, and then we do the parallel work. So so guys, do you see the green patch here? The the red patch is the delay. 
So that is the delay. Why are we putting the delay here? So actually it is not the delay. We are letting some part of the structural drawing be completed so that the person making the plumb, plumbing drawing, he has something to look at and do the plumbing drawings. Right guys, is it clear? So, but does that make logical sense? So guys, I have to get a response. Say no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is no say no. Okay. This is math, science and logic. Either it, it has to be mathematically correct, scientifically correct and logically also that should be acceptable or not ac acceptable. Okay. So the logic is that the, the guy making the plumbing drawing needs something to look at. So he won't join the force immediately. Rather, he would start working from Wednesday when two days of the structural drawings are completed. So that will be good enough for him to start his work. Now, guys, please look at the total duration. What is the total? 14. 14 days. Now, had this been finished to start, so what would have been the duration of these two act activities? 24. 24. Now, guys, I'm going to show you the day save. 24 minus 14 is equal to 10 days save. Okay. Now, guys, do you want to see where is the 10 days save? You can see it very clearly right, right in front of you. The four days are saved here and the six days are saved here. Do you see that? Sunday will not be counted because anyways, you are not going to work on Sunday. So you don't save a day on which you don't work. Right, guys? Is it clear? Yes, sir. So the 10 days is saved by this four plus six days of the overlap. So this is how the start to start is creating a, a reduced duration. So start to start is beneficial. So guys, now let me tell you one thing, good piece of advice. Finish to start to uh, finish to start is very easy to apply, but you should look for opportunities to apply either start to start or finish to finish, right? Start to start and finish to finish, they save time. Finish to start is easy. You do it in the beginning of your career when you just start as a project manager. So as you gain more experience, so you might start to realize that, okay, I can do certain, certain things in parallel. But since now you have the complete Primavera knowledge, and the logic behind it. And you should think if, if, if I can uh, apply, if I can uh, apply the either the start to start or the finish to finish logic or not. So is that clear guys? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, Mira, uh, there is a problem with my thing. I don't know. Can you check please? Okay guys. So is this thing clear? Yes. Okay. Now we are going to learn the finish to finish. So I will first give an example of the finish to finish. Then I would like to um, recall from your memory. I am not asking you to do anything new. See guys, you have, you are already exposed to a lot of examples in your own engineering domain. So all you have to do is think logically from my example and then think and recall from your memory. So what you did as a finish to finish, right guys? So I'm going to write the example of the finish to the finish like this. So, you know, I'm doing uh, a software development. Now this activity is around four weeks. So I write here four week, four W and of course it will be translated. I know that it is 24 days. So sometimes I feel like writing weeks. Okay. Now, now there is a uh, person who is writing the user manual. He is technical writer. He comes to me. He is asking me, boss, when I should start writing the user manual? What is asking? When I should start? I tell him, no, no, no. It is not important when you, when you start, your user manual must finish along with the software development. Right, guys? What did I tell him? I told him to finish. I told him it is not his start, which is important, but his finish date is important. Right, guys? Is it clear? So why asking you to do, do like this? See, I'll first re represent it here. Write user manual. So when I write this and uh, so Kranti, you will set up the relationship. So we are going to set up the predecessor for the user manual for the predecessor is software development. 
So you select here software de development and close this box. See, by default, it's going to set up uh, finish to uh, start. You would change it to finish to finish. See, see guys, why I'm asking him to finish? Because you know it very clear. Can I give any product to the user without any manual? Guys, if you buy a washing machine, will it be useful if you don't get the manual? No, sir. If you buy a smart TV, will it be useful if you don't get the manual? You can't use the product fully, right? So that is why if I'm giving the software to the client, I have to give him the user manual also. So I want the manual to be ready when the software is ready. So what is the software? Software is the main product. And this is the accessory. So accessories are better completed along with the main product. Right, guys? Yes, sir. Right, guys, is the picture clear? So that is why in this case, the finish to finish is important. So he says that boss, I need 10 days to write the manual. I said, fine, you take 10 days. So guys, just do this thing, Kranti, just do, do this thing, change the duration to 10 and keep an eye on the start date. Do you see the start date has to be started a little bit uh, earlier? It has pre -pawned, right? Why? Because the finish date can't be changed. Because the finish date is under the control of the predecessor. Okay, this is under the control. Its finish date is under the control of the predecessor like this. Software development says you have to finish on 27. If you need 10 days, then you can start earlier and you can take 10 days, but this 10 days must finish by the 27th May only. You cannot go beyond the 27th May. Why? Because the accessory has to go with the main product. Right, guys? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Accessory has to go with the main product. Right? Yes, sir. That is why. Now, what will happen if you change the date of the, if you change the duration of the software development to 30 days? Change it to 30 days and see that what happens. Now the date of the accessory can change. Okay. If the finish date of the, uh, of the main product changes, only then the finish date of the accessory can change. The successor can change. Otherwise, it can't change. Now change it back to 24 days. Now do you see? It has come back here. So, so this is the finish date and this is the finish date. So this is the finish of pre predecessor. Okay, guys, do you see now the picture is complete? The finish of the predecessor is controlling the finish of the successor here, right? Okay, now guys, I am asking you a dependency check question. Very simple question I'm going to ask you, think. Okay, think logically. I'm I'm canceling software development. Would I still need to write the user manual? No. No. So I can say that uh, the activity user manual is dependent upon the software development to happen in the first place, right? Right, guys? So is yeah. this clear? Uh, Najam, is this clear? Yeah, yeah. Siddesh, is this clear? Majarul? Yeah. Okay. The software development is the main task and the user manual is dependent upon the software development. Uh, so guys, please, guys, please mute, 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 mute your mic, mute your mic, please. See, if the, if the software development is not being done, you wouldn't need to do or you wouldn't need to write the user manual as well. Because the manual has to go with the software. If the software is not going, you wouldn't just waste your time writing a manual. But anyways, can you write manual for something which is not there? No. No, we can't. So that is why the finish to finish is beneficial here. Now, I would like you to think, okay, on this logic and use the same logic to represent 
uh, the finish to finish from your own do domain. Okay, I'm just putting the P and S. So guys quickly think, how would you, uh, what kind of thing you might have done? What kind of activity you might have done in the past project? I think you have done. I'm not asking you to think of anything new. Just recall from your memory any finish to finish that you might have done. It is all already there as part of your experience. Like we, I used to uh, like uh, develop and uh, uh, like erection of plants, manufacturing plants. So like we, we are with the manufacturing plants, we used to uh, hand over the SOPs also. So can we use that? Handover of standard operating manuals. Operating, yeah. So See, as, as soon as the plants are with the client, so yeah. they have the complete handover of the standard operating procedure because when a person is looking at the plant, so he has the entire set of the SOP. Yeah. So it is just like that in any engineering you need. What is a SOP? It is nothing. It, you can say, okay, for the software, just like we have a manual. So okay, for, yeah. for the software also, we can say, what we call as the manual, it is also standard operating procedure of a software. Yeah. Something. So, so here you have the standard operating procedure of a plant. Yeah. And I'm yeah. going to do a de dependency check. Suppose if you cancel the activity erection of manufacturing plants, will, will the client need the SOP? No, it's not even possible for me to make the SOP without the Yeah, plant. because there is nothing to look at. Yeah. First of all, you need to look at some plant to write the standard operating procedure. If the plant is not there, SOP is not there. So yeah. in this case, the dependency <laughs> check is okay. And that is why I'm going to set up the relationship. So here it makes sense. Right, guys? Guys, is this example uh, acceptable to you logically? Yes. Okay, yes. good. Okay. So guys, now let me tell you what is the duration saved. So guys, tell me if these two activities are there, 24 plus 10 days, then what is the total duration? 24 plus 10? Now, what is the current duration in the group, finish to finish group? 24. 24. So, how, how, how many days saved? 10 days. 10 days saved. Ten days. So, guys, do you want me to show you where is the 10 days saved? Okay. See, 4 days are saved here and 6 days are saved here. You, you can do a counting. Do you, do you see that? 4 days are saved in the parallel work here. And six days are saved in the parallel work here. So four plus six equal to 10, which is 10 days saved. And this is the graphical re representation of the proof. This is a proof of the 10 days saved. As you can see, Henry Gant created this wonderful, uh, wonderful, um, you can say graph or chart. So this Gant chart, you know, highly useful. So people used to say mathematically, he, he used to show it uh, pictorially, right? You know, pictorially, it is becoming very, very easy to explain to you also. Okay. So you can see the clearly you can see that there is a parallel. Okay. Parallel activities. So which are being done side by side. So due to which you are saving the 10 days duration. So right guys, is this clear? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to go into the example of the start to finish. So in the start to finish, so you know, there is a situation here. I'll explain to you with a situation to simplify the understanding. Now, to simplify the understanding, I will go into my notes. So in the notes, you know, I'm going to basically tell you about a situation. Okay. So just a moment. So guys, please read this thing. Read this. Three lines. I have to catch a train that departs at 5 p.m. from station. <clears throat> it takes one hour from home to station on the road travel. When should I start from home so as not to miss the train at all? Okay, guys. Now, please answer the question. Think logically and also factor in this fact. It takes one hour. It takes one hour. 
and the train will depart at 5 p.m. So think of it and tell me that when you should start. 4 p.m. Okay, so guys, uh, I'm going to write here 4 p.m. Okay, so I've written here 4 p.m. Just a moment. Okay, so 4 p.m. Now, I start at 4 p.m., but what happens that on the way, the cab driver takes 10 minutes. He takes 10 minutes to, uh, to um, change the tire. Okay, he takes around 10 minutes to change the tire. Now, guys, please think and tell me, can I catch the train? No. No, because I'll be reaching the railway station 10 minutes later than 5. I'll be reaching at 5 10. The train will be gone. Now think of it that you get another chance to do the same thing. Now, now you tell me that what will be your starting time? If such kind of incident can happen, what will be your starting PM. time next time? Hmm? 3.50 p.m. You leave early. Okay, so you will start at, uh, the, at uh, the what time? Like maybe 3.45. Okay. So I started 3.45. Okay. I started 3.45 p.m. from home. Now what happens that on the way, again, this incident happens. 10 minutes to change the tire. Change the flat tire. And then by chance, what happens? There is some, um, some activity on my normal route. 10 minutes are required to change the route. Now, guys, tell me, can I catch the train? No, you're still five minutes late. I'm still five minutes late in catching. So I still miss. So, so I get another chance. Okay, another chance to do the same thing. Now, tell me, at what time would you like to start? And considering all the worst case scenarios. 3.30. Okay, I start at 3, 3.30. Good. So, I start start at 3.30 p.m. Now, what happens when I start on the third time? So, 10 minutes are gone in the tire. And once again, 10 minutes are gone. Reroute. Now, now guys, tell me when I will reach the railway station. When I can reach the railway station? 450. So it means that I can catch the train, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Even if I reach the railway station at 4.58 p.m., I can still get into the last coach of the train. Then I can get to my coach. So that's not a problem. So it means that the train will not wait for me, right? The yeah. train will not wait for me. So what does the train say to me? Train says that, look, The train says to me like this. The train says, look, I'm going to start at 5 p.m. You finish reaching the railway station before I start, right? So it means that the start time of the train is dictating to me my finish time of reaching the railway station. Right or wrong, guys? Yeah. So who is the boss here? Start time of the predecessor? And the 5 p.m. and the date and time of the train is already fixed when you had bought the ticket one month ago, right? So, guys, just imagine that it is not a not a train but a flight, international flight. Guys, have you missed any international flight or any flight at all? Have no. you missed? No. So, because you were concerned that I should be reaching the boarding gate much before much before the takeoff, before the start of the flight. So that is why you planned the timing backwards. So you started from home with a good enough time buffer so that you reach the boarding gate well before the takeoff of the flight. Right, guys? Is it clear? Guys, tell me one thing. Have you missed any exam during your school time or your college time? Have you missed any exam? I'm sure not. No, no. So it means that you were 
very much concerned or very much calculative about the fact if the exam is going to start at 5 p.m. So I should reach the exam hall before that time. So I can sit there and do some re revision. It's okay. But I should be I should be available when the entry to the exam hall starts. Right or wrong, guys? If the entry is closed, if you reach there, if you plead, they won't let you in. You know it very well. Okay. Now I tell you one more situation. Suppose the movie is going to start at 5 p.m. But the movie hall guys, they won't stop you. If you have a valid ticket, they will let you in. Suppose the movie has started at 5 p.m. And you are in your seat at 5.15 p.m. Now, what happens in the movie? So all you are seeing is a lot of action, a lot of gunfight going on between two, between two sides. And you are not able to understand the story because you couldn't see the background. You didn't see the start. What is the synopsis of the movie? Okay, what is the background of the movie? So guys, tell me, if you have not seen the background of the movie, will it be enjoyable? No. No, it will not be. So it means the start to finish is there. You understand it. Okay. Only the thing is that how do we represent it in the Primavera? Maybe you have not had any uh, experience, prior experience to implement it, but now you will. So start to start, you know, it is there when you catch a train. It is there when you catch a flight. It is there when you have uh, taken an exam. It is also there when you are going to watch a movie. So all these date and times are predetermined. So guys, do you determine the uh, flight date and time? No. You select the flight and date and time as per your convenience. But who is determining the flight date and time chart? It is determined and decided by the airlines. For example, uh, for the train, who is it de determining the start date and time? It is determined by the railway board, which is operating the trains. And who is determining the date and time for the movies? It is determined by the movie hall manager. Okay. They determined which movie they are going to screen on which date and at what time. Right, guys? Is, is that clear? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you, are, if you have understood this, let's see that for what reasons we can use the start to finish. Now, let me tell you once again, the start to finish will be used for two re reasons in the project. I'm going to write here re reasons. So one will be like this. Guys, please read what are the reasons that you would be uh, using the start to finish. Please read it. High value resource constraint, special request from client to deliver a component earlier than normal schedule. Yes. And it is not li limited to uh, uh, two only, but you know, these two are very, very common according to my observation. All these years, I've observed that these two are very common and third can be also found out by you. Okay. But these two are very, very common for which now I'm going to give you the representation. How do we do it? Okay. I'll tell you the situation. So, you know, I will use the reason number one. So, uh, high value resource constraint. Okay. See, I'm doing a, I'm uh, doing the, uh, inst uh, the installation or the, uh, or the erection of a mobile tower. Okay, in that tower, most of the things are ready. There is a special activity to be done. Guys, read. What is the special activity? Activate 5G signal. Yeah, this is a very spe special activity because uh, my team members, they are not competent enough to do it. 
and it requires uh, the services of a subject matter expert. Now, the problem is that this subject matter expert is a high value resource. So there is one subject matter expert for five projects in the company. For every five projects, there is only one subject matter expert. So guys, is that clear? Because this subject matter expert salary is a very high salary, you cannot put him into every team. So what the CEO says that, okay, we will have one subject matter expert to take care of five projects. So what do I do? Since I don't have this guy directly in my team, so I call him and I ask him, sir, can you please help me on 1st of May to activate the 5G signal? He says, no, no. He says, I am, I am basically, I can help you on a particular date. So guys, I'm going to mark a date on the timeline. You will have to read the timeline and tell me. Guys, please read this date. Read this date. Start to learn to read the timeline. Read this date. Either you calculate from the, uh, from the front date or you cal calculate from the back date. 19th tell me, of May. Yes, 19th of the May. You can count from 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19th of the May, Friday, he says that I can come. Okay, he gave me an appointment for the 19th May. So guys, the first thing that I need to do, I need to move this task to the 19th of the May, right? Because he gave me that date. Okay, so I have to move this task to that date. So I'm going to use the constraint as a convenience. But our next uh, training, uh, I mean, next lesson in, is on the constraint. So let me do this thing. Let me push it here. So I will use a mandatory start constraint. And he says, I'll be able to start it on the 19. So when I apply the constraint, do you see the activity is moved to the 19? Hmm? Guys, do you see that the activity has moved to the 19? Yes. Okay. And whenever you are applying a constraint on an activity, you should notice that activity, since it is not a naturally calculated date, do you see a star here? So in the primavera, whenever you are applying any constraint, the star is put next to the date. And uh, Abdul, I want to remind you in uh, Microsoft project, there is no star against the date. Rather yes. in the indicator column, there is a calendar icon put there, right? Yes. I, I hope you remember that. But yes. primavera is much, much better. Okay, mm. so, so suppose if the indicator column is not on, so you would not know if the date, which date has a constraint. Here in the Primavera, we say it is an engineer friendly software. Engineer needs to know that which date are having the constraint. So this date, now coming to the main point. Now we ask him that what are the inputs which are to be completed? He says that before I come, you should be ready with the hardware and Hardware firmware and software. So this activity is install hardware, firmware, and software. So guys, is this clear? Install hardware, firmware, and software. Now, how to set this activity in a start to finish relationship? Okay, so it is like this. So uh, Kranti, yes. Kranti, since you're already on the successor, you have to select the predecessor. Come to the relationship. And you click on the uh, assign. Now you have to expand this box because I believe you have not uh, configured it. Just wait. So let me tell you. Now you have to change the font. Please change the font to the Vardana 9. Click on the OK. Now you, you select the activate 5G signal and click on the plus button and click on the cross button to close this box. Close this box, close the box. Okay, now by default it will put FS, you change it to SF. Now you won't put, put it back to back, you would like a three days buffer. So you are going to put three days lead time. Lead means leading, means early. Now in this column, you put here minus three. So guys, what is 19 minus three? 19th of May minus three, three days. Kranti, what is 19th of May minus three, three days? Before, uh, means by 16th, it should be completed. Yeah, 
so we are targeting okay so it should be first completed by 16 but not a problem if by any chance if there is a problem we can complete it by 17 or if we can't then we should be completing it by the evening of 18th because 19th of morning is going to start so the start uh, date i am indicating by the green arrow so guys this green arrow is the friday friday this is the 9 am okay so by maximum so uh, see i'm i'm gi i'm giving practically speaking i'm giving the 6 days here and plus the three days here also. So practically I'm giving total nine days to the six day activity. So three day is the buffer. So here the minus buffer is called the lead time. Lead time is represented by the minus. So lead means leading. Le leading from what? Leading from the start date of the predecessor. Earlier than the predecessor. So guys, why I'm doing this? I'm, I'm going to tell you a situation. I call up the subject matter expert. Suppose if I cannot provide the input you on the 19, so what is the next date you can provide me? He says that I can provide you the next date. My In between my calendars are full. I can provide the next date on 19th of June. So guys, would you like your project to be delayed by or this activity or the project to be delayed by one month? No. No. I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't even like one day of the delay if that can be prevented by, by you. So you will prevent, uh, uh, you, you will prevent uh, what is preventable by you. So definitely the delays are the first thing in the schedule, which is highly preventable by good planning. So which you will prevent. So you say that guys, I'm giving you six full days to do the work plus three days of the buffer. Right guys, it makes sense. So you can finish before he comes because if we cannot start the activity on the 19th, then he is going to give the next appointment on the 19th of June. So that would be quite a delay. So that is why, you know, it is a customary. So I think you understand buffer. If you have not missed a flight, so it means that you were reached a boarding gate must be before the flight. Right, guys? If you have not missed your exam, it means that you have always reached your examination hall much before the start of the exam. Right or wrong, guys? Yeah. Right? So, you know, when you reach earlier, your examination hall, that is called the lead time. Okay? You have always done that. Right? Done or not done? Yeah. If you had not done, you would have missed your exam. Since you have not missed your exam, you created such a schedule for yourself to start from home that you reach the exam hall with a lead time. You have reached the boarding gate of a flight with a lead time. You have reached the railway platform with a lead time. So guys, this is the lead time which is needed in this. It is customary to put some lead time when you have such kind of a planning. So what is the... You, you can write the reason that why did you put the date constraint here so you can select the activity like this, then you can select the notebook. Okay, so you go into the notebook for this act activity and in the notebook, you can write a note. What is the reason for putting this, uh, putting this, uh, okay, so you, you can write here. Okay, is this clear, guys? Due to high value resource constraint. Who is the high value resource? The person who is a subject matter expert who is due to arrive on the 19th. Right, guys? Is this thing clear? Okay, so I'm not asking you for the example. So what I'm saying is that, so guys, do you have an understanding of the finish to start? Sir, I mean, the start to finish? Yes, yeah, sir, I understood. But okay. the same thing we can write in finish to start also, right? With a lag no. of three days something. No, no, Baba. How can... So, guys, you tell me one thing. Just answer me one question. L listen to me. Can you dictate to the airlines to hold the flight be before you come? Okay, okay. Understood, sir. Understood. Okay. Now you tell me another question. Suppose you reach the airport 
Okay, flight is at 5 p.m. You reach the air, you reach the boarding gate at 4:30 p.m. Can you ask the airlines to start the flight since you have come? Yes, sir. Understood, sir. The they will not start earlier. They will not back. even start later. Uh, it is. It is always back. Back. Back flow. It's not. It is back. you. You have to adjust according to the start time. The start time of the flight says you finish reaching the boarding gate before I fly. So you you cannot prepone the flight. You cannot postpone the flight because you cannot prepone the flight because it is a public utility vehicle. Do you un understand? There are many other people. They yes, might be sir. reaching any minute to take. So they will miss their flight. Now for the same reason they cannot delay the flight because again it is a public utility vehicle. Simply because you are delayed, you you cannot delay the others. Do you get the point? Yes, so sir. five p.m. means five p.m. It is because there are uh, another. 399 people besides you, those who are going to take the flight. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Yes. Good. So, guys, now let me tell you one thing from engineer to in engineer. See, guys, these three are based upon engineering process. So, guys, is this clear? Yes, sir. Sir, what is difference between lead and lag time, sir? Yeah. Lag time is here. Lag time is a delay. You introduce a delay. Do you see that but delay here? You, you delayed the start of the successor, isn't it? So, that is a lag. Lag means delay. What is the lead? You started earlier. So, here is the example of lead. Lead means early. Lead means negative lag also. Negative. Uh, lead means lead. Lead doesn't mean negative lag. See, lag okay. is positive number and lead is a minus number. Okay. okay. Yeah, you put in minus 3D so, in the so lag, lag column. Lag means oh. later. It's like this. Lag means you start later. Lead means you start uh, earlier. Okay. So it is like this. Right? Yes, we are reaching the airport earlier than the flight. Right? Is this clear now? Yes, sir. Lead. We are leading the flight time by, we are trying to lead the flight time by one hour. So what does it mean? I am trying to reach the boarding gate one hour before the flight time. Okay. okay. So I am lagging the plumbing drawing by two days to let good enough structural drawings to be created. Right? Do you get the point now? Sir. Okay. So that is the lag. Lag means introduce a little bit of delay or starting the successor activity later. And lead means that you are starting the successor earlier because the output of the successor has go has to go into the, into the predecessor. Predecessor cannot wait. Okay. Flight cannot wait. Train cannot wait. Okay. Exam will not wait for you. Right? And of course, the movie also does not wait for you. But the movie hall managers, they don't stop you from going in. But if you are going in, but you will not be able to understand the story. If you missed a good chunk of it, you may have to watch the same movie once again. Okay. Do you get the point? Okay. So guys, is this clear? The start to finish is clear? And the finish to start, start to start, finish to finish. What did I write for these three? These three are derived from engineering process. And how you will get the start to finish? So, so, so guys, you got to study your contract document. So reason for the start to finish will be these two, right? Okay, is this clear, clear guys? Yes. Start to finish is clear. Okay. Now we will uh, we will go into the next lesson. So that is the constraint. So how to create the next one? So guys, please do control W. So press control W so that you can close this.
sir shall we take a break for 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes yes i think it is it will be a very well deserved break yeah so uh, yes we should take break and uh, we should not be stressing okay so so guys let's take a 20 minutes break okay actually what would be the next lesson sorry i want to ask ah uh, next le lesson here so i'll just tell you see we will go according to the scheduling rule Okay. Now, the next will be date constraints. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, please come to the Primavera and you write here, you create the lesson for and you write here date constraints. Okay, date constraints. So, that is your lesson for. As you can see on the screen, on the de demo screen, you know, date constraints are also a way to fine tune up the schedule. So, the schedule is getting tuned up after the Step number one, schedule is born out of the calendar and schedule is like a child. It is going to the school and college. Okay, so it is getting better and better, fine-tuned. Okay, guys. So I think uh, that we should take a break. Okay. Uh, what I will do that I will switch over to uh, Sandeep. Sandeep, you please share your screen. Sandeep, you please share, share your screen, please. Oh, uh, yeah, fine. Okay, now if you look here carefully, so right now, so oh, we have to create a new lesson, okay? We have to create the uh, lesson, uh, so just a moment so we have to create the lesson date constraints yeah fine so we are into the date constraints only so this is your lesson number four date constraints 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 so date constraint means that limitation of the dates okay so now let us do this thing go to the wbs okay in the wbs you select these wbs 4.1 to 4.4 select all these and then you click on the cross button click on the cross button now click on the okay and on the next screen you pause just pause here now guys i want you to read something here. Can you read this text? This cannot be undone. Yeah. So guys, there are certain things in the Primavera which cannot be undone. So I'm going to sensitize you on this issue because many of the people, they have made mistakes in Primavera. Mistakenly, they deleted the data and they couldn't retrieve it. Okay. Now I will tell you that where you can do undo and where you cannot do undo. Okay, now click on the yes. So when you delete the WBS, it is permanently gone. Now, if you try to do a control Z here, do you get anything back? No, I'm sure no, you are not getting anything back. Now come to the activities. Now guys, do you see all your activities are gone? Why they are gone? Because all those activities were inside the WBS only. So if you delete the WBS, so if you delete the container, the contents, which are the activities, they are also gone, right? Now I'm going to show you something so that you can keep those things in mind and it will be good for you. So you add here 10 activities, click on the add button and you add 10 activities here. 10 activities. Correct. So you have created 10 activities here. Now go to the first one and one by one you delete all the activities one by one. Click on the delete, confirm yes, delete, go to the next and delete. Is it done? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, guys. See, right now the screen is absolutely blank. All the activities are gone. But here, Primavera is not so bad. If you now do Control Z ten times, you say Control Z one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when you reach a count of ten, you stop. When you see A one thousand, you stop. Do it once more. Okay, that's it. So, guys, now let me tell you. This is the only place where you can undo. You cannot undo projects. You cannot undo resources. You cannot undo WBS. Okay. Now, what happens? Why I am doing it? Because I have come to know from many of my students, those who have done training in many other places, what happened? The trainer showed them that you can undo an activity, and he left them there. You know what is the danger in the half knowledge? now those guys went ahead and deleted the wbs and thinking if by chance if they delete it they can get it back but when they deleted project they couldn't get it back they deleted the wbs they couldn't get it back they deleted the resource they could not get it back prima vera is basically entrusted to responsible people so if you delete something everything cannot be undeleted here only in the act activities you can undelete okay just keep this thing in mind so guys is this point clear to you yeah okay so in anything else if you de delete anything else in primavera so that will be permanently gone now what do you do after you have uh, brought back your these activities now place your cursor on the last one and in the same series you add uh, say uh, six more activities you add here you should have a total of approximately 16 to 18 ac activities okay so guys you have that many ac activities on the screen yeah okay good now we are going to learn the date constraints so we are going to create uh, 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 i mean groups for them so please go into the wbs tab here click on the wbs okay now one of the most uh, useful date constraint is start on or after so what do you do keeping the group this parent group as selected click on this add and you write the wbs name as okay you write here start on or after this is a date constraint it this is a situation start on or after okay yes good now you select the parent then you click on the add and then you change the name here after a blank row comes up click on the add button on the right side now in the wbs name you write finish on or before okay and then once again you place it on the date constraint and then you click on the add button and you write here the date constraint name and write the date constant name as mandatory finish mandatory finish m a a m a n d a d a t o r y mandatory finish mandatory means compulsory okay compulsory finish i think uh, since your screen has space let me increase the font size okay so uh, i think uh, on your screen so 10 size will be useful yeah right so now it is easy to read now once again take your cursor to the parent here and then you write here the i mean you create another row another wbs you create now in the wbs name you write here mm, Uh, as late as possible as late as possible
Okay, then you place your cursor on the parent. And once again, you add a constraint. Now this constraint is named as primary and secondary constraint. Primary and secondary constraint. And secondary Servo, uh, I don't think we can write that much. So I have to change the number uh, of... Number of what? Number of alphabets, I think. Sir? I... No, you, you stretch it. No, no, it is stretching, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, wait. No, no, actually, it is not visible on the screen, but, you know, there is good enough space. See, you just shift the column boundary, and uh, it has got uh, sufficient enough space. It has got 255 character space. So that is good enough to but write. Not, for me, it's not writing. Uh, it's not completing. No, no. You stretch the boundary. No, Baba, look yeah, I it. did. I did. I stretched it. I stretched it. I stretched it. I stretched it. But Okay. So something new has happened. Okay. Let's see. Interesting to know. So. So that uh, actually these WPS, whatever I created, right? 4.1, 4.2. Nee, so you are writing in the wrong place, na? Aapko code mein thode na dalna hai, yar. Yahan nahi dalna hai. Yahan to numbering apne aap ye create karta hai. Yahan pe to wo one one dal raha tha, apne usko overwrite kar diya. Yahan pe one rahega. Naam aayega yahan pe. Oh, abe galat jagah dal diye. Sorry, sorry. Main ye sahi karta hoon. Aap ek aap ek kam karo. Yahan se cut ke yahan dalo. Yahan pe dalo. काटो इसे काटो नहीं कट पेस्ट करो इसे कट करो यहां पे नंबर 2 लिख दो पहले कंट्रोल एक्स करो फिर नंबर 2 लिख दो यहां पे अब यहां पे लिख दो नंबर 2 और राइट साइड में चले जाओ नेम में ओके okay. और यहां पे पेस्ट कर दो हां सही है आह खैर मैं कर लूंगा सर मैं मैं बंद करूंगा करो करो मैं यहीं पे रहूंगा आपकी स्क्रीन पे कोई दिक्कत नहीं है आप करो एक ही बात है मैं तो सबकी स्क्रीन पे जाता हूं मैं यहां पे मेरे लिए सबकी ट्रेनिंग जो है पर्सन उसमें पहले पेस्ट करो रुक जा रुक जा रुक जा वो पेस्ट पे वो करो ना जो आपके जो क्लिपबोर्ड में जो कंटेंट है एक मिनट रुको एक मिनट रुक जाओ एक मिनट रुक जाओ यहां पे पहले इसको करो पेस्ट जो क्लिपबोर्ड में जो कंटेंट आपने कट किया ना इसको पहले यहां पे डंप करो इसको पहले मिटाओ 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 इसको कंट्रोल वी यहां पे करो कंट्रोल हां primary नहीं primary and secondary नहीं रुक जाओ मैं आपको बताता हूँ finish honor भी हो यहाँ पे है mandatory finish रुक जाओ मैं मैं लिख देता हूँ mandatory finish mandatory finish okay हाँ अब इसको select करो copy करूँ ना इसको एक मिनट रुको जरा sequence जो है ये गलत हो रहा है रुक जा रुक जा रुक जा रुक जा sequence हो गया गलत so इसमें क्या क्या होगा कि एक मिनट रुको ऊपर नीचे हो गए नहीं नहीं ऊपर नीचे नहीं ये as late as possible एक मिनट रुको आ आप एक काम करो रुक जाओ आ बसंती पे अपनी स्क्रीन शेयर भी करना जरा आप एक काम करो इनकी स्क्रीन से देख के ना फटाफट ठीक कर लेता हूँ हाँ हाँ मैं कर लेता हूँ ना वो ज़्यादा बढ़िया रहेग देख लो ये 4.1 क्या है सही है मैं इसलिए चाहता हूं कि ना कि सबकी स्क्रीन एक सी रहे ताकि किसी को ना मतलब ढूंढना ना पड़े मतलब वन शुड नॉट बी कंफ्यूज्ड व्हेन लुकिंग एट द डेमो ऑन हिज ओन स्क्रीन सो एवरीबॉडी शुड शुड फाइंड द सेम बटंस इन द सेम प्लेस एंड द सेम आइटम द सेम प्लेस सो दैट मेक्स द ट्रेनिंग इजीयर
हो गया सर ठीक है ओके गुड अच्छा नाउ कम टू दी एक्टिविटी स्टेप गो इन टू दी एक्टिविटी स्टेप now you select first two activities cut them and put them into 4.1 put two activities into 4.1 put two activities in the 4.2 now put eight activities in the 4.3 eight in 4.3 now put one activity in 4.4 only one now put two activities in 4.5 now delete the rest on the top as on the demo screen so demo screen is so in case you have run out of activities you can insert okay so that's not a problem so guys just look at the demo screen so this is the raw data upon which we are going to work and understand further fine tuning of the schedule the schedule is fine tuned by the date constraints okay right guys so date constraints is another technique by which the schedule is getting a finishing touch okay schedule is not final if it is created by the calendar the schedule should have Uh, some lead and lag. It should have. It should have the relationships and dependencies applied. Okay, so schedule is uh, tuned by the holidays, non-working days. Okay, then schedule is tuned up by another thing which is called date constraint. So date constraint means limitation of the date. Resource constraint means limitation of resource constraint. Budget const budgetary constraint means limitation of money. So guys, the project manager has to plan. within the limitations of many many things so so one of the constraint that a project manager faces is date constraint so this is also due to the situation with the resource okay now sandeep just do this thing you write here task okay in the first row you write task and you fill down and what do you do fill down up to the bottom so guys i am sure you find this fill down is very useful right okay okay and some people say oh it is like excel <laughs> actually it is not like excel excel see primavera has been around since uh, 1983 but you know those were not character based but whatever you are seeing in excel or some other software many of the, these things were already exist in pre existing in primavera but uh, somehow the oracle company has not released any macintosh version even the microsoft office microsoft project they are uh, available for the mac version also okay but the uh, but uh, the office version from the microsoft is not there for the linux version but primavera is there for the linux version right okay so keeping that information aside you make this as task 1 and the next one as task 2 you rename it as one you write one after yes and then you rename the next one as task 2 you write it two after this now you you select from the top to bottom like this you come down and then right click you select the task 1 and task 2 yes right click and link because you know why i am asking you you asking you to use the link activities option because it is the simplest way the easiest way and the fastest way to establish finish to start relationship right guys is this clear it yeah. is the simplest and the easiest way to establish the finish to start relationship so you know why the oracle has provided the link activity is because the finish to start being the most common relationship so it is saving you time if you use the link activity option okay but if you want to change the relationship you can go into the relationship detail 
and you can switch from the finish to start to any other rig. So right now we need it like this. Now I planned, I'm planning a new project. So you can clearly see that in the new project, my task two is going to start on the 8th of the May. Do you see that 8th of the May? Because it is the next working day after the 6th. Now what happened that uh, there is a guy who is uh, the working on the task two, but he is engaged in some, some other project. So he has seen the plan on the, uh, I mean, on the networked environment. Okay, so as soon as I assigned his name, he got a mail and then he came to see me. He said, boss, uh, actually, I want to tell you something. I've seen that you have assigned me on this project on the 8th of May. But, you know, during this period, I'm on leave. So I'm going to mark his pe period of leave. He's on leave. Okay, so he's going to join on which date he's going to join? Look at the green arrow. Which date, date is that? 20, 20, 23rd of May. 23rd of May. I'm asking you the date. Okay, you should Sorry. be able to read the time scale now. Okay, develop that uh, skill. Okay, how mm -hmm. to read the time scale. So you should immediately be able to read. Okay, so if, if I say like this, uh, if, if I say, read me the date. What is the date? If I'm pointing to this one, which date is this? First. First of uh, June. June. First of June. Yes, correct. Okay. I'll I'll tell you. See, this is the 29 May, 30 mm. May, mm. 31st May, and the next one is the first one, first of June. Or yeah. you read it backward. This is the 5th of June, and you count backward. This is the first of June. So guys, it is a very important skill to be able to read the time scale, right? Okay, fine. Now, coming back to the main point. So he says that uh, I would be joining the company. I would be joining the office from this date onwards. I am available. Guys, do you see the green patch? Hmm? Yes. Yes. So he is uh, he is uh, available. Actually, he is not available up to actually up to this date. He is not available. Guys, do you see the red patch? So he is going to join on the Tuesday morning. That is the twenty third of May. So, and I find that it is not useful to take another person in my project just for a short duration of his leave. So he would be available available to me after. Let's say after say 13 days, 13 of the working days, I have to wait. Now, what happens in IT industry? I'll tell you that what is the problem. So his activity is going to last one month. So if a person has to work for one month, I have to do a lot of uh, download of information to him. So guys, will it be useful that I spend three hours downloading an in information on a person use him for 10 days and then release him. But whereas uh, the original work is supposed to be for a, a couple of months. Tell me guys, will that be worth it? No. No, it will not be worth it. So it is better that I wait for him. So what I need to do, I need to push his activity, okay, using the date constraint to the 23rd of May. I push the start date using the date constraints. Guys, do you read the name? D does it make sense? It says start on or after. Now do you see the, what is the meaning? Start on the 23rd of May or after the 23rd of May. It makes sense now? Yes. That is the tuning we have to do on the task two because the person who is going to work on the task two he is going to be joining on the 23rd onwards. So I say start on 23rd or after the 23rd. So anytime is activity, which is the task two can be started. But how to apply the constraint? That's why that's what we are going to learn here. Okay. And what are the best practices of applying the constraint? Right. Okay. Now, what I want you guys to do, guys, you everybody please select the task two here on your screen. 
and then you open the details of the task. Okay, guys. So, guys, you are into the details window. Do you see the details window here? Okay. So, in the detail window for the task to go to the status tab. Open the status tab. So, in the status tab, I want you to see there is a constraint block. Do you see this guy? A constraint block is there. Hmm? Yeah. Constraint block is there, right? Now, you will select the constraint for which uh, this constraint start on, on or after. You will find it in the list below. To scroll down, you will be able to find it. Start on or after. So after you have selected the constraint, and you will select the date, which date 23rd of the May will be the constraint start date. So select 23rd May and click on the select button. Guys, do you see his activity has been shifted? See, do you see yeah. that his act activity has been shifted to the 23rd of the May? Yeah. And as you have applied the constraint on the start date, do you see there is a star? There is a star on the start date. Do you see that star? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, I want you to notice two things. See, do you see this thick black line? There is a yeah. thick black line here. Actually, this is not the relationship line. Actually, this is the float line which has been created due to forcibly pushing away the successor. So, you have forcibly pushed away the successor. So what is the amount of the float has been created? So guys, please read. Do you see it is written 13 days float has been created. So how come there is 13 days? Six days you count here, correct? Six days of the float is here and one day of the float is here. Do you see? There are 13 spare days between the task one and task two. Why do I call them spared? Because if they were not spare, they wouldn't. See, normally between the finish to start, is there any gap? No, there is no gap. Always the successor would start immediately as soon as the predecessor finished. Right, guys? Is this clear? So, if you look ca carefully here, so it is 6 plus 6 plus 1, 13. Now, guys, I want you to notice something more. Do you see the dotted line here? It is looking like a dashed line, dash, dash, dash. You see that? That is act actually the relationship line. And relationship line usually is in solid um, uh, solid looks. But why it is looking like dash? Because you know you have stretched it by pushing it away using the constraint. So this is your relationship line. And on top of it, what you are seeing, this oh, black yeah. bar is the float bar. So relationship wali line jo hoti hai, wo dotted hi hoti hai na usually? Nahin. Dotted Nahin, line. Vaise, vaise uska jo term hai, wo dotted hi hai. Vaise nazar nahi aata, magar vaise nahin, dotted. Nahin, 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 nahin. Dotted nahi hoti hai. Dekho, main dikha toh abhi. Aapne achcha sawal ki hai. Bahut hi achcha sawal ki hai. I like uh, that you have asked it. Dekho dhyan se. Dhyan se dekho. Dot hai kahin pe? Nahin. अच्छा देखो मैं काम करता हूं इसको ना थोड़ा सा मैं धक्का मार दूं आप ये सोच रहे हो शायद वो संडे पे है शायद इसलिए नहीं होगा देखो कहीं पर भी नहीं होगा हां नहीं हो रहा है ना वो कब होगा जब इसमें कंस्टेंट जब इसमें कंस्टेंट है पता क्या हो रहा है कंस्टेंट में क्या हो रहा है हम इसको ना खींच के इसको धक्का मार रहे हम इसको ये जो एक्टिविटी जो टास्क हुआ है इसको फोर्सिबली आगे धक्का मार रहे हैं तो जब इन दोनों के बीच में अगर ये जो तार है टास्क 1 और 2 के बीच में जो तार जो है लगी हुई है अगर मैं टास्क 2 को खींच के ले ले जाऊंगा तो ये तार खींच जाएगी और इसके ऊपर डैश डैश डॉट डॉट आ जाएगा सॉरी गाइस एक्चुअली सम पीपल दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्विच बैक टू इंग्लिश सो व्हेन आई एम गोइंग टू फोर्सिबली टेक अवे द टास्क 2 फ्रॉम द टास्क 1 इट इज गोइंग टू create the dot pattern right so that is why that is the utility of the constraint okay now uh, sandeep please reapply the constraint again no, sir. Uh, i'm not able to find the relationship line in my uh, 
in my const in my uh, schedule sir yeah so guys yeah. i'm i'm going to show show you something why because there is a bug in the primavera it's good that it has happened right now the bug comes up so it is good it Shari, has happened share the screen share the screen sir no 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 you share the screen i will show the bug i'll i'll tell you how to fix this bug yeah see guys what is happening that on a screen the the relationship line is missing do you see that the relationship line is mi missing yeah start showing actually you know it is due to some bug in the software i'll tell you how you can get the relationship line back see if you are missing the relationship line just do one thing first you click on this uh, uh, table button to switch off the gantt chart see gantt chart is gone yes now when the gantt chart comes back again it will be refreshed now click on the gantt chart yes it now it is come back yes, so sir. you have done nothing wrong yes. and you have done nothing right also <laughs> <laughs> you have done nothing at all <laughs> you just switch off the gantt chart you just switch off the gantt <laughs> so you know this is not written in the oracle manual because they don't know their bugs but the su super users they know that it is a bug okay it is <laughs> it is not your problem actually it is the software problem so what do i tell people just you switch off the gantt chart and switch on the gantt chart and it is going to come back right guys is it clear yes yeah okay so i'm going to stay here for for a while so that's okay so i go from screen to screen so i'm i'll be staying here on your screen for a while so basically now we are trying to understand that what is the dynamics of the uh, start on or after now why would, would i do it because this person came to me he told me that he is going to join on the 23rd so guys whenever you put a constraint you have to explain the constraint with a notebook because the constraint does not come naturally did it come naturally no it does it doesn't come by in any natural calculation so it is put by you so guys have you seen that in, when you are reading a book if some star is there against a certain word the meaning of the word is explained in the footnote yes you must have noted in engineering books especially engineering books are full of footnotes have you seen that mm. okay i'm sure you must have read many engineering books and you must have read many footnotes explained with the star similarly you have to explain this star with a customary notebook so please come to the notebook in the notebook you click on the add and you select the constraint here after selecting constraint click on the plus button and then you close this toolbox click on the cross button okay now we are going to write the reason for putting in the constraint click on the modify and it will open the notepad so in the notepad you write the resource assigned on task 2 see guys when you are writing the notes do you see on the top that what is it do you see, read on the top what is the task topic to yes you are writing the uh, constraint note for the task 2 now you write here resource assigned to no 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 resource assigned to task 2 resource assigned to task 2 would be available would be available from 23rd may onwards so that explains the reason of the constraint ये जो नोट्स होता है हम जब भी ना जब भी बड़ा नोट डालते है ना तो हम लोग क्या करते हैं कि वर्ड में डाल के 
पहले एडिट करते क्योंकि ना यहाँ पे ज्यादा एडिटिंग फैसिलिटी नहीं मिलती है नहीं मिलती लाइन का कुछ डालना है तो डाल दिया फटाफट नहीं तो हम लोग क्या करते हैं कि वर्ड में लिख लेते हैं एक पेज का उसको साफ साफ सुथरा करके ठीक ठाक करके फिर यहाँ पेस्ट मार देते हैं ठीक है इनफेक्ट हम मेल में भी यही करते हैं अगर कोई ऑफिशियली मेल भेजनी होती है कुछ लोगों की क्या होती है आदत मैं आपको बताता हूँ क्या क्या गलती हो जाती है मान लो आप लिख रहे हो अभी पूरा लिखा नहीं है पीछे से कोई आया हाथ लग गया और वो जो है वो सेंड का बटन जो है वो दबे और मेल चलेगी क्लाइंट के पास वो आधी मेल सही है चलो ये तो आजकल जो है मतलब माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वालों ने फैसिलिटी डाली हुई है कि आप उसको रिकॉल कर सकते हो पांच मिनट के अंदर है ना वो इनबॉक्स से भी वो डिलीट हो जाती है जैसे आजकल होता है ना कि डिलीट फॉर एवरीवन आ गया तो व्हाट्सएप में ठीक है हमारे तो बड़े बुढ़े कह गए हैं कि मुंह से निकला हुआ शब्द जो है एक बान की तरह होता है जो वापस <laughs> नहीं आता नहीं आता <laughs> लेकिन फिर भी सॉफ्टवेयर वालों ने फिर फिर भी दया करी है इंसानियत पे की व्हाट्सएप का मैसेज आप ले सकते हो वापस ई का मैसेज भी वापस ले सकते हो लेकिन मेरा कहना ये है कि आप एक काम करो एक प्राइवेट जो है वो जगह पे लिखो प्राइवेट जगह है वर्ड 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 में पहले लिखो साफ सुथरा करो अपने बॉस को दिखाओ बॉस ये भेज दू क्लाइंट को बॉस कहेंगे हाँ बेटा सही है भेज तो सही तब है उसको आउटलुक में डालो तब भेजो ये मैं इसलिए समझा रहा हूँ कि आप लोग ना प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर हो आप लोगों को आ, आगे बहुत कम्युनिकेशन करना है तो ये प्राइमा वेरा भी एक कम्युनिकेशन का जरिया है आप कम्युनिकेट कर रहे हो ना अपना आइडिया भी किस तरीके से काम करोगे आप किस सिक्वेंस में काम होगा कौन सा काम आगे होगा कौन सा पीछे होगा कौन सा रिसोर्स आ रहा है कौन सा नहीं आ रहा है अभी आप वही आप यहाँ पे वो लिख रहे हो कि भाई ये टास्क टू को आपने खिसकाया क्यों है तो गाइस इफ इफ समवन सी इफ समवन इज सीइंग द कंस्टेंट एंड सीइंग दैट द टास्क टू हैज बीन फोर्सिबली स्लेड अवे सो ही कैन रीड द रीजन एंड ही विल बी कन्विंस्ड एंड ही विल नॉट ट्राई टू चेंज इट राइट अदरवाइज इफ एनी अदर प्रोजेक्ट द पर्सन इज इज गोइंग टू यूज इट so he 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 will be confused and he, he, he might even remove it okay and this will the the node will only show in the node bar right ha huh, so if if someone is seeing a constant and he is sensible enough definitely yeah. if someone is saying see if i'm if i'm here in the general now i have not created the plan the plan has been created by you i know that a good person a good person who is following the norms so if he is putting a constraint definitely i will be curious to see what is the reason so the reasons will be find in the notebook so yeah. if i expand the notebook you know i will find that constraint and this if the person yeah. is see <laughs> is not the following the convention then he might not put the footnote or note or you know that is a bad thing to do Yeah. So you know, whenever you are doing engineering things, so you must label. You must put proper label on the diagrams, right? So yeah. engineers they do it. They do it at least in the US because you know they are following the work culture of the documentation. In the Indian yeah. subcontinent, we are not following the documentation. We are very badly lagging on the documentation due documentation. to which what happens despite a good plan is passing from hand to hand. Uh, the other person is not able to grasp it completely. I'm I'm not saying he is not able to grasp it. He is not able to grasp it completely. He might work with some guesswork, but you know, if you write some note, so the guesswork much easier. Much easier. Work is skilled. See, the, uh, what is the importance of the notes? See, there are three items which are there in the kitchen, which look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. See, there are three items which look exactly the same. If you keep them in the bottle, and you look at them at a distance of even three feet, you will find they all look the same: salt, baking soda, and glucose. Right? Yeah. So, guys, if they are not la labeled, if you put the glucose in in the in place of the salt, and you put salt in the place of the glucose, and you put the baking soda in place of the, <laughs> if you put salt in place of the baking soda, you can see what kind of disaster. Mat wali chai ban jayi or meetha meethi kadai ban jayi. Ah yes. So you know that is why you know this is a very simple situation. Can you just imagine you are doing large engineering project and there is no notes? So can you just imagine the disaster waiting to ha happen if some person is working with the assumptions 
So some person will assume this uh, crane is having a capacity of uh, uh, 30 tons, whereas it has a documented uh, capacity of 25 tons only and is putting a load of uh, 30 tons on that. You know, so disaster can happen if you are not having the proper notes or documentation in the project. So you must inculcate a inculcate the process of putting the proper notes and documentation in yourself. Don't wait for someone to tell you uh, that become disciplined, become organized. Okay, you become disciplined and organized yourself. The person around you will get some feeling. Okay, oh, you know, this person is so disciplined, organized, and this person is getting the results right. They will try to emulate your good, uh, good practices. Okay. Okay, now let us try to understand the dynamics. See, when I increase the duration of the task one to two weeks, just see that what happens. Increase it to two weeks. So what this task will do, this will increase in the duration, but it will only consume the float, but it will not push the task two. So make the duration of task one as two weeks. So guys, do you see the float has been consumed by six days? But the but it will not push the task two yet because the task two will be pushed when the float is consumed completely. Now to completely consume the float, put the duration here as uh, uh, 19 days and it will become a critical path because the float is now zero. Do you see now float is now zero? Yeah. Yes. So still it is not pushing the task two, but... Now the person is joined. See this person, why, why did we put the constraint? Because the person assigned on the task two, he is going to join on the Tuesday onwards, right? Now, if you increase the duration of the task one to four weeks and see that what happens? You increase it to four, four weeks and see. Do you see that now it is going end to end? Yes. Yeah. Because in, in the green portion, the person two, I mean assigned on the person assigned on task two, or more generically speaking, a resource assigned on the task two is a, a, available. See, on the on the notebook, I have not asked you to write human resource. It could be machine resource also. Suppose the person is available, but the machine is not available. The machine will be will be provided to you on the 22nd, right? So it could be for the reasons of the machine resource also it could be also for the reasons of material resource suppose if it is a rare kind of a material and it was not possible to procure it before the start of the project huh? man is there sir, machine is there sir when it is increased to four weeks huh. but the task to constraint should be on 23rd only right no no it is start on or after so Read, also change. perceive the meaning Start on 23 or after because the person has joined from 23 there onwards. There is no point of having star mark, right? That's what I'm. No, no. Star mark will be there. I, I'll tell you why the star mark is useful. See, now, now reduce the duration of task one to just six days. Just do, do this thing. Now, where is the task two? Where is the task two? No, it's okay, sir. See, no. normally the task two should be back to back, right? Is this clear? But it yeah. does not come back to back. So that is why the star mark is useful to tell the world in general. See, normally we are not going to push it. I'm just giving you a demo. Normally it is going to stay like this only. Okay. So why I'm going to give you the demo? Because you have to understand as long as the task one is expanding, so it is going to push the task two only if it is consuming the float. But if it is not consuming the float, if it is much behind the constraint date of the task two, but the task two is going to stay at its own boundary. It will not come because the resource is not available. Okay. So let me put a double color here. Green is here already. So to explain it much more clearly, the person is on the leave during this period. Right. Is it clear? Yeah. During the red period, he's on leave. He's, uh, he's uh, going to join on 23rd and onward. So that's why we say start on 23rd or after 23rd, any date. It is for this reason 
that it is for this re 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 reason that you have to basically apply the constraint because the task two cannot start back to back with task one because of the resource date constraint. So guys, is this clear? Start yeah. on or after you, you can use it if you come across any similar situation. Okay. Okay. Now I'll explain to you the finish honor before. Now you name it as the three and the next one as four. Task three and task four. Yeah, so once again, you set up the finish to start relationship using the link activities option. Uh, you select task three and task four and right click and link them. No, you link from there, there only. Yeah, you right click here and select the link. Yes. I link the number, sir. Does no, it no. change? Click on, click, see, Abdul, click on the link. Yeah. Okay. So when you use the link activity, it always establishes the finish to start. Now I'll tell you the story behind it. See, guys, what happens? There is a person who is assigned on the task four. Okay. Now this person comes to me. He says, boss, I've seen the plan. So in this plan, I've been assigned the task four. So I have to tell you an important fact. He says that I am working with the organization till the till this date because I have a contract which expires on this date. So guys, what is this date? Read the timeline. Um, 20. 20 yes. of May. Yes, 20th of May, 6 p.m. Okay, he says that if you assign me the task four, make sure that the task four can be finished on or be, be, before 20th of May. Now, guys, do you see the meaning of the meaning of the constraint be become clear? Yes, sir. My activity should finish on or before 20th of May. I have a date constraint. Okay, because of my contract with the company. But my duration should be given six days only. I will not take any less duration. Have you understood the point? Yes. yes. Now, do you see that he has got a float here? His activity has got a float here going up to the finish date. So guys, you should notice that after I have, you know, after I, I apply the constraint, so this extra float will di disappear. Th this will be gone because his uh, last date of the work. So that's his boundary. Yeah. Okay. So this boundary line is here. So it means that after this date, so he's not available, not available. So any work which I want uh, to get done by him, so that should be done in the green portion, right? But also no, but he he want, he can only work for six days also, right? Uh, he says, no, I please do not squeeze my duration. Make sure that any predecessor which is pushing me pushing my activity, that predecessor should be adjusted because I need for the purposes of quality, I require my full six days. Okay. I need six days and my last day is to this company is to work with this company is to work with this company. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Now we, now we will set up the constraints. So guys, whenever we set up the finished constraint, then it becomes useful to switch on the time format. So to switch on the time format, you have to again click on the user preference because it is an individual user preference. Now to show the time, you have to go into the dates and then you have to select the 12 hour format. Now click on the close. Okay. Okay. Now let us expand the finish date column. So guys, do you see the time format has come? Yeah. Okay. Now you select the task four. After selecting the task four, you go to the status. Come to the status tab. 
good now yes, to show a little bit more detail so on this screen so we will create a little bit of space here so what do we do so we select the task force and then we shift this thing up so guys can you see the constraint now yeah okay see the constraint is here so in this we will, apply, we will apply the constraint here you select the constraint name finish on or before now what is the deadline which was given by him 20. the deadline is 20th of may 6 pm yeah. so you select 20th of may 6 pm as his finish deadline means is the constraint deadline or the or or the availability deadline Okay, now guys, I want you to notice something. As soon as you put the constraint, do you see that it comes here? Yes. And the float has been trimmed down? Yes. Float has been trimmed. It has been shaved off. Yes. If, if you say in engineering term, it has been shaved off. Yes. Okay, just like we trim any component using a lathe machine. Okay, right. So then finish. So guys, when you apply the finish constraint, do you see this star here? Yes. Because it is the finish date which we are constraining or restraining. So the star is shown on the finish date. Now, why did we put, put the constraint? So we have to write a notebook. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we select the re reason because, you know, Primavera is a very disciplined software. You just can't put a note without first selecting the reason. So now you click on the modify. Okay. Now you write the lease date, the lease date, L E A S E, lease date of the resource applied on of the resource applied on task four. is ending on twentieth May six PM. Twentieth May six PM. And a full stop then you write further. So the network path must be finished. So all activities, so all activities on this network path on this network path must be finished by the same date must be finished by the same date which date 20th of may 6 pm right guys is it clear yeah so you have to write so it is not necessary that you will plan and execute you might be planning manager and there will be site engineers, they will execute it. So they should be uh, very ha happy to use your plan. They will say yes. So, you know, once you create a plan, there should not be need for any person to come and meet and ask you. Right? Yeah. The documentation should talk on your behalf. It is better to create a document and give it to the people. So guys, do you remember that when you first inquired with me, I shared with you a P PDF file. Yeah. So, you know, in that PDF file, uh, I gave you all the answers before you could ask them that what is the duration of the course? What is the detail of the course? What is included in the course? And what is the benefit? I explained everything, yeah. right? Yeah. So I documented all your would-be questions that might come in your mind. So through that document, I can talk to 25 people in a day. So 25 people in a day are inquiring can I talk to 25 people all at once or at different times of the day? That won't be productive, right? So it is useful to always write a document in your professional activities and let the document speak consistently, right? 
because the document once created well, it will say the same language each time you share, right? Wordings to change nahi honge na? Nahi. Na? So, you know, you are speaking the same thing to 25 people and if 25 people are good enough to interpret the language, so they will understand it in the same way only. There will be no confusion at all. So documentation, doing documentation is good. Okay. So here, so what is the documentation? So if someone is looking at the constraint, so he can read the reason. The lease date, lease date. Actually, it is not the least date, but the lease. Lease means the date till which you have agreed to use and return the resource. So that resource could be man resource, could be machine resource. Okay. Now, I will show you that what is going to happen if I try to push it. Normally, we are not going to push it. We we can we will have to leave it anyway. Okay. Now, guys, uh, I will show you the float column. Guys, what is the float column saying here? Six days. Six days. So, you can clearly see the six days are here. Guys, do you see the six days are here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, we will do an experiment. So, use the task three and increase the duration to 10 days. Okay. Sir, for increase me, the float is only five days now. Haan, koi baat nahi, time nahi dala na, 6 p.m. Isle wo bhai wara, thoda aage bhi ho gaya. Abhi, right now, what you do, you look at the demo, then I will help you fix it. Now, guys, what do you see? Float has been reduced to two. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now, task three duration, you change it to 12. You will see the float will become zero and this path will become critical path. Now, even though this is not the longest path in the network diagram, okay, in the project, this is not the longest path, but this path is still being shown as the critical Y because Delay this path this activity leads to float became zero. Huh, because, you know, this activity has its own finish date. This network path is having its own finish date, which is ending on 20th of May and it is touching the 20th of May. Now there is no gap from its own finish date because its own finish date is on the 20th. Why its finish date is the 20th? Because we have applied a stopper, stopper, constraint. So what we call as a stopper, no? Yeah. So because of this constraint, so you know, it is touching the constraint date. So that is why the difference uh, between the stopper and the activity is zero. So that is why it has become a, it, it has a big, become a, a zero float uh, network path critical. and it has become critical. So now, guys, I, I want to show you something more. So you go to the task three duration and change it to 16 and see that what happens on the screen. So you are going to learn something which is called the negative float. Now, guys, please look at the float uh, float column. So what do you see? Minus, Minus 40. Four Minus 40. And if you understand, logically, it's very simple. Why it is showing you the minus 4? See, guys, you have to understand one thing. See, what is the fi finish date? L look at this. The finish date was uh, 20th. Yeah. Okay. And you have exceeded the 20th by four working days. See, this is the Monday is the minus one. Tuesday is the minus two. Wednesday is the minus three. And Thursday is the minus four. Do you see that? Yeah. That is why the software, see, Sunday will not be counted because you cannot work on the Sunday. So Sunday does not count. You can't use it for working. So it is sort of zero, right? Now, I will show you a very fine point. The fine point is this. Guys, do you note this yellow ribbon? This yellow ribbon is called the negative float bar. Okay. Yeah. Now, not only this is a ne negative float bar, but you know, I want to show you a very fine point. Please uh, look at the diagram carefully. So, so guys, do you see a ribbon fold here? Yes. Sir. Actually, this ribbon fold means this twentieth of May. Okay. When the when the negative float bar uh, appears, it will start with a sort of a fold. It is folded. Do you see the start of the negative bar is folded? 
So it is te 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 telling you that for this activity, the finish date was 20th and you are exceeding it by the four days. So what the ne negative load bar is telling you, see, you are right now in the planning stage, right? So negative float bar is your friend. It tells you that you have exceeded your limit of the 20th May by four days. Please correct it. So what you are going to do? You call in your engineering expert and tell him that uh, I need some help. So what kind of help? I need to reduce the duration of the task three. So he will say, okay, I let me do the calculation. And let me increase the number of men and machine. He says that, okay, you put the duration to 12 days, it will be fine. It will become zero float. Okay. Now make the task three as 12. Task three as 12. So, so guys, now it is having zero float. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now guys here, it is technically fine, but is it practically fine? Would you plan like that? No, no. sir. No, it is, it is not safe thing. Why it is not safe? Because you understand why the engineers have come up with the term tolerance. The tolerance is same as the acceptable variance because we must have some room for the variance created, right? Then you tell this subject matter expert, please examine, can we add more men and machine to reduce the duration to 10 days? Because I want a, I want a buffer of two days. So he says, yes, boss, that is possible. You need to give me more man and machine. I say that, yes, I will get more man and machine from the program manager and I will give it to you. You please calculate and apply them in the task. So he says, okay, so now reduce the duration to 10 days. So what do you see now? And we have two days uh, buffer. Positive float, positive, positive float. See guys, remember yellow bar? Negative float. No, no, negative float and uh, b b black bar? Positive float. Positive float. So some amount of positive float is good. So it is acting as a sort of, uh, uh, you can say a safety zone, safety buffer, just by in case when you are practically doing the work and you face any problem, so maybe you will consume the float, but you will be able to finish this before the 20th of May, right? Mm -hmm. If by any chance there is, suppose even if you finish it on the 18th, it's not bad. So maybe you can spend two extra days on some extra quality testing, right? Even that is good, but it is always good to finish on or be, be before the time, right guys? So a little amount of the float is actually a good practice. Okay. So negative float is uh, not to be worried about. Negative float has, has to be removed and replaced with a positive float. Right? Is that clear? Yes, sir. So negative float is your friend. Actually, it is telling you what is wrong with your planning and what you should be fixing. Right? Okay, guys. Now, uh, you have any questions on finish on or be before? Then I will move to the next one. No. No, no. Very good. Thanks. Okay, fine. Okay. Now, uh, Siddesh, you share, share your screen, please. Oh, uh, someone was uh, stating some problem. Who was saying that you have some problem with the, the finish date or something? Yes, yeah, sir. I got it. Like I, I uh, you, you, oh, you uh, understood? Yes, sir. I understood. We should have oh, okay. to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, this is the way you should be uh, basically be able to help yourself. So that is what exactly I want. I want you to train in such a way that you do not need my help. So it might be a very rare chance that you might need after one year or two year. Even if you need my help after one or two year, you will find me. Okay. So because I'm going to add you in the telegram group. Okay. Permanent. Okay. So you just message on the telegram group. 
So if I'm free, I'll help. If someone else is free, so that person will help. So that's not, not a problem. Okay. Okay, guys. Now let me tell you about the mandatory finish. What is mandatory word meaning? The meaning of the mandatory word in English is compulsory. It is mandatory to deposit your taxes before that tax last date, right? Income tax, sales tax, or any kind of business you are doing, corporate tax. So we say that it is mandatory or compulsory. Okay. So that is the meaning. So why we are using mandatory finish constraint here? I'll explain to you with the situation. The, the situation is like this. So Siddesh, can you go to your document folder? Prima Vera document folder. Can you mi minimize this Prima Vera and uh, uh, go to the document folder? And in the document folder, no, no, go to the document. This is the books folder. In the document folder, you open the Excel file. Yeah, correct. Okay, good. Now give me the remote control. I will use my whiteboard. So guys, mandatory finish. I'll explain to you why mandatory is mandatory. See guys, I have this project. Okay, so just have a look. I've signed a contract with a client to do this shopping mall project. Now in the shopping mall project, so if you look at the first deliverable, so guys, what is the finish date? What is the milestone date here? 31st May. 31st May, 23, I have to complete what? Basement to parking. Uh, see, this is the building, okay? So this is a sort of a diagram. It is to make you understand. So basement minus two is there. So I'm going to get my payment of 10 million. So that is why it is the kind of the constraint is mandatory finish. What is mandatory? Compulsory. Why it is compulsory? Because it is written in the contract. That is why it is compulsory. There is no other reason, right? Is it clear? Yeah. It is a written promise to the client that I will finish your basement parking minus two level below the ground on 31st May. Then the next level of the parking will be finished on 30th of June 23. So every month I'm completing the milestones. So how many milestones are there in my project? Seven. Seven. Okay. So I have to complete seven deliverables to complete the product. So product is the outcome of a project, right guys? Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Every project has an outcome, which is called a product. Product is a building and infrastructure or any kind of mechanical engineering item, which you are making for your client. The product is a movie, the product is a software, or it could be a service. So what is a service? Launching the satellite for your client countries. So that is a service. So India is launching uh, satellites for 36 client countries. Okay. So everybody wants their own satellite to do their own stuff, like uh, making their own weather prediction, doing the land making. So, but they don't have the rocket science technology or the capability to launch it. So they approach India. Why they approach India? Because we are doing it at a lower rates because if they approach US, so that is not feasible for them to pay for that and may, make it happen. So, so we have a mandatory finish with every client that on this particular date, we will launch your satellite, right? So we are launching satellite, um, uh, 100 satellites at once in one rocket because we are used to it. Because in India, in one bus, if the bus has a capacity of 50, so 100 people ride on that bus. So similar way, we load our rockets also, right? <laughs> okay, is it clear? Yeah. So now mandatory finish. So it is mandatory for me to finish the basement minus two parking on 31st of May. So is this clear? 
Okay, yes. now I'll go into the Prima Vera to represent it. So you write here, the last activity is actually not an activity, but it is a milestone. You write here, basement minus two complete. Right here. Guys, everybody please go to the mandatory finish group and change it to basement minus two complete. Okay, now this mandatory finish constraint is actually combined with a finish milestone. Now, you select the activity detail button, click on the activity detail and this activity go to the general tab. Okay, in the general tab, you select activity type as finish milestone. Now guys, as you select finish milestone, you will notice something on the Gantt chart. Guys, did you note that what does a finish milestone look like? What is diamond. the symbol? You re remember the symbol, it's a diamond symbol. So on the pack of cards, you have a red diamond, right? Yeah. This milestone is actually taken from the word milestone from the roadside, but there, these roads are not the city road. These roads are the intercity roads. In the intercity roads, so you know, maybe 100 or 200 years ago when people would travel, so they will look at the milestone and they will be able to know that how far they have traveled and how far they are from the destination. And it was very, very um, uh, useful for the safety. For what kind of safety? That before nightfall, they, they, should, be, uh, they should be inside uh, some sort of uh, inn or a ho hotel or some, you know, some sort of shelter, right? So there, where they can rest and uh, they can uh, be safe during the night. Right, guys? Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, what is the date between me and client? Which date? 31st. You see that? This date. This is the agreed upon date. The first deliverable is to be completed on 3rd. Now, what I have to do, I have to basically bring it here. Right? Okay, now I will go to the status. Come to the status and come to the drop down. You will find mandatory finish. Do you see that mandatory finish? Now, what is the date? The date is 31st May, 6 p.m. So you select here 31st May, 6 p.m. And also make sure that you have selected the 6 p.m. as the finish time. P.m. P.m. No, you have to scroll it. No, you are doing the wrong thing. Just go to the go to the uh, uh, hour and continue to scroll. It is a round thing. It will. ये घूम के six pm पे आएगा. Hmm. आप इसको scroll करो. हाँ. बस यही तो है. ठीक है. Okay. Is this clear now? Yeah. So guys, as soon as you apply the constraint, this milestone has got itself positioned on the 31st. Since it is a finish constraint, do you see a star is applied on the finish date? Do you see that? Yeah. And a finish milestone has only one date. That is the finish date only. It doesn't have uh, any other date, right? It doesn't have a start date. Yeah. Okay, now I call, call in my engineering team and I ask my engineering team, guys, you have this uh, task here. So you just write here like this. Mm, you can write here like a task uh, A, B, C right here. Okay, uh, like this. You create a series, task A. Then you create here task B, yeah, like that. Uh, sir, I want to know, like, why you are going from bottom to top? Actually, it should be from top to bottom, uh, top to bottom, right? So when you are having a milestones, hmm. so first you have to achieve basement minus two, next hmm. basement minus one, next uh, parking, next first floor, next second floor, like that will be there, hmm. right? Good question, good question. How come you are starting from 10 floors? Yeah. Very good question. See guys, what he asked me that why I'm going from the bottom to top. Okay. 
So guys, please tell me, have you seen a building constructed from top to bottom or not? How no. is a building constructed? Bottom to top. Bottom to top. So yes, guys, bottom all to of, top only. No, no. All of my clients, I have changed their thought process. I, I told them, guys, I've seen your engineers make a mistake while re re reading the plan. So that is why I told that you create your documentation like this. You know, I actually make my clients create the document like this. They, I, I, I tell them, include a picture of the building. This is a picture of the actual shopping mall. Okay, this is the wireframe. I tell them you take a screenshot of that and paste it here and you create it in like this because people are making a mistake. Guys, listen to me very, very carefully why I'm using the bottom to top. Because you know, the mindset of the engineer goes from bottom to top only, right or wrong? Right. Now, when the engineer comes into the planning room, he's thinking from bottom to top only. He gets confused when I write my milestones from top to bottom. He is not able to read it. He gets confused. I have literally seen them. So that is why I tell that my client that please include a snapshot okay, of your wireframe and you draw the lines here. So they actually create a document like this. I've created a template and all my clients, they include the actual wireframe of their project uh, product. And they connect like this and then they explain it to the engineer that this is how we plan to do it. And everybody says, yeah, this is fine. Understood. There is no confusion now. There is no the confusion. We do not, this is uh, basically, you know, if I was uh, doing any uh, project for a client, I will tell him, please replace this, replace this picture with your own building. Right? Replace this picture with your own building so that everybody sees the same building in the document, uh, in the drawing and in the 3D architecture so that, you know, there is no confusion here. So guys, have you noticed I use the same picture everywhere? My picture is the same. I have in my WhatsApp, in my Telegram, in my LinkedIn, in my Facebook, in my site, in my document, in my visiting card. <laughs> so wherever I'm there, I'm using my same uh, picture. Okay. Why I'm using the same picture? Because everybody should be able to relate. Okay, this is the person. So he is doing the PMP training. He is doing the Microsoft project training. He is doing the, so, you know, that is documentation. So putting the picture here is a documentation and the engineers, they have a tendency to think from bottom up only. That is why I have written it like this. So this is the way the building goes up. So if I put it like one, two, seven, you know, this, uh, these arrows are going to then uh, crisscross. Okay, the arrow will first go here and it will create a mess. Okay. Sir, I have a doubt, sir. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, the shopping mall project, the, the client is concerned about the last day of the project going to complete, sir. But uh, from the last day only, we need to schedule according to the backwards. Why, you need, why we are scheduling according to the frontwards, sir? Because the date is constrained at the last one. So we must be scheduled from the fourth floor to the basement to why we uh, taken from the front uh, scheduling, sir. Forward. Good, good question. Good question. Okay. Now I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you why that uh, the, why is it so? See, it is so because in the primavera, if you are going to put if you are going to put any kind of a mandatory finish, okay, what will happen? It will calculate the critical path wrongly. So normally what we do, first of all, we calculate the finish date of the project naturally. Then we do a schedule compression. That's exactly what we are going to do right now. Okay. Your answer is becoming in five minutes. So I'm glad you are thinking about these questions. Okay. This question is asking finish date, tag you yet on finish dates ulti calculation to me. Oh, okay. 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 लेकिन उसमें हमारी क्रिटिकल पाथ जो है वो गलत कैलकुलेट होती है तो वो कुछ लोग ना शुरू शुरू में 
कंफ्यूज हो जाता है अच्छा माइक्रोसॉफ्ट प्रोजेक्ट में फैसिलिटी है यू कैन प्लान ए प्रोजेक्ट बैकवर्ड्स फ्रॉम द फिनिश डेट बट यू नो यू नीड वेरी हाईली एडवांस एंड रिफाइंड प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट थॉट प्रोसेस टू अंडरस्टैंड इट तो इसलिए क्या होता है कि मैं अपनी ट्रेनिंग में ना इसको इंक्लूड नहीं करता जब तक मैं बंदे को एक लेवल पे मैं पहुंचा नहीं दे, देता इसलिए मैंने नहीं डाला ठीक है शुरू में मैं डाल दूंगा ना इतनी सारी चीजें तो आपका हाजमा जो है ये बिगड़ जाएगा आई इंक्रीज योर कैपेसिटी टू डाइजेस्ट द नॉलेज स्लोली एंड स्लोली एंड आई एम टेकिंग यू देर ओनली एंड योर क्वेश्चन इज गुड यू विल सी द आंसर कमिंग राइट नाउ ओके नाउ आई कॉल माई I'm asking them, guys, what is the sequence of doing the act activities uh, uh, from uh, A to G? Okay, A, A, A till the basement of the finish. They say that, boss, you first select A, then you select the basement. Okay, like this, they say they are asking me to select all the activities. Then they say, right click here. Okay, so who is it? Sidesh. Sidesh, right click here. and select the link activities here see guys you are going to get the answer right now so after you have done this okay now i want you to notice something here so guys what is this yellow ribbon representative of what it is re representing to you negative float negative float okay now guys please note here what is the amount of the negative float you have here look at this column 15 days negative float okay now your answer is coming now i call my engineering and now we tell my engineering team guys what are you doing the finish date of the client is on the 31st of the may and you are creating the such kind of relationships that uh, you are creating a plan which is going to finish 15 days later than the promised date right or wrong guys it is yes. finishing 15 days later that is why it is showing you the negative float so can we stay in business like this they say no so guys then what is the way out sir we don't know because we are fresher from the college and that's a truth i also used to do it like that so i'm telling you that what to do now okay so guys when you were doing the planning initially using any software i'm sure mostly your tendency was to put finish to start right or wrong sir right okay so now what happens after some time you realize that when you are using lot of finish to start we exceed our timeline okay sir but, sir, sir one minute sir but this indicates a wrong right so it's showing that after completion of task a task b will start but it is not the case right so after completion of uh, yes task, yes so, after completion of task yes, yes. b task a right just hold it hold it hold it we are thinking in the right direction i am also going there only <laughs> i know that what you will ask i've got the answers already so let me finish the whole thing and then you will get the answer so guys we can't work in the red part of the project right is it clear yeah we have to do whatever we have to do we have to do it in the green in, in within the green limits okay so green limit is basically set due to the mandatory finish so who is the person who is about telling us to finish here it is the mandatory finish constraint combined with the finish milestone now we have to do schedule compression okay so i am going to teach you what is the concept of the schedule compression and how we can do it so basically if you have not attended pmp training it's not a problem but definitely you can understand what is the schedule compression so basically schedule compression is a technique in which we apply certain methods to reduce the duration from the originally planned duration so i will explain to you the schedule compression and as per the pmi process then we will apply it so guys please read this please read schedule compression uh, reducing the originally planned duration of the project activities right so what is the originally planned this is the original plan but this is not a good plan we are not accepting it right do you understand so original plan has got minus 15 days now we are going to reduce it now there are two techniques here read the first one 
fast tracking when the fs is replaced with ss or ff the to put the activities in parallel okay activities in the parallel let me write a little bit more parallel execution track like this right guys is it clear yeah now read the read the crashing crashing when fast tracking is not possible then we can add more resources to individual activities to reduce the overall duration of the network path so guys the first preference is the fast tracking the second preference is the crashing and these two are called schedule compression now let us go and implement in the primavera okay so now look at what is the relationship between a to b to start finish to start so i ex examine it as we ex examine and discuss with my team members so then i ask them some senior team members i bring in from some other project i ask them so guys can we change it yes they say that yes you can change it we know it can be easily replaced with the start to start so you change it to start to start but of course it is verified by the engineering start to start now guys there is a certain amount of the re reduction in the negative float so guys now what is the negative float now 90 from 15 90. so then i ask uh, the guy subject matter expert to look at this between c and d so i ask him so between c and d what we can do he says that between c and d you change the relationship to to the finish to finish so this is no no not that this is the one to predecessor it is related to its predecessor here okay because you are on the successor okay okay so you have to change the relationship between its predecessor so you can make it finish to finish now guys look at the yeah three days no only minus three days then i ask that uh, can we change the relationship between e and d e and f he says no no we cannot change the relationship mandatory finish relationship it is mandatory finish to start we can't change it but you can do one thing you can increase the number of man and machine on e and f and g individually and reduce the duration of e each activity to 4 days so you reduce the du duration of e f g to 4 days each so this is also subject to validation by engineering process so now guys do you have a comfortable margin of 3 days float do you see that so then it is okayed by the team so we are going to confirm to it we will first try not to use the float if by chance some problem is there we will try to finish the set of activities within the 3 days float only with a margin of 3 days float so guys this is a realistically usable plan okay so now i am i believe that answers your question no sir if you see if the basement is given by 31st may ha huh, so basement will then, be by then, the 31st may from the client my, then my my second basement one will be more than 31st may right i cannot give before how can i give before if the, my basement to is baba minus is going upwards yaar why are you confused y yes sir that's what i'm saying sir if you are Aray, the uh, basement you look uh, at the yaar look at the building have you been to a lift in india sir you one minute, sir, 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 sir one minute sir suppose if you do the foundation work from bottom to top you will go from bottom to top what is the yes. marking on the lift okay, in sir. the in the lift it is written basement minus 2 basement minus 1 ground 0 yes, see now one, here here you are showing that 30th november is my the delivery of fourth floor ha huh, so you i'm so going like this see, now i'm going like this if you see our program then it is not the 30th sir you just mean one minute sir you just open our program when we are completing 6th may it is showing sir i am i am saying that so task a should have the later finish date rather than the uh, uh, basement to complete if you see in our thing basement to complete will be on 31st may but task a is completing on 6th may which is not possible it should be in uh, later date of 31st may no you are 
you are really confused no sir no you previously opened excel right you kindly no. open the no 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 no, no. no. kindly open the excel sir one minute okay i am here in the excel yes sir see ah. if you see the basement to basement minus 2 parking when is the milestone here is the milestone date 31st may right ah. so if, you, if you see the fourth floor when is the milestone the, the 30th of november 23 uh, yes so it is after 31st may only right After thirty years, my Baba building is constructed from the bottom. Yes, sir, yes, sir. This is correct, sir. I am saying this is. I am not saying anything wrong in this Excel. Then there now is the now you open our program, sir. Ah, uh, so in in our program, so I am going to create more. I am right now. I am creating first for the basement minus two, then basement minus one, then the ground floor. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. See now, if you see, it will here, be created below it only, na? No, no, sir. Now, if you see here, basement minus two is on thirty first May. If you see on the task A, which is an above, which is the last, which is which is on sixth May, sir, it should not be like that, right? So it is the sixth May. It is starting on the first of May. It is going towards the thirty first only. Yar, what happened? Sir, you sir, need some. Sir, you need some tea or coffee. No, sir. I am. I am. I am very particular. Okay. I'm now you clear, explain sir. to the rest of the people. I'll. I'll take take a break. You convince everybody here. You explain yourself. I'm sir, going quiet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, sir, for me, my basement minus two is completing on thirty-first May. Then, whatever the above floors are coming, the completion date should be after thirty-first May. Uh, uh, hello. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I understand what your uh, problem. Ah, uh, the task A, task B, task C are not a uh, base uh, floor number one, floor number two, floor number three. These are the tasks included in the basement two, which might be in a uh, wall, which might be a concreting, which might okay. be a reinforcement. So it is not. See, that's what I am saying. Task A is not the milestone number four. What it is no, not? No, where is it the milestone? Is it a shape like a, a milestone? Okay, okay, no, no, that that, that is what I am asking, sir. Actually, I thought all these are milestones only. I thought. No, where is the milestone? See, uh, guys, I told you what does a milestone look like? Milestone look like this. Yeah. So, do this little look like a milestone to you? Sir, kindly please diagram it, sir. The, but everyone can understand. No, no. The... Oh, what you cannot understand. Yeah, I I understand, sir. I understand. See, in the diagram, it is clearly showing as a bar. Is it showing like a milestone? Don't you see that visually? That what is the difference between a bar and a diamond shape? Do you, do I need to explain that this is a bar, this is a diamond? So now I got your point, sir. Now what you are saying see, is I I did not change my point. My point is still there. You needed to look at the diagram carefully. You needed to understand. I am writing here as task. I did not. Yeah, use it's not. La he is not labeling it as basement two, see, basement one. He is just see, labeling it, is, it as. It is. It is. See. In in the milestone, it is all always zero duration. Try to understand the convention. See, there are certain of conventions in every industry. If, if if I create a diagram like this, so what does it mean in the electronics? It is an inductance. Now, if if I do it like this, and you you will say no, this is the same thing. No, it is not the same thing. If this is the inductance, this is the resistance. You have to un understand. Okay. now these are not so uh, not so similar also do you find any similar uh, similarity in shape of a of of a milestone and a bar do you see anything same guys do you see that no. milestone and bar are similar no no they're different and what is the problem yaar i am illust it is illustrated with a picture these gantt charts were created in uh, in 1904 by henry gantt then nobody has a problem इसको कॉफी की जरूरत है सर हाँ यस सीरियसली मैं तो चाय पी रहा हूँ आप चाय पियो तो गाइस जस्ट होल्ड ऑन होल्ड ऑन होल्ड ऑन फर्स्ट सो गाइस डोंट बी स्ट्रेस्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई टोल्ड यू व्हाट इज द रूल इन लर्निंग द प्राइम वेरा रिलैक्स प्लीज ग्रैब ए कप ऑफ कॉफी आई एम गोइंग टू गेट वन फॉर माई सेल्फ ओके जस्ट होल्ड इट होल्ड इट इन
guys see i am doing a series of task to achieve the basement minus 2 is is that clear yes yeah see task is replaced task is uh, represented by bar and the achievement is represented by a diamond right yeah so diamond has no duration the purpose of the diamond since 1904 19 Zero four. The purpose of the diamond is to is to depict the achievement. So when we are completing these activities, what is the achievement? The achievement is basement minus two complete. Okay. Now what has happened in this case? The client and myself we have signed a contract. In the contract, it has been written. It has been agreed. That basement minus two should be completed by thirty first of May. So what I am doing, I am doing this series of the activities to achieve the basement minus two, right? But Very what sorry. happened? What happened initially? That my engineering team, which was consisting of freshers, they created the plan in a finish to start. Now due to which I got a negative float. then i brought in a more then i brought uh, into my team a more expert person and i asked him to suggest me that what to do he says that you should be doing scheduled compression so he said that uh, the scheduled compression is what so guys please read this thing someone please but sidesh read it reducing the originally planned duration of the project activities right originally you know what was the plan whatever was the plan it was not acceptable right guys is that clear because it had a negative float but definitely it can be called as the original plan right see original plan need not be the final plan i am ma making it clear okay original plan can have mistakes original plan can have missing activities original plan can have extra activities which are not needed right so we have to start with an original plan and we have to refine and define it to make it better and we have come to a final plan now this schedule compression has got two techniques one is read it fast tracking okay good read the full thing when the fs is replaced by ss or ff to put the activities in parallel ex execution track yeah so when you put the activities in the parallel execution track can you visualize the time saved sadesh can you visualize the time saved in your mind yes sir yes yeah okay see if you do something like this or if you do something like this so where do you save time in the first instance or the the second instance second second one second instance because you are doing them at the same time now yeah. now when do you do do the crashing the crashing is done so now you read this oh sorry you read this thing crashing when fast tracking is not possible then we can add more resources to individual activities to reduce the overall duration of the network path Okay. I'll tell you that what is crashing. See, this is the original duration planned by a fresher, right? Let's say the original duration planned by the fresher is eighteen days. Now, what happened that due to the originally planned duration by a fresher, I'm getting negative load. So I ask an expert to reduce the duration. He says that boss. uh in this activity it is possible to add more man machine so that is not going to increase the risk nor it is going to decrease the quality so we can reduce the duration by adding more resources we can make it as 14 days so guys this is called crashing is it clear now yes sir okay 
So from the original 18, when you see in the fast tracking, this is the technique doing the activities in parallel and in the crashing, reducing the original duration of individual act activity to the less number of the days, okay, by adding more sources. So this is exactly what we have done. So the activities in which we have done, the fast tracking are marked in the green patch and the activities on which we have done, the crashing is marked with the yellow patch. Guys, do you see that now? Yeah. yeah. Now what happened due to the combined effect of the crashing and the fast tracking, this network path has been re reduced we have a safety margin of three days, three days. time safety margin. Okay, is this clear now, guys? Yeah. Yes. Now, is it clear to all of you at once? Yes. I don't want any doubt here in my class, okay? Because uh, whatever question you ask, for me, it is very important to answer to your full knowledge, okay? Satisfaction and full knowledge. Sometimes, you know, the satisfaction might be there. Oh, sir, ne pura answer bata diya. but I know the satisfaction is not my limit. My limit is to give you the full knowledge, whether you know it or not, because that is my responsibility. Right? Yes, focus. One so doubt. My responsibility to make sure that you should know the things very well and you should be able to drive it to a point where you actually do not need my help at all. I want you to go to that point. Okay? Sir, so doubt. That is my responsibility. Sir, I have one doubt. Good. Yes. Sir, after we change the last activity to milestone, will it consider all the tasks above it in the same head for, the, for limitation of that date? No, actually, you know, I will tell you a best practice. You should not, you should not apply the finish milestone on the last activity. Okay, why? Because it will pin down the task and it will not let you calculate that what is the float, how far. So, you know, basically, you know, this, uh, this is a sort of, this activity is a sort of a marker, sort of a lighthouse. So, basically, okay. it is telling you how far or near your network path is from the finish boundary. So this is not an activity. This is a milestone. Purpose of the milestone is to basically create a marker. So, you know, it is creating a marker. So this marker is creating sort of boundary for this set of activity, not for the entire project, only for this set of activities. So this set of activities, if they started and uh, if they started and finished within this time limit, so here it is the positive float and if they exceed it, then it is the negative float. Right guys, is it clear now? Yeah. So activity has to stay put at this position only that should not be moved. So that it can give you the calculation of the float because it is acting as a reference, right? It is acting as a reference from the last activity. So the yeah. last activity is related to it. See, if you look at the G, I'll just tell you what. If you are looking at the G, so guys, please look at the detail. I'm trying to make you understand something. If you look at the relationship, the G activity is actually re related to the milestone. Now I'm going to break the relationship. Okay, just watch what is going to happen if I break up the relationship. Now, if I remove the relationship of the, of the uh, G to the, to the milestone, see what's going to happen. If I remove the relationship, so what is going to happen? So if you reschedule this, okay, but let me remove this, you know, actually uh, you will have no limit. So let me reschedule this. Why the rescheduling did not take place? Okay, okay, fine. Now you understand why it is not happening because we need something longer than this. So let me increase it to 12 days. Okay, now guys, do you notice that the finish date can be extended till the end of the pro project. Do you see that float going there? Yeah. Actually, we don't have that much time. Actually, our boundary line actually ends here. Our boundary line ends here. But how do I know that what is my float? So what is the float it is showing? See, re read the float, guys. Read the float. It is showing you that you have still got uh, seven days to finish 
the set of activities from A to G. Do you re really have seven no. days? No, you don't have the seven days. Actually, you are taking the reference from the finish date of the project. So, you know, that is why we set up a relationship like this. Now, when I set up the relationship of the last activity with the, with the milestone, it is calculating from the reference of the milestone, which has been pinned down with the mandatory finish, right? Okay, now see, now I'm going to do it. See, I'll select D, uh, G and basement minus two and set up the link. So guys, please keep an eye on the float. As I link, look at the float. Do you see the float is gone? It is trimmed down. Do you yeah. see that the float is trimmed? The float is yeah. trimmed till the till the milestone. Milestone milestone is acting as a boundary line. So it is acting as a safety line for me because I have a contract. Now I have to write the reason. Why did I apply a constraint on this? So guys, please come to the, see, you have applied a mandatory finish constraint, right guys? See this. So if you, if you look down, you will see you have applied a mandatory finish on the milestone, but don't you think we, we should write a note? Yeah. Yes, we have to write a note. Yeah. So Siddhesh, please select the constraint as the topic and click on the plus button. Now you click on the modify. And you write the note as the basement minus two has to be completed, has to be completed by 31st May. As agreed in the contract, as agreed in the contract, right? Okay. So guys, is this clear now? If someone is saying that this, uh, this milestone is pinned here, he can read the reason here in the notebook. So this set of activities basically at task A to task uh, G, they are leading to the completion of the basement minus two. Then I will complete basement minus one. I will complete basement, uh, no, not the basement, but the ground floor. How did you make the total second... float seven days, sir? So, you know, every, sir, every, how every... did you make that floor, total you float seven floor. days, sir? Yeah, tell me. How did you make the total float to seven days, sir? Which float? Uh, mandatory finish. Task G, F and G. No, it is not a seven days float. Actually, you see, G has been re related. So let me check. It's not updated, I think so. Uh, oh, need to it has not happen, happened. So the relationship is basically, it should be uh, finished to finish. So let me, yeah, it is not updated. Why it is not updated? I have to Some schedule. software problem. Now, let me look at this. You link it uh, project हाँ वही मैं देख रहा हूँ आखरी वाले वो लिंक किया ना तो आखरी वाले में कोई लैग टाइम तो है नहीं तो ये फिनिश टू फिनिश भी अगर होगा तो इसमें लैग टाइम नहीं होना चाहिए ओके आई थिंक यू इंक्रीज द टाइम ऑन द टॉप इफ यू गो ऑल द वे डू दिस थिंग लेट मी रीअसाइन सो यू नो फॉर द you know, something went wrong when I deleted and re re reassigned it. Actually, even if you put the finish to finish, uh, so the total float cannot be seven because the float between this and this is only three days. Do you see that only three days of the float is there? Float sir, is no, yes, sir, actually, you have days. changed something above with the pole. Uh, if, you go, if you go up, I think you changed the uh, day's duration on the... Duration of some days you have changed, I think. So. Yeah. And, and start or no, 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 मेरी प्रॉब्लम ये है 
कि why this line is going beyond this point. This is the last date. Okay. Sir, task G is not assigned, uh, not linked with uh, milestones. Sir, that's one showing the because there is no horizontal bar in the task G. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to see. Task G. Uh, no. Task G has a successor. Uh, mandatory finish. But it is not showing in the Gantt chart. So now. I select task G, then I say link. So link should establish a finish to start. Now, you know, it is not letting me apply the finish to start because it is not happening. I don't know that why it is not showing in the relationship because if I, you know, that is not going to work. Actually, what I need here is the finish to start. Actually, originally it was the finish to start only. So let me do this thing. Uh, let me see if there is some bug here. Can we remove the milestone and then uh, uh, try for uh, uh, let me uh, remove the milestone? Okay, yeah, let me make it. I think there is some bug in the software now. I will put here one day, I'll make it an ordinary task first. Okay, I make it as one day task. Okay, then I will set up the link. Now, when I set up the link, it will definitely establish the relationship as a finish to start. Finish to start has been established. Now, keeping the finish to start, I'm going to change it. I'm going to trick the prime, prime aware to convert it into the finish to. Okay, now let me look at the relationship. Finish to start is there and task G. And uh, the task G is not getting trimmed here. So that is my problem. Let me use the, uh, schedule button so guys i want to see another screen so um, so uh, kranti can you please share your screen i would like to see yes, sir, yes, sir. so that will be a better guys do you see that on kranti screen it is trimmed here okay so let me do this thing let me increase the duration of, of the project okay so by increasing the duration of the task for at the top i will increase it to 20 days now i've increased the duration of the project but do you see the the duration of this activity so that is so let me make it more comfortable for you so let me reduce some space here some space here and some space here let me increase the size of the time time scale. So I'm sure now it is comfortable for you to read the time scale now. Now, if you look here carefully, so guys, do you see that it is trimmed due to this milestone? And what is the relationship with this milestone? The relationship with the milestone is the finish to finish, and but it is trimmed here, right? Okay, let me do this thing. Let me remove the relationship. Now, if I really re remove the relationship, the, what will happen? The float of the task G will extend till the end of the project. Right, guys? Okay, let me remove it. Do you see the float is uh, extending? Yes, sir. Because, because the finish date of the project is, uh, is beyond the milestone, right? Okay, now let me do this thing. Let me say, that the, that the successor of the task two is the basement minus two complete. Okay, now if I'm using this as a successor, then the float should be trimmed. Guys, do you see on Kranti screen, the float is getting correctly trimmed. You see, yeah. see that? I didn't do anything else. Uh, so whose screen I was on last time? Mine. Abdul? Yeah. See, guys, when you say mine, then every body is mine. So you have to tell me your name. <laughs> okay. So who is that mine? Siddesh, sir, Siddesh. Siddesh, okay. So Siddesh, do you see that it works on currency? Okay, let me check it on one more screen, okay. So uh, Sandeep, can you please share your screen? You know, this is very strange. I need to report this bug. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm first of all going to remove the relationship, then re-establish that. See, what do I do? I break up the relationship between task G 
but first of all let me increase the duration of, of, of the project let me push the duration of the project by increasing the size i mean the duration of the task to here i'll make it as 20 do you see that i have extended the duration of the project here hmm? guys okay now after increasing the duration i am going to the task g and remove the relationship with the milestone so when i remove the relationship with the milestone so guys what do you see do you see that the float is uh, extending the float for the task g it is uh, ex extending till the end of the project do you see that hmm? guys please give me a response yes sir yeah. studying here okay so do you see that or not yes sir yes sir okay now because there is no stopper till the end of the project so you know end of the project the last date of the project is the only natural stopper for any activity so this is the total float now if i am going to relate the task g to the basement okay so guys please watch what i am going to do i am going to make the connection from here to here okay i am going to do it and see what is going to happen the float will get trimmed this part of the float will di disappear right okay okay fine so uh uh sandeep click on click on this button click on the uh, assign button assign successor and select the basement minus 2 here just below yeah basement minus 2 as the successor click on the uh the assign button and then you close this window guys do you see immediately the float is trimmed yeah. because because this because this milestone which is combined with a mandatory finish it is acting as a stopper so you know it is acting like uh, you have a stopper for the train at the last station it is like this so you can't go go beyond that so that's yeah. what it is telling right sir so so there is so siddesh there is some problem in your primavera i have confirmed it on two screens in two places so it works fine okay so this stopper is basically the purpose of this uh, this finish milestone combined with a uh, with a so guys let me complete the understanding of the mandatory finish okay because we are uh, running beyond the schedule for me it's not a problem because my entire day day is dedicated to the training only uh for me it is a pleasure to train you guys okay so it's not a problem see guys this in the status so what we did in this basement minus 2 complete which is a, a milestone uh, uh sandeep can you uh, drag it here drag the boundary here okay so okay fine so not a problem let me bring this thing down guys look at the basement minus 2 complete so read the constraint what what is this constraint read it a mandatory finish mandatory finish why it is compulsory why it is mandatory because of this reason written in the notebook so guys read the reason do you see that it makes logical sense yes fine that now why do we use a milestone because milestone is a marker so what is the activity type that we are combining with the mandatory finish we are combining activity type finish milestone that is the best practice so guys can you please take a note if you want to apply the mandatory finish milestone combine it with the finish milestone if you want to apply mandatory finish constraint always it always apply it on the finish milestone only okay so is is that fine guys yes sir yes sir okay now uh, i'm pausing for questions so please ask your questions then we will move to the next one sir i have a doubt sir yes yes sir after when you remove the relationship with the task G and uh, basement to minus two, uh, the float, uh, the somewhat the A, B, and C D have the float up to the uh, milestone. 
whereas in uh, task e f and g which is continued to the more than above to the next one Wh why the differences in the float sir see float is equally shared by you all see let's say there are six friends they say that let us go out for uh, for some fun so you know what they say let, let us pool in 1200 rupees each so six friend they are pulling in uh, pulling in 200 rupees each so what is the to to total amount what is the total amount in the purse common 12, purse 12000 1200 1200 yeah get your maths right you are an engineer 200 multiplied by 6 equal to 12 oh, 1200 okay make sure that the calculator the natural calculator provided by god is utilized by you right Okay, so it is the 1200 rupees. So now what happens that one friend, he spends 300 rupees out of the 1200. Now what is remaining? 900. 900, so 900 is re re remaining for all? Uh, yes. Yes. So that is the concept of the total float. If any of the activity is consuming the float, actually it is consuming from the common kitty. See. Hmm. This is a bunch of uh, friends. Okay. So consider that the, these are the friends. Okay. Now I'm going to set up the relationship. Now the float will be referenced from the, uh, the float will be referenced from the, now guys, what is the float now? Three, three, three days, right? Yes, sir. Now, this three days float is common for all these. Now, yes. suppose if I uh, complete this activity in five days, see, it will be reduced for all. Look at this column, uh, just a moment. Let me increase the size of this partition. So guys, I'm going to take five days in the act activity G. Now, what happened to the float column? Two days. Two days for all, right? Okay. I'm going to take five days in the activity F. Now, what happened to the float column? One day. One for all. It is showing that now any of the, uh, uh, how many activities are there? Any of these seven activity can use one day float. So mm -hmm. it is the common kitty, right? Is it clear now? Yes. Okay. Now, suppose the person working on activity E, he uses the float. You know, the, what is going to happen if the rest of the people, they need float? No, there will no float. Will happen. Now, I'll tell you that what will happen in real life. In real life, what will happen in Hindi, we call it Mara Mari. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because those engineers will say, you have used all the float. I need my work. I am in emergency. <laughs> okay. You have left no time for me. And now the delay of this milestone will fall on my shoulder. Do you understand what is the implication in real life? I've yes. seen that ha happening. I've seen that happening. Yes. So that is why involve all my people into the meeting. Make sure that they understand the implication of the float. I tell, I used to tell my team member, anybody who is going to use the float will pay 500 you know there was no maramari everything was peaceful anybody who needed to badly use the float you know he will think yaar ek kaam karte hain isse pehle ki main pitai khau isse acha 500 rupaye mein de hi deta hu no, no, he will give the 500 rupees. So I'll, I'll take the 500 rupees. I'll tell everybody, this is the fund we have got the, now they'll say, Achha, ab kaun dega, ab kaun dega. <laughs> now what happened? So what happened? He said, why do you pay 500 rupees? 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 I'm telling you, 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 बात बात ये होती थी कि जो बंदा 500 रुपए देता था उसकी झंड ओद होती थी यार तू इतना अन प्रोफेशनल है हैं अपना <laughs> काम तू प्लैंड प्लैंड के हिसाब से काम टाइम से कंप्लीट नहीं कर पाता यू नो सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री में इज्जत की बात है इज्जत की बात है हां इज्जत की बात हो जाती है 500 रुपए की बात नहीं है एक एक बंदे की तनख्वाह मैं आज की बात नहीं कर रहा मैंने तो इंडस्ट्री 2013 में छोड़ दी थी वहां पे ऐसे ऐसे प्रोग्रामर थे सीनियर प्रोग्राम एक एक महीने की तनखा एक एक लाख रुपए थी डॉक्टरों से भी ज्यादा तनखा होती है आईटी इंडस्ट्री में आईटी में 
एक एक इंजीनियर ही है जो है, वो पांच सौ रुपए ना यूं उठा के फेंक देता है वो मुंह पे लेकिन बात पता क्या है कि इंसल्ट बहुत होती है प्रोफेशनली कि यार तेरे से काम नहीं होता तेरे को ये चीज नहीं आती तेरे को ये टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं आती तू पांच रुपए दे देगा वो पता है वो बंदा कहेगा यार मैं मैं पांच हजार रुपए की पार्टी अपनी ओर से मैं कर दूंगा लेकिन अपना काम में टाइम पे मैं करूंगा कंप्लीट ये झंड मत करना मेरी तो क्या होता है दिस इज कॉल्ड पीपल मैनेजमेंट डू यू गेट माय पॉइंट नाउ पीपल मैनेजमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट तो दैट इज वाई वी सेट ए टाइम लिमिट अब कोई भी मेरे से डिस्प्यूट नहीं कर सकता कि सर ये इकतीस मई अरे भाई इकतीस मई को इज द बॉस हमारे बॉस का बॉस कौन है हमारे बॉस का बॉस है क्लाइंट और हमारे बॉस ने क्लाइंट के साथ जाके एग्रीमेंट साइन करा एग्रीमेंट sir i have no another sir uh, oh, yeah. it's not not clear in that when we remove the relationship with task b and basement to the milestone whereas in a task a b c d which have the float up to the milestone whereas in a task e f and g which uh, the float will continue above uh, more than the uh, milestone that okay. there is no okay. difference in the float okay so yeah, you see i am going to remove the relationship okay but i will not explain so you can see it and deduce it visually see that is why the gantt chart was created okay now you look at it and the picture will explain itself but i want you to request you to look at this column do you see the float yes sir 12 days yes. it is the common float all these activities from the finish date of the project now this is not in the picture because you have released it okay you have released it from here mm. if there is you have released it from the anchor now what is the last limit for any activity to complete for any activity to complete the last limit will be the established the finish date of the project yes that sir, is yes. why the float is extending till the end of the project yes sir and yes, end sir. of the project has been established by this activity yes sir yes sir so here is the limit so what is the limit if you are not anchoring yes yes Yes. it is just like who let the dogs out mm. no <laughs> the dog is in your compound the compound is like 20 meter by 20 meter but if you let the dog out he will go out in the whole town and bite 100 people and uh, you will be in trouble <laughs> okay <laughs> so it is just like that yes sir now is it clear now it's clear sir okay very good so guys you should interact with me like that i'm very glad you are asking me question it really doesn't matter if we are taking extra time to finish but i want very solid uh, knowledge in you engineers okay so that is yeah, the... i have one question yes uh, good out of these all these tasks a b c d e f g which one will be the first task a or g the reference task will be g of course the last in the sequence yeah jo train ka jo aakhri dabba hota hai na ye ye guard ka dabba hai ye guard hai aur ye train ka aakhri dabba hai बात आ रही समझ में अब है ना अब आखिरी डब्बे को ही तो गार्ड के डब्बे से मैं जोड़ूंगा तभी तो गार्ड चिल्लाएगा भाई ये ये आगे जा रही है अब पीछे है ना अब देख अब मैं इसको जोड़ता हूँ देखो अब आप देखना यहाँ पे क्या होगा अब मैंने जी और जी के साथ मैंने क्या करा इसका मैंने डिटेल खोला और इसमें सक्सेसर साइड में लगाना है किसे लगाना है माइल को मैं स्क्रॉल डाउन करूंगा माइलस्टोन ढूंढ लूंगा और ढूंढ के मैंने इसे जो है ये लगा दिया इसे और लगाते ही क्या हुआ ये कह रही फ्लोट है जीरो क्योंकि वो बिल्कुल उसे टच कर रहा है आखिरी डब्बा जब उसको गार्ड को टच कर रहा है वो वो कह रहे जी ये तो मेरे को टच कर गया अब मेरे को टच कर गया तो सारा हो गया शॉर्ट सर्किट दिख गया लाल रंग तो जीरो का मतलब क्या है शॉर्ट सर्किट तो शॉर्ट सर्किट दूर करने के लिए मैंने क्या किया कि टास्क जी पे मैन मशीन मैंने ये बढ़ा दिया मैंने कहा यार चलो ऐसा करो थोड़ा ठंडा कर लो थोड़ा अब देखो ठंडा हो गया हरा हो गया सही है अब लेकिन मेरे को एक चीज बताओ कि भाई एक महीने का काम है सिर्फ एक दिन के फ्लोट से जो है वो सेफ्टी मार्जिन बन जाएगी नहीं नहीं, नहीं नहीं बनेगी ना नहीं। तो आप क्या करना अभी मैं आपको कुछ भी रेकमेंड नहीं कर रहा क्योंकि आपकी इंजीनियरिंग और मेरी इंजीनियरिंग में डायनामिक्स का फर्क है है ना आप जब काम करोगे प्रोजेक्ट में आप अपने ठंडे दिमाग से टीम के साथ जो है सलाह मशवरा करके एक वो फ्लोट डालना जो कि रीजनेबल है सही है ठीक है ना 
तो वो मैं आपकी एक्सपर्ट जजमेंट में मैं छोड़ देता हूँ यहाँ पे मैं कोई भी ड्यूरेशन आपके माइंड में हार्ड कोड नहीं करना चाहता मैं चाहता हूँ कि आप अपनी फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी से फैसला करें आप अपने एक्सपर्ट जजमेंट से फैसला करें आप अपने तजुर्बे से फैसला करें आप अपनी बी की इंजीनियरिंग की नॉलेज से फैसला करें आप अपने साथ में जो आपके जो टीम मेंबर है उनके साथ जो एग्रीमेंट है जो आपसी जो मतलब जो समझदारी है कलेक्टिव से फैसला करें ठीक है लेकिन फैसला करे जरूर कि फ्लोट डाल लेगा फ्लोट डालना है बगैर फ्लोट का प्लान ना बनाए कोई भी प्लान बगैर फ्लोट के प्लान बनाना एक रिस्क लेने के बराबर है आप यू कह रहे हैं कि भाई मैं तो मेरे पास ऐसी एक्यूरेट जो है वो मशीन है जो किसी भी कंपोनेंट को जीरो टॉलरेंस से जो है वो बना देती है आज तक दुनिया में ऐसी कोई मशीन नहीं नहीं ऐसी कोई मशीन नहीं ठीक है आप कितनी भी जो है मशीन आप सीएनसी ले आओ कंप्यूटर न्यूमेरिकली कंट्रेड मैंने भी बहुत चीजें देखी इंजीनियरिंग हालांकि मैं सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर हूँ लेकिन क्या है कि इंडस्ट्री में इतना काम करते करते कभी साइट पर चला जाता हूँ कभी किसी की फैक्ट्री में घुस जाता हूँ वैसे लोग जो है वो ले जाते हैं वहां पर देखता हूँ मैं ये सब चीजें तो मेरे को कुछ चीजें हाथ से जो है वो चलानी आती है मैं फॉर्क लिफ्ट में चला सकता हूँ अच्छा, और अच्छा। कई चीजें मैंने जो है वो चलाई हुई है तो मेरे को इंटरेस्ट है ठीक है क्योंकि मैं सिविल इंजीनियरिंग को मैं मानता हूँ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इज द फाउंटेन हेड ऑफ ऑल दी इंजीनियरिंग इट इज द मदर ऑफ ऑल दी इंजीनियरिंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग से बहुत चीजें मैकेनिकल में आई है इलेक्ट्रिकल में आई है कई कई जगह पे कई इंजीनियर्स ने सिविल सी प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट इज द प्योरली इज द गिफ्ट ऑफ द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग ओनली so I have seen there is no absolute uh, machining in this world, yeah. which can say this is the absolute dimension of the component. ठीक है? सही है. Okay, so you should determine what is the best for your kind of the situation in the project. Okay, so guys, is the mandatory finish clear now? Ah, uh, sir, uh, Rahul this side, sir. Uh... इन माय टास्क ए बी सी डी जो पूरा जितने भी टास्क है सर उसमें कुछ रिलेशनशिप में कुछ इश्यू है मुझे समझ में आ गया बट इसमें सिस्टम नहीं हो रहा था जरा हमें जो है ना ये फटाफट चलना हाँ सर देर हो गई है देर हो गई है काफी कोई दिक्कत नहीं है यार ऑस्ट्रेलिया बंद हो जाए चाहे कुछ भी हो जाए ऑस्ट्रेलिया के जंगलों में आग लग जाए आपने घबराना नहीं है जाना भी नहीं है ठीक है ठीक है सही जो अच्छी सलाह चाहे कोई भी दे ठीक है सुन लेनी चाहिए आपके इमरान खान इतनी तारीफ करते मोदी 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 करते रहते रात दिन <laughs> तो उसमें गलत क्या है वो कह रहे हैं कि वो बेस लाइन है देखो वो अपने मुल्क के लिए अच्छा कर रहा है अरे तो उसकी तारीफ कर रहा है यार वो बात नहीं है वो किसी की तारीफ नहीं कर रहा वो एक रेफरेंस ले रहा देखो ध्यान से देखो राहुल ठीक क्या देखो ये जो बटन है ना ठीक है ये वाला जो बटन है रिलेशनशिप लाइन अब मुझे नहीं पता ये बटन दिया क्यों हुआ है वैसे तो होना नहीं चाहिए देखो ये इसको प्रेस करो इसे ठीक है लाइन गायब हो गई अच्छा कई बार लाइन इस बटन को प्रेस करे बगैर भी गायब हो जाती है दैट इज द बग लेकिन ये बग नहीं ये बटन आपसे ना टिक हो गया क्लिक हो गया गलती से ठीक है समझ में आई बात ओके सो क्रांति प्लीज शेयर योर स्क्रीन हाँ सर मेरा रिलेशन की बात कर रहा हूँ जो हमारा टास्क जो था ए बी सी डी वो अभी ना अभी अभी पता क्या क्या बात है पहले एक बार ना टॉपिक कंप्लीट कर लेते फिर हम क्या करें मैं और आप बैठेंगे वन टू वन में क्योंकि कुछ लोग ना ऐसे टाइम जोन में है अब थोड़ी देर में वो गिर जाएंगे वो बेचारे ठीक है एक तो संदीप है और एक अपने पास ही नजम है ठीक है इन दोनों को फ्री कर दे तो फिर मैं आपका देखता हूँ ठीक है फिर मैं वन टू वन बैठता हूँ कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू एज लेट एज पॉसिबल इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एक्चुअली यू रिनेम द टास्क एज क्रंथी रिनेम द टास्क एज क्लोजिंग प्रोसेस closing process so what is a closing process it is the set of activities we do to uh, to gracefully close the project so what do we do in this activities so guys i am going to write in the notebook quickly okay just read i will write in the general notes in the closing process we gracefully close the project so you know i have just finished i am nearly finishing the 
shopping mall. So what, what I am doing, uh, we gracefully close the project. Okay, so let me write. Okay. Uh, close the project. The first thing I'll do, clean the project site. Guys, right or wrong? Is it a right thing to do? Clean the project site, leave a clean a shopping mall for the client. Okay. Remove temporary structures. Do you think that should be done? So what are the temporary structures? The structures which were used for storing uh, the goods, materials uh, used in the constructions and also for the, the people. Okay, temporary structures. And uh, what do I do? Uh, get uh, quality acceptance certificate from client. Now, what is the benefit of that? Getting that acceptance certificate, I can get my payment. So I say raise final invoice and get payment. Payment chahiye ke nahi chahiye? Ya free mein kaam karte aap lo? Lazmi chahiye. Haan. To get, raise final invoice and get the payment. So when I get the payment, so what do I do? Release. Release the subcontractors. Okay, inko bhi free hume karna. Release the subcontractors and make final payment. You know, this is what I'm doing to gracefully close the project. Then, what do I do? Release men and machine. Why men and machine? Why do I do it? Release so that in other projects, they can be small. Jal se jal. Khali bitha ke rakhna admi ho chahe wo machine ho. So that is not the right thing. Paise jaya hai. Paise jaya hoongo. Yes, absolutely. Jo machine ka to nahi hooga, lekin aapne ka to tha to mil rahi hai. Haa. Thik hai? Achcha. Uske baad aur kya karna hai? Mainne haa. Hand over all the documents. Dekho. Koi bhi building banti hai na, usme third party cheeze bhoat use hoti hai. Okay. Thik hai? Jaise lift hai. जैसे उसमें जनरेटर है ठीक है पानी की पंप्स है एचवीएसी का पूरा सिस्टम है उसमें हैंड ओवर मैप्स डायग्राम्स टू क्लाइंट ठीक है क्लाइंट को दे दिया भाई अपनी बिल्डिंग देखो ऐसे संभाल ली ठीक है देन ट्रेन द क्लाइंट स्टाफ ट्रेन द क्लाइंट स्टाफ किस चीज के लिए ट्रेनिंग देनी है सीसीटीवी के लिए उसमें जनरेटर लगाओ उसको कैसे ऑन ऑफ करना है एचवीएसी सिस्टम कैसे मेंटेन करना है वाटर फिल्ट्रेशन प्लांट एंड रिसाइकलिंग प्लांट आजकल जरूरी हो गया उसको क्या कैसे करना है ट्रेन द क्लाइंट स्टाफ ऑन यूजिंग द बिल्डिंग इक्विपमेंट्स ठीक है तो मैं कुछ ही पॉइंट्स में लिख रहा हूं आई एम नॉट राइटिंग ऑल द पॉइंट्स एंड कंप्लीटिंग इट विद एटसेट्रा नाउ गाइस यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग व्हाई आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ चेकलिस्ट व्हाई आई एम नॉट क्रिएटिंग द फिनिश टू स्टार्ट because these activities are not actually engineering activities you have to understand one thing these are non engineering activities okay guys is this clear yeah these are non engineering activities non engineering activities are these are opportunity based these are opportunity based and not process based so guys do you understand the meaning these are opportunity based jiska mauka pehle lage usko pehle pehle kar lo process mein kya hota hai finish to start mein aap jo sequence tod sak sakte ho aap nahi tod sakte yahan pe koi bhi mauka mil jaye aap kar lo अगर मान लो कि आप जो इनवॉइस पहले दे के पेमेंट आपको मिल सकता है तो ले लो अगर क्लाइंट दे, दे देता है तो ठीक है कुछ चीजें सीक्वेंस में कुछ चीजें जैसे क्यूए नहीं मिलेगा तो आपको पेमेंट नहीं मिलेगी अच्छा मान लो कि आपको जो है कि मान लो आप कहते हो चलो हमें अपनी पेमेंट मिले ना मिले लेकिन सब कॉन्ट्रेक्टर को यहाँ से जो है पेमेंट दे इनको फ्री कर दो कर सकते हो ना वो आप कर सकते हो क्योंकि उसमें ऐसा कोई सीक्वेंस नहीं है हार्ड एंड फास्ट ठीक है ना तो आपने कहा कि भाई शुरू में मैप्स एंड ड्राइंग्स जो है वो दे दो क्लाइंट को शुरू में दे दो कोई दिक्कत नहीं या पेमेंट के बाद दे दो वो वो भी देना है तो इसमें ऐसा कोई हार्ड एंड फास्ट सीक्वेंस नहीं है तो हम लोग क्या करते हैं कि इसको ना एक लमसम ड्यूरेशन में डाल के नोट में डाल देते हैं 
we put it in the notebook and we say that it will be done during the last six days of the project. अब ये activity क्या होगी कि हम इसको ये ना ये जब इसको position करेंगे ना last में तो आपने आप ये critical part बन जाए क्योंकि last में कोई भी activity position होगी तो finish date से क्या होता है कि उसकी duration जो है और मतलब finish date से उसका gap होगा zero so it will become critical but the thing is that it will be automatically the positioned at the end and how to do it yeah that i am going to tell you so guys please come into the status in the status you select as late as po possible and don't select any date select as late as possible so guys do you see that what happens the red line came. It is uh, the positioned with the finished date of the project. Now, one of your team members says, "Boss, we need ten days." So, okay, you you make it as ten days and also watch the start date. So, what is the current start date? Eight. From eight, it has gone to the third of June. But the finished date is still the finished date of the project only. Do you see that? Because it is calculating ten days backward from the finished date of the project. It is calculating the minus ten days. If you require ten days for this activity, the latest you must start is by which date? Third of June. Right, guys? Is it clear? Yes, sir. So, so this date is the third of the June. So, between the third of the June and this date, so there are ten working days. So, do you want me to help you count the ten working days? See, the third of June itself is the one. Working days, correct? Then these yeah. are six of the working days. After that, you have got a bunch of another three working days: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that makes ten working days. And your yeah. ten working days must start on the third of the June. Right, guys? Is that clear? Yes, sir. That is the benefit of as late as possible. So as late as possible is usually applied for activities which are positioned in the closing group closing process closing the project so it is not necessary that you will use only one activity to close you can distinguish them into closing process 1 closing process 2 administrative closer legal closer you can have some distinction there if you wish to right guys is it clear yes sir okay so this is very simple. Now I am going to tell you uh, about the primary and the secondary constraint. Now do one thing: you you create, you write it as task X, or uh, just just put X in front of it. Yeah, fine, and put Y in front of it. Okay, okay. Now here in this you put here four days, and here you put here four days. Now you relate the X and Y in the finish to start relationship. Uh, no, uh, yes, you can yeah, relate that way also, but otherwise you should use the link activities. See guys, finish to start link. Okay, use, a, use the shortcut. Now guys, what is the start date of the activity Y, task Y? Fifth of the May, right? Okay, let's say, that this task Y is using a, uh, I'm going to write something in the bracket. It is using a uh, sort of, let's say, 20 ton crane. And you know, this is a shared resource. It is not sort of a hand tool that it can be distributed to everybody. So guys, tell me one thing. Have you, during your college days, have you borrowed books from the library? Have you borrowed books from the library? Yes. Okay, now what happens that when you borrow the books, the librarian says that the book is currently out in the circulation. So you are going to get the book on this date. You will have to return the book by this date. Guys, do you see the green patch here? Yeah. So you are not going to get the book on the 5th of the May. Rather, you are going to get the book on the 15th, 15th of the May. And when you have to return the book by... What is the return date? By uh, 27. Correct. You should be now able to read the timeline well. Now, your resource manager says, you tell your resource manager, sir, sir, 
तो कह रहे हैं नहीं बेटा ये जो है शेड रिसोर्स है बीस टन की क्रेन है साठ लाख रुपए की चीज है ये कोई चम्मच थोड़ी ना तो हरे को एक एक बांट दो अतारी सुनिए ठीक है तो हरे की प्लेट में एक एक रख दी जाए ऐसी कोई चीज नहीं है ये तुम्हें मिलेगी पंद्रह को तुम चाहे चार दिन यूज करो चाहे दस दिन यूज करो तुम्हें बारह दिन के लिए मिलेगी इस बारह दिन की मियाद में तुमने इस्तेमाल करके इसे वापस करना है ठीक है बात आ रही समझ में वेरी गुड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सेट अप दी प्राइमरी एंड द सेकेंडरी कंस्टेंट ठीक है सो टू मेक श्योर दैट दिस टास्क इज स्टार्टेड वेन द इक्विपमेंट इज अवेलेबल एंड विद इन द रेंज ऑफ द this uh, this starting from 15 to uh, 27 so you have to return so guys please come to the status selecting the task by please come to the status okay now in the status देखो so guys i want to show you देखो constraint mein na do do prakar ke constraint hain dekho dikh gaya aapko ji yes sir acha ab ek kaam karo sabse pehle to lagayenge hum प्राइमरी कंस्टेंट आप सिलेक्ट करो स्टार्ट ऑन और आफ्टर अब इसकी डेट आप डालो कितनी पंद्रह ठीक है अच्छा ये आपका लग गया प्राइमरी कंस्टेंट दिख गया आपको प्राइमरी कंस्टेंट लगते ही ये अपने आप ही प्राइमरी कंस्टेंट के धक्के से ये अपने आप पंद्रह मई पे जाके पहुंच गया दिख गया ना अच्छा अब हम लगेंगे सेकेंडरी कंस्टेंट यहां से हमने ये लिमिट करना है तो गाइज यू यू विल नोटिस एज सुन एज आई अप्लाई द सेकेंडरी कंस्टेंट दिस अमाउंट ऑफ द फ्लोट विल बी डिडक्टेड ओके सो नाउ यू क्लिक एंड सिलेक्ट हियर फिनिश ऑन और बिफोर नाउ विच डेट दैट इज द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सेवन सिक्स पी एम सिलेक्टेड Okay, guys. Now, do you see the primary and secondary constraint? The impact of that. See, the primary constraint will let you use the equipment here, and the secondary constraint will tell you that you should return by date, right? So, within this, uh, within this range of the dates, so which is set by the primary and the secondary constraint, you can execute the task by using the twenty ton crane. now why are we using the primary and in this instance we are using due to the date constraint of the crane right guys is it clear yeah you can use any of the four days you can use five days you can use six days you can use seven days but you will have to return by 27th of the may so guys is this thing clear yeah okay now guys i want you to see something If you are applying the constraint on both the dates, definitely the star will come on both the sides. Do you see the star here? Yeah. See. Did you see? Yes, sir. And fifteen days' ki constraint is here, and seventeen days' ki constraint is here. Okay, let's do an experiment. 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 ये जो सक्सेसर है गाइस जस्ट जस्ट इमेजिन आई एम डूइंग एन एक्सपेरिमेंट हियर आई एम पुशिंग द टास्क वाई बियॉन्ड द फिनिश कंस्ट्रेंट नाउ व्हाट्स गोइंग टू हैपन इफ दैट हैपेंस कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लोड विल आई सी इफ आई पुश द नेगेटिव लोड गुड 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 ओके गाइस नाउ हाउ मच फ्लोट डू वी हैव हियर लेट अस कंज्यूम द फ्लोट सो वी हैव let me look at the total float uh, column let me expand 16. the boundary 16 now you put here in the task why you put here 20 it will consume the float completely it will become critical path you guys do you see it is now critical path yeah okay because you know it has reached reach the boundary line this is the boundary line so after the boundary line is crossed you will see start seeing the ne negative float now make This has twenty four. You will see four days ne negative float. Twenty four. Yeah. Did you? No, G. Now, where is the minus four? Minus four. Ki dekho, ginti karwa do me ya fir kar loge kuch. Nahi nahi kar liya. Monday jo hai minus one hai. Tuesday D. is your minus two. Minus two. Wednesday minus three, and Thursday minus four. And Thursday is your minus four. ठीक है भाई. So is it clear to you, Mazurun? 
ठीक चल चलते तो ओके गुड सिद्धेश ठीक है ओके और कौन है नजम ठीक है है ठीक है सर संदीप यस सर ठीक है ओके और कौन है भाई बताओ मुझे ठीक है कि नहीं अच्छा अब मैं आपको बताता हूँ विच कंस्टेंट इन रियल लाइफ आई एम शेयरिंग माय एक्सपीरियंस एंड ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वेशन विद यू विच कंस्टेंट विल बी यूज मोस्ट सबसे ज्यादा जो कंस्टेंट यस नाउ यू आर थिंकिंग लाइक ए प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर सबसे ज्यादा आपका ये यूज होगा उसके बाद ये यूज होगा आपका ये दो जो है बहुत ज्यादा यूज होंगे ये आपको चाहिए ही चाहिए और मतलब इस इसकी मैं गिनती इसलिए नहीं कर रहा क्योंकि ये तो मतलब कंपलसरी चीज है ये तो हंड्रेड परसेंट चाहिए हर एक प्रोजेक्ट में चाहिए बिकॉज इफ यू आर कंफर्मिंग योर प्रोजेक्ट टू द पीएमआई प्रोसेस डेफिनेटली यू विल इंक्लूड ए क्लोजिंग प्रोसेस राइट बिकॉज यू हैव टू बेसिकली डू द ग्रोस द ग्रेसफुल क्लोजर ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट okay so the number one most used will be mandatory finish because this is as per your contract and this is definitely you will be using lot of equipments which will have a return by date okay so you would be planning like this so you will be using the equipments within their time limits only the number 2 is not available in the microsoft project yes sir yes good good observation i am very proud of you in microsoft project you can set up only one relationship and you can have only one way constraint not two way constraint because primary and secondary is a two way constraint in the microsoft project you only have the primary constraint secondary constraint is not there so guys i told you na prima vera is engineer friendly right okay. engineers love details so that is why they love the prima vera ha prima vera yeah takes more time to learn but engineers want control on their mega project right guys is it clear yes because the mega projects have to be shared with multiple teams across because there are i said multiple teams not multiple people multiple teams one team is of the client and you have got multiple teams within your company one team is based in the middle east one team is based in india within india you are at multiple places delhi bangalore kolkata you know many places in one side you have the design one side you have the planning one side you have the marketing team in the dubai you have the delivery team and uh, and uh, there is one another expert team in the us so you know you you could, uh, you will be using the uh, using the prima vera with the cloud based database and then you have to work in a collaborative fashion so if you are involving so many teams definitely it has to be a mega project right now do you see uh, that abdul that what is the benefit of the Mi microsoft project in the microsoft project you can plan quickly small yes. scale projects yes, but if you have a mega project high level engineering project like if you are creating the neom guys have you heard of the neom city which saudi is going to build neom city okay so you know i i i got some invitation to just uh, to discuss on the neom city on certain forum so if you go to the internet when you have spare time after this training just type neom city neom it's like a brand new city that saudi is going to creep, uh, create in the desert it will yeah, be yeah, yeah. A, it will be in a 100 km 170 km straight line and it will not have any cars paisa bahut hai sir paisa bahut hai नहीं बात पैसे की नहीं है बात क्लास की है दिस गाइस दिस अरब गाइस दे नो हाउ टू स्पेंड देयर मनी इन द हलाल वे राइट नो इट्स अ फैक्ट वी हैव टू लर्न द थिंग दे वुड नॉट दे विल नॉट बी स्पेंडिंग द मनी ऑन अल्कोहल गैमलिंग एंड ऑल दैट यू नो दे हैव बैंड ऑल थिंग्स इफ यू टेक यू इफ यू टेक ड्रग्स इनटू एनी ऑफ द मिडिल ईस्ट कंट्री यू आर डेड दे विल चॉप योर हेड ऑफ दे विल चॉप योर हेड या आई हैव सीन दैट so you know they are spending the money on something which is benefiting their citizen and the and the so if i go to the neom city one day i'll feel good about it okay yeah. so everything is good if if it is 
used for the benefit instead of uh, indulging in the extremism. Okay. So, it is going to benefit the future of the mankind. Okay. It is a fu futuristic city which will be based upon the electricity generation from the solar panels. They are mm. not going to use any fossil fuel. If, even if they have it, they will not use it. Okay. They are going green. Mm. And they are going green and it is going to generate, recycle the water. It is going to recycle uh, everything within that city. It will be inside an enclosed space with a controlled temperature and yeah. moisture. And it will have the proper filtration of the air. And it will have the people working with their maximum productive best. Okay. And creating the future value. So oil is not the only value which will be created in the Middle East. Okay. Oils, oil will not run out. Be before the oil runs out, people will stop using the oil. That is the reality. Okay. Still we'll be left with oil reserve. But the thing is that we will be using electric vehicles very soon all over the world. So definitely we should uh, basically be thinking like from the, from the Middle East country point of view, they are thinking to base their the economy on the manufacturing, science, technology, okay, like that. They are going to create value which will bring comfort to the human being. Right, guys? Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, guys, I'm pausing for questions on any of the leftover question on the constraints. So guys, now do you see that how the date constraint is a fine tuning? The yeah. schedule? Yes. Sir. Okay. So if you need to fine tune, so you will use the date constraint. So uh, any questions you have? Okay. Now, if you don't have any the, co the questions, so those who don't have any questions, they may please go and take rest, good rest. So tomorrow is going to be a long day, guys. Okay. Tomorrow is going to be a long day. And uh, tomorrow you might be, uh, I would require you around for 12 hours. So make sure that you immediately go to the rest. And then can we start a little bit early, sir? Uh, I can start earlier also. But... Uh, no, I think that the time, uh, uh, like the current time is okay. Yeah, the current time is okay. Some people will start earlier, but not earlier. So please take rest. Okay. And those who want to ask me questions and interact with me, they can stay here. Chale, hai, sir. Main sone ja ah, yes, good. Yeah. That is Thank the you. best thing to do. Yes. So, uh, if you are done, you go and sleep. Okay.